Good morning and welcome back to sunny Los Angeles, California. You're about to witness continuous live coverage of LAX plane spotting right here at your home for LAX live streams that is airplane nice videos to live zero, today is tuesday our super tuesday here on Perfect. april 16 2024 hope you guys all had a great weekend sorry we missed ya unfortunately it was a very wet weekend here in the southland good to be back with you it should be an awesome day as we welcome a special guest here today dan with infinite flight i know a lot of you guys spent a lot of time on your phones playing that flight sim well dan will be here with me and we'll talk all about the app and give some stuff away as well so sit back relax i got you covered here at imperial hill good to be back here on the tuesday can't remember the last time i was here at 8 a.m on a tuesday we do have Coletta Air, flight 968. We'll be heading to Anchorage in a 747-400 freighter, getting ready for a takeoff on a two, five left. Though it's a little hazy looking down there right now. Looks like she is now rolling down. Well, nothing like starting with a queen takeoff as our first star of the show. side uh, two four right good to see you zippy maybe zippy will zip on over here to the south side a bit later tater ginger chai with a ten dollar super chat thanks so much ginger today's fun fact back in 2022 at San Diego Airport, a stubborn pelican was blocking the taxiway for a plane. It wasn't until the ops almost touched it that it flew away. Is that an event that would be documented? <laughs> oh, that pelican. You know, those pelicans. We see them up there at SFO from time to time. Well, they do whatever they want to do, right? All right, let me adjust the audio here. Janice with the five dollar super chat. Thank you so much, Janice. Two five left. Guy with sixty-two eighty-four. Good to see you, Janice. Uh oh, here comes the. It's Tuesday, which means you cannot park on this side of the street because, well, it's sweeping time. 
There it goes. Mmm. Enjoy those nice smells of a fresh, clean streets. <laughs> Not. Scrambled, scrambled egg, anyone with a seven dollars and forty-seven cents super chat. Thank you so much. We missed you, Kevin. Avial is like a tall drink of water on a hot summer day. I trust me. I don't like canceling shows. Absolutely not. But I also don't like ruining all of our equipment either. Remember in New York. The rain didn't even touch our, our video cards, and we lost two, $400 each. That was $800 lost in a span of, what, 10 minutes? So the list is long of all the equipment that we've lost in the rain in the last three years. So we're not going to play that as much as we have to. I think, I think. The rain is officially done here in the Southland. For rain in mid-April, that is very kind of rare. It's been a weird spring so far. This is Air Premier committed from Seoul, 787-9 Dreamliner. Next rival on 2-4 right. That was Spirit Airlines Flight 711 heading to Detroit, Michigan at an A321 NEO. The aircraft brand new, just in, delivered in June of last year. That's interesting. I didn't know they flew the A321 NEO to Detroit. Well, there's another option for Michigan this summer. Legend Jane with the $250 super chat to PayPal. Thank you so much, Jane. Always massive support from Legend Jane. This is Happy Tuesday, Kevin. Have a great show. Thank you so much, Jane. Hope your week is going well. Again, sorry I was not here on Sunday. I know it's like the Sunday show is becoming such a tradition to many of you guys and not having us here. It's horrible. I know. I know. So I'll never let it happen again. You hear that, Mother Nature? Never again. Thank you so much, Shane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Avgeek Tours, a member for 10 months. As a platinum member, thank you so much, Avgeek Tours. And Brian Henry, a member for 16 months. As a silver member, says, hi, Kevin. Japan Airlines, A350-1000. Start service here tomorrow. Did I see that Walt is having a special stream? Runway DFW Walt. There tomorrow. How exciting. We saw that at JFK as well. Samantha, member for seven months, is a gold member. Says, good morning, Kevin and Rudy. Just to ha have to include Rudy, even if he's teaching today. Hopefully everyone is having a wonderful day, afternoon or evening. Thank you so much, Samantha. Yeah, I left Rudy in the thumbnail because originally that was Sunday's thumbnail and I just pushed Sunday's placeholder to today. I just thought it would be much easier to leave the chat open uh, so things don't get lost and confused. So Rudy's here with us on the thumbnail. <laughs> That's about the only Rudy we're going to see here today. We do have Dan with infinite lights showing up here today. RJ Luke, a member for 14 months, is a silver member. Says, hello, fellow Michigander. Another great month. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Good to see you, RJ. a Hawaiian A330. No internet, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> 
yesterday. A big day for Hawaiian Airlines as they had their first inaugural 787 flight from Honolulu to SFO. Many plane spotters were on that flight, grabbing some video and some shots. I'm sure we'll see plenty of videos on YouTube here in the next week or so. Stephanie, a member for 21 months, is a silver member. This is a great view for Tuesday. Nice to mix it up some. Yeah, I like being here on Tuesday. Certainly as we get into the summertime, we will be here on Tuesdays. As it's a little bit cooler here during the hot summer days than it is up there high atop the H Hotel. So we'll be seeing a lot more Tuesday shows here at Imperial Hill. We will be back at the H on Friday. Frontier Airlines, the flower of the hummingbird at livery, coming in from Phoenix, Arizona. A320 Neo just touching down here on the south side. Good to see Frontier back here at LAX. Of course, they left LAX a few years ago, headed up to Burbank. They are now back here, offering flights to Phoenix, Denver, SFO. I think we saw this hummingbird here at Imperial Hill many times. Heavy China Airlines cargo 777 going to be taken off here shortly. A320 Neo will hold short as we do have American Eagle Sky West Flight 4828. Well, I'm sorry, that is arriving, not departing. <laughs> See, I take it. I haven't been here in a few days and I ever forgot what I'm doing. Silk Way, 747 fan at Dallas, Australia. Member for four months as a gold member. This is four weeks from my birthday, which model planes should I get from my birthday? Silk Way West, 747, or in Malaysia, A330, 1 in 400 scale. I see you go with Silkway. How about the Silkway 747? That should be a beautiful model. A happy early birthday. Speaking of birthdays, my birthday, a week, well, it was a week from yesterday. Next Monday. Oh, boy. Another year. Ozzy Man at 55 in the Super Chat. Thanks so much, Ozzy Man. Good morning, y'all. What's the 411 on the Honolulu trip? All right. Here it is. So we are, well, there's another frontier up there on the north side. We are taking Honolulu, I'm sorry, <laughs> Honolulu. We're taking Hawaiian Airlines to Honolulu. It's the early morning flight on the Dreamliner. Rudy and I will be taking that to Honolulu. And then we're taking the Hawaiian A330 back on a Tuesday. We leave on a Friday morning, come back on a Tuesday. So we'll have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday there in Honolulu. Um, we haven't figured out what days we're going to be live streaming, though Sunday's show will obviously be there in Honolulu. We'd like to get a live stream in possibly on a Friday or a Monday so we can catch some of the military action as well which is a big part of things there at Honolulu. So we'll keep you updated May 17th through the 21st are the official dates for that trip. May 17th through the 21st, Honolulu for the first time here on Airline Videos Live. Tell the wires you're gonna be super annoying here today. <laughs> that was China Airlines Cargo, Flight 51 at 17, heading to Taipei, the 777 freighter. I also have FedEx MD-11, Flight 3901, heading down to the two fives. Next takeoff will be American Airlines Flight 1815, heading to Miami, Florida, and A321 Neo. Very busy, taxiway Lima.
Christopher Cotton, Mr. Alpha Echo with a $2 super chat. Thanks so much, Christopher. So it's good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Christopher. Hope all is well up there in Pasadena, one of my favorite places here in the Southland. We got that flight to Miami rolling down at 25 right. Air Premia, the Dreamliner, 787-9 Dreamliner, and making those turns. Heading into Tom at Bradley and possibly heading to the north side of Tom at Bradley. I'd like to take one of those days. Maybe Saturday. Maybe Saturday. I don't know. We haven't figured it out. I'd like to take one day where and be a little tourist in Honolulu since I've never been there before. Of course, what? Now I've been to New York twice, and I've never even been to the city. I never went to my Manhattan. So I've got to, one of these trips. I've got to at least do something, right? Kevin 757, a member for seven months as a silver member. This is beautiful Tuesday for plane spotting. It sure is. Should be a great day. Thank you, Kevin. To Sticky Flyer, a member for three months as a silver member. Says, hi, Kevin. When will you be at Imperial Hill again? We'll be back here on Sunday for the big Sunday show with Rudy. So we'll be. Actually, I take that back. Hold on. Er Possibly going to be out here tomorrow or Thursday testing Ed, who was acting a little strange this morning. He needs some testing. So I might be out here tomorrow or Thursday for AVL on the fly, but I'll keep you updated. Not quite sure which day it's going to be just yet. And then we'll be at the H Hotel on Friday and then back here for Sunday. So I'm going to be a little extra show this week, trying to make up a little bit for the Sunday show. But it will be an AV on the fly, so bear with me. Ed's been a little interesting lately. was American Airlines flight 1632 heading to Boston on that A321. Next takeoff heading to Charlotte, American Airlines flight 993, also in an A321. Michael there in Boston, member for 15 months is a gold member since hi Kevin. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Michael. I'm waiting for Sarah, the real deal to say. We gotta work on your uh, Boston accent. It's not Boston, it's Boston. Right, Sarah? Yeah. Cross over is American Airlines flight 1660 coming up from Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, on this A321. Followed by American Airlines flight 2690 coming up from Vegas on a 737 MAX 8. We also have the special livery, retro livery, US Airways special livery in this A321 with American flight 2755 coming up from Tampa, Florida in this A321. Yurish, 
one with the $10 super chat. Thank you so much. When will you be back to JFK next? Well, we were just there. <laughs> if all goes well, and Rudy and I, uh, we went to the Proud Bird on Sunday because he was already here. I said, well, let's just go have lunch. And we were trying to figure out our whole schedule for the whole summer. So if all goes well, meaning we've got back-to-back, -back, sometimes during the summer, back-to-back -back trips, um, if all goes well, we'd like to get back to JFK at the beginning of August. Though it's up to the TWA Hotel to allow us to be on the rooftop deck that time of the year. It can be a very busy time for them, so it's up to them. We'll put the um, feelers out for that. Um, but if there's one trip that we probably have to maybe postpone, is JFK. But we've got we've got so many, so many. Katie, a member for 14 months, is gold that memory since my husband was born and raised in Honolulu. I can't wait for those shows. Absolutely. You know what I can't wait to see is the ANA A380s, the Hanu. Was watching is it reverse ops reverse ops the live streamer there in honolulu and there was actually two a380s ana's that came in yesterday morning i was a little bit surprised i thought it was just one so definitely looking forward to the ana a380s there in honolulu as well as the military action as well patrick lloyd with the two dollar super chat thanks so much patrick my birthday was on sunday happy birthday kevin well happy belated birthday there patrick Hope it was a great day. All right, we've got that MD-11 FedEx now rolling down. Two, five, right. these aircraft to now cross over. Aiden Hodges, a member for 34 months. This is Silver Memories as well. You're there. Catch the United Island Hopper. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff we will more than likely never see. I saw there was a few 737-200 sitting out there as well. You know how much I love my 737-200, so I'm looking forward to seeing those as well. Should be a good trip. Of course, we're going to Honolulu in mid-May. We've got... Boston, St. Martin at the end of June. Anchorage, beginning of July. Mid-July, we've got Michigan, Chicago. So we've got a, a big spring and summer heading our way. GE with a $5 super chat. Thanks so much, GE. How do you power your equipment if you're not allowed to take your batteries on the plane, or are you allowed? Well, it's funny you say that. G 
GE. We have a lot of smaller type batteries, including of all kinds. We have these little anchor batteries, which are allowed on the plane. I probably have 12 of these things. Um, so that powers, as well as these smaller little Jackery batteries now, can actually fit on the plane. So there are options. No, we can't, cannot take our bigger Jackery batteries, but uh, we just take plenty of those smaller batteries. And of course, you know, it's going to limit it on how many hours we can obviously live stream. We might have to take some breaks or whatever, but it would be kind of like the same thing as uh, Anchorage. Anchorage, we have the smaller batteries. Um, don't expect like a 12 hour live stream on Sunday at Honolulu. I don't think we'll have enough battery juice for that. Rita, how's the park? Oh, oh, not good. It's what? Dirty? <laughs> Rita's already working on the park. Says it's dirty. Must have been a party weekend. Tim Arnold plays with a $5 Super Chat. Thanks so much, Tim. Hey there, Kevin. How's it going? What's the 411 on the Phoenix trip? And also, are you going to be streaming on a Saturday at Sky Harbor with Sky Ops Live? Uh, you know, I was just going to talk about Phoenix. So I was originally planning going to Phoenix next week. I'm not going to do that because there's, there's a chance, there's a chance that I might have to hop on a plane and go somewhere next week for a BTS shoot. So I'm waiting for that. And that, because of that, I've decided just to stay here in Los Angeles. I hope I hope to get there maybe the last week in April. I'll keep you guys updated. It's going to be a last-minute trip decision, which is not a big deal when it comes to Phoenix. Uh, I do want to get out there in the next week or so. So it won't be next week, hopefully the week after, which is the last week in April. Because I really honestly, you only have so many days left before it starts getting really extremely hot out there. I'll keep you updated, Tim. David Glover, a member for 17 months, is a silver member. This is looks LAX. Looks beautiful in the morning. Thanks, Kev. It's a little hazy here today. At least it's not raining. That's the good news. It's not raining. <laughs> You're looking at Delta Airlines Flight 392. This flight heading to Reagan National. This old TWA 757-200. This bird originally delivered in February of 1997. Got a couple of United 777s about to take off here on the south side. First up, United Airlines by 1890 heading to Newark. The 777 at 200, 29 years of age. Number three for takeoff here on the south side is United Airlines by 1834 heading to Dulles. And a 28-year-old 777 at 200. Ramon, a member for 20 months. This is a separate member since Thanksgiving for the great stream. Almost two years with the family. Time flies, I'm telling you. Flies by. All right, the first of two United 777s taking off here on 2 5 right. Yeah, 
Mickey Air 3, a member for three months, is a silver member. Thank you so much, Mickey. Dinar, Dinardo, becoming a silver member here today. Thank you so much. Our friend Michelle Johnson with the $7.47 Super Chat. Thanks so much, Michelle. Two things you have to do in Hawaii. Polynesian Cultural Center on Ahu. I probably did that wrong. See, I, that's the one thing I'm going to have to get. I have to start understanding how to pronounce the islands and certain things in in Hawaii. Uh, and on the big island, Volcano National Park. Trust me. Yes, you're right. We got to be tourists at least one of those days. Right, Michelle? Of course, it's not that far. It's only five hours away from us. We can always go back. <laughs> Rudy, I can just see Rudy right now rolling his eyes. Ah, no. No, we're going to have a touristy day. One of those days. Triple seven at two hundred up next. Flight heading to Dulles. Actually, no, I take that back. Actually, no, I take that. Take that back. It is the next takeoff. Phil Reed, a member for twenty-three months, is a platinum member. Thank you so much, Phil. Hi, Kevin. I'm off work this week. I had the opportunity to get the projector out and watch you on the big screen. Do you see my comment on Facebook about the airline at Videos Live Australia location? I did not see that. I'll have to look for it, Phil. Us on the big screen, huh? The projector. How do we look? We got Zippy zipping on over. 2 4 right there on the north side. 787 8 Dreamliner coming from Tokyo Narita. Meanwhile, we got that United 777-200 heading to Dulles. Not very busy at Tom Bradley, but of course that will change. Ozzy Man 55 back with the super chat. Thanks so much, Ozzy Man. Will you and Rudy take Avial to Heathrow and Manchester next year for some big birthday streams? <laughs> <laughs> Whose birthday? My birthday or his birthday? You know, we were thinking about going to Europe this summer, and I told Rudy, I said, Rudy, either we're going to stay here in the U.S. and we're going to do multiple trips again throughout the course of the U.S., or we're going to take one big trip to Europe. And so we made that decision to stay here in the U.S. this year. Now, it doesn't mean that I can't take a trip to the U.K. or Europe any time during the fall or the winter or whatnot. You never know what's going to pop up, but stay tuned and find out. That's all I can say. <laughs> I, everything changes. Everything changes every single week here on the channel. Of course, if you guys have any up, make sure to feed the beast, hit that like button and subscribe if you do, and make sure your notifications are all set. We will have an AVL on the fly pop-up stream sometime this week, either tomorrow or Thursday. It will be back with our main show on Friday, high atop the H Hotel. And then we'll be back here for the big Sunday show on Sunday. Okay, 
That was Alaska Airlines flight 13 at 40, 737 at max 9. The big Q, Qatar Airways flight 741, uh, coming in from Doha. A350-1000 running about almost an hour late here today. It's five minutes out. Will be a north side arrival of two four right. And also heading to the north side of Philippine Airlines flight 112, the triple seven at 300 ER. Now just 38 minutes away, touching down on two. Four right. There should be a south side takeoff on two five right. A bit later, Tater. looks pretty uh, very busy as the United Dreamliner will be towed to the Tech Ops Center, the new hangar here. The Hawaiian A330 is flight 33 heading to Kahului. That A350 heading to Atlanta, Georgia, flight 1515. They kind of stopped in her tracks as she makes that left-hand turn up to Taxiway Kilo. The Dreamliner now the move team is now moving that Dreamliner. That's going to be a few minutes between before that Hawaiian A330 can start her taxi up there. Looks like a north side takeoff with that tail to the south. We do have that Delta 757 heading to Reagan National now taking off. Daniel. Daniel, member for 24 months as a silver member since two years supporting airline videos. Many more to go. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate that awesome support. Just plain crazy. A member for one month as gold members is nice to be on board from DFW. Hello there in Dallas. Life of Lou. A member for five months as a silver member since morning, Kevin. YYZ Toronto trip sometime soon. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. That's all I can say. It's a maybe. All right, zippy. Zipping on over to the gates of Tom Bradley. Of course, you got both sides of the south part of Tom Bradley completely open. The west and the east side. It's going to be zippy. Slowing down, I suspect. No, I don't know. Zippy, you can't go on Lima either because it looks like that Delta E350 is going to sneak around the Hawaiian, make that left hand turn onto Lima. Unless they're. Yeah. I don't know where you're going, Zippy. <laughs> boy, oh boy. I feel bad for that Delta E350 at this point because you are just locked. You, there's no way to get to the south side. They actually should have taken the A350 over from a Delta to, well, it should have went more to the west. <laughs> Poor Delta. Hopefully, Zippy is a quick turn. 
to Tom Bradley, which I would assume so, because Kilo is still blocked by the Hawaiian A330. Bob, what's up, Bob? Becoming a gold member. Thank you so much, Bob. Bob's over there smiling. Our friend John Zoller with the $10 Super Chat. Good to see you, John. Hello, Kevin. Three days until arriving on American Airlines flight 16 at 12. Joining you at the H and celebrating Super A380 Sunday with you and Rudy with great gifts. No surprise to you. I'm looking forward to it. John bought me a America West model set has the old and the new livery with America West 737 200. It's an older set he found and bought. I'm looking forward to seeing that, John. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Um, I checked on your merch, by the way, uh, John, yesterday, and it seems like the post office is still, well, playing games with your merch. So. Hopefully, I can contact the manufacturer tomorrow and be like, yeah, I think it's kind of stuck somewhere. Got to jiggle it a little bit. Just jiggle it a little. So, fortunately, Johnny, I don't think you're going to get your merch by the time you get here. I actually guarantee, unless there's some miracle and they deliver it to you within the next 24 hours. If you guys are just joining us, this is the Delta flight Heading to Atlanta, Georgia, flight 515. This is a three-year-old A350-900 delivered in June of 2020. Now making that left-hand turn into Bravo. We'll head to 25 right for takeoff. Zippy and the Hawaiian A330, both on taxiway Lima. The Hawaiian A330 heading to Kahalui, flight 33. We'll be heading to 2 for right for a takeoff. The big Q, Qatar Airways flight 641, coming up from Doha, the A350-1000. Next heavy arrival on the north side. Phil Reed back with the Super Chat. Thanks so much, Phil. Looking good on the big screen. If you type in AVL into the What Three Words app, it is located 219 kilometers east of Perth. The whole world is broken down into three meters squared, squared squares on the app. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. I tell you, when you start throwing math and all that, Jazz to me, my head starts spinning. It's the big Q, the first of two A350 1000s, both coming up from Doha. We have the next arrival on the north side, 2 4 right. Do have a Spirit A321 Neo now taking off here on the south side. Zip A pulling in one of the gates there on the north side. Of Tom Bradley, successful landing with the big Q, 2-4 right. Matthew, the find out super chat. Thanks so much, Matthew. Hey, Kevin, I was on Seymour the Walrus to Denver flight. It was pretty full with 195 people on the flight. Oh, that's right. You were on the inaugural flight, early morning flight. 195 people. Wow. Well, thanks for the updates. It's going to be interesting to see how they do. You know, it's funny. I guess and maybe it's not funny, but it's interesting. Interesting is more of a, a better word for what I'm about to talk about is that JetBlue is pulling back many flights out of LAX, including the SFO, Reno, 
along with many others out of LAX. Let's just talk about the A320 JetBlue flight to SFO. Now we have Frontier now offering that same flight on an A320 NEO. Well, guess who else announced last week that they're going to start service non-stop to Reno and SFO. Spirit, Spirit jumping in and saying, well, I guess JetBlue, if you're taking off, we're coming back in. So now we have Frontier and Spirit going to be offering the flights that JetBlue is now pulling away from LAX with. So it's very interesting what's going on here. And of course, this business, I guess, as usual, the aviation world, airline industry world, That JetBlue flight heading to JFK and that A321 flight 224. Have another United 777 heading to Honolulu flight 1158 number f number two for takeoff here on the south side. We'll be following Spirit Airlines flight 2567 heading to Louisville, Kentucky in an A320. One of our great moms, then another land at Pixel, a member for 14 months as a gold member. Says, good morning, Kevin. Rita, Bob, AVL family. Happy Tuesday. Kevin, I should ask my boss if I can work from Hawaii those days. They are part of our district. Well, look at that. Come on out. <laughs> we need a hotel, by the way. We haven't figured out what hotel we're going to stay at. There's a couple of hotels in Waikiki that we're looking at, but if anybody has a hotel that you absolutely love, they're not too far from the airport. Uh, we'll be, we'll have a car, we're gonna have a pickup truck, because that's what we're gonna have to broadcast out of the back of a pickup truck. We need to get a little high over a fence, apparently, but uh, have not, not gotten the hotel yet. So if you have a, a hotel you absolutely love, would be a good fit for the plane jockeys, email me, let me know. Email is Kevin, K-E-V-I-N, at airlinevideos.com. This is United Airlines, like 1400, coming in from Seattle, Washington, a 737 MAX 8. Next takeoff is at Spirit A320, flight heading to Louisville, Kentucky, flight 2567. Coming tower to Louisville, take off 732, vehicle approach, two miles down. Obvious, take off 732, I want to catch the turbo on 777, we'll approach the parallel, the wind home, and we'll move Carolina, I got that United triple seven of next for takeoff. Be followed by Delta Airlines, flight 515, the A350, heading to Atlanta, Georgia. So back-to-back -back heavy takeoffs. Uh, we are heading to Honolulu May 17th through the 21st. That is a Friday, again, a Friday to a Tuesday. So we will have the big Sunday show there in Honolulu, as well as many other live streams as well. Go 
Didn't this whole Honolulu thing happen from the last Sunday show that we had here in Imperial Hill? So it would have been a week from Sunday. I was talking about possibly going to Honolulu instead of DC. And Rudy was standing right here, and the look on his face, I knew he was thinking, how can I make it happen? How can I go to Honolulu with Kevin? I knew he was trying to think of how he could make this happen. I, I, I said, well, Rudy, if you can make it happen, then you can go. So that's why we're going to Friday to Tuesday, because he, he did get, was able to get a couple of days off from work and make it a longer weekend. So that is the reasoning for a Friday to Tuesday trip. Again, this is the A350 flight heading to Atlanta. It's the big Q, the first of two A350-1000s, both coming in from Doha. I have been parking at the West Gates. Tower, good morning. Skies 4860 over the Harbor Freeway for uh, 25 left. Skies 4860, Tower, Should be making a left-hand turn left. into Lima. 25 left, clear to land, Skies 4860. And the first of the many A380 arrivals and takeoffs here today. Green Air Flight 17 coming from Seoul. A380 Super now just 53 minutes away from touching down on the north side and taking off here on the south side a bit later in the show. Okay, first we also have Asiana, the first of two A350, A380 Asiana flights, flight 202 coming up from Seoul, one hour and eight minutes away. Bianca, A320 Neo, coming from Guatemala City, flight 732, waiting to cross over as United Airlines flight 2039, the flight heading to Chicago Hare, 737-900ER, now rolling down at 2, 5 of right. Out of here, Bob. All right. Good luck on your your stuff. <laughs> What's that? Your stuff. I'm no. I said good luck on your stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. Your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Bob. 757 ship with an awesome $36 super chat. Thank you so much, Chef. Congrats on your three-year anniversary. I hope you find a great hotel in Waikiki. It seems to be a better choice than some hotel here in Wacky Waco. <laughs> Thank you, Chip. I'm looking forward to it. It should be fun. Of course, we'll have a lot of videos as well as live streams as well. And 
yes, we were celebrating our three-year anniversary. Was that last Wednesday? Almost, almost a week ago. We were going to somewhat celebrate our three anniversary on Sunday's Big Sunday show. Of course, that got canceled because of the rain. There was some people saying, well, a Jerry can do it in the rain. Why can't you? Well, <laughs> I've said many different times that we have different setups. I do it cross two five right point seven five on the other side gets pretty Apples and oranges as they like to say. That was Delta Airlines flight 2096 heading to Houston, Texas in an A319. We do have American Airlines flight 1784 heading to Orlando, Florida at A321. Be the next takeoff here on the south side. Approaching the top of the hour. We've got an absolute, look at that. Nothing. Of course, you got planes on the north side. You got Air Premier Eva. But you got nothing here on the south side of Tom Bradley. And of course, that will all change as we have a lot of A380s and 777s and Dreamliners and all that jazz heading here to LAX. The big Q decided to head over to the west gates. Also have American Airlines flight 1399, the flight heading to Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, the 737-800, number two for takeoff here on the south side. Philippine Airlines flight 112 coming up from Manila, 777-300ER, now just 32 minutes away. Coletta Air flight 935 coming up from Anchorage, a 747-400 freighter, one hour and 29 minutes away. Kind of a busy taxiway kilo. Heading to the south side for some takeoff action is Southwest Airlines flight 1933. This flight will be heading to El Paso, Texas, a 737 at max eight. Followed by Delta Airlines flight 2056, this flight heading to Kansas City, and an A320 as this A320 with Spirit, that flight heading to Oakland, heading up to the north side. This is, excuse me. Afgeek Tours with the Fight Dollar Super Chat. Thanks so much, Afgeek Tours. May I suggest the Prince Waikiki for a hotel, a beautiful hotel with excellent plane spotting views. Ah, you sold me on that. Plane spotting and excellent ocean views as well. Prince Waikiki. I was going to tell Bob to jot that down, but Bob is left. All right, Princess Waikiki. I'll have to look into it. Thank you. And a friend there, Nancy Needles, with the ten dollar super chat. Thank you so much, Nancy. Nancy did it again. She found some of my old history back there in Michigan. I don't know how you did it, Nancy. That's a needle in a haystack. Good to see you, Nancy. Thank you so much. Paul MK, a member for 30 months, is a platinum member. Says, hi, Kevin AVL at Honolulu. We are in for some great shows. I'm, uh, I'm on. Is it Ka 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 Kauai from the 16th for a week? Might pop over for a cheeky day trip. 
I will email you a thing for today's show. Great weather there. It is a nice day. Yeah, come on over. Hop, hop over the islands. <laughs> I also can't wait to see the Hawaiian 717s. I always like the look of the 717s. Our next takeoff here on the south side is United, I'm sorry, Southwest Airlines heading to Dallas Love Field. is 737 at Max 8, though that takes us to the top of the hour. <laughs> Just after 9 a.m. here in beautiful, sunny Los Angeles, California, you are watching continuous live coverage of LAX plane spotting right here on your home for LAX live streams. That is Airline Videos Live. Today is a super Tuesday show here on April 16, 2024. And why is this such a super Tuesday? Well, we got all the super A380s taken off here on the south side, so stick around. Coming up this hour as well, our friend Dan from Infinite Flight is going to be joining us here. We're going to be talking about the app and giving some prizes out as well. So a lot more to go, so don't go anywhere. If you got us while you're working, make sure to use that working and that lurking emoji there in the chat. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. I am your plane jockey, Kevin, and this is Airline Videos Live. Air Sky is 5542 outside Honda 255. 25 left, United, yeah, I'm sorry, American Airlines flight 869, a 777 at 200 ER, now pushing it back from Terminal 4. That's that right at uh, Hotel 7 and Is that yours? Okay, I thought Bob left something. Was that? Ah. Ew. No, <laughs> I don't want to touch that. That's a lot of trash. On this side? On this side of the fence. Oh my gosh, Rita. <laughs> United 75 at 7 at 200. Touching down here on the south side. Looks like it will now cross over to 5 at right. Head to terminal 7 or 8 here. Good old Amber way 25 left. United 502. Juliet, put United Airlines flight 1093 of this flight heading coming in from Denver, Colorado. It's a 29, 29 year old 757 200. Originally delivered in October of 1994. I was thinking about 1994 a lot this past week. Of course, everything on my social media is all popping up about the OJ trial. You know, the the news of his passing no, don't this past it, week. Don't it's everything in my news feed is is now about this OJ Simpson trial, this the you know, everything connected to that. Of course that all happened in the year in nineteen ninety four. That was a interesting year for your plane jockey as well, as it was one year out from officially graduating from high school. I had moved out to Phoenix, Arizona, away from my hometown for the first time in my life. 1994, that was an interesting year. Of course, later that year, I also started working for the first time as a TV news editor in Phoenix, Arizona at KSAZ Channel 10. I was 18. No, I'm sorry, I was 19. 19. And every night, I remember I had to edit the anchors story about the OJ trial every single night. It was every update. This happened, that happened. 
And here we go. We have a 757 delivered in 1994. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you know what else the song came out in 1994? All I wanna do is have some fun down on Santa Monica Boulevard. Remember that song? 1994. 1994, I'm telling you, the early 90s, LA, and of course I wasn't here. I didn't move here until mid 2000s, but Boy, I'll tell you, Los Angeles back in the early to mid-90s, it was a much different place than it is now. I look at some of those old video clips and some of the stuff with the OJ trial and, and of course, some things that happened here in Los Angeles years before that. It was just a, it was a very interesting place. Not that it isn't anymore, but it's, it's changed a lot. Raphael with the $10 Super Chat. Thank you so much, Raphael. Kevin! <laughs> Thanks for the great stream as always. Keep up the super work. Well, thank you, Raphael. Caught my attention. Look who it is. All right, stand by one second here. Let me just uh, lock this down.
All right. Tell you what, Stan, let me readjust the jockey cam. Hold on one second. We're good to go. All right. So uh, you guys on the behind the scenes can obviously see what's going on here. Let me go to Jockey Cam. I got our friend Dan with Infinite Flights. Which Dan, one there's at? Jockey Cam to this the left. Here? Yes. <laughs> so maybe you guys all know who Dan is. He's kind of the face <laughs> for the app, right? right. Yep, that's right. Come yeah. me just a little bit. This yeah, there you go. Awesome. So tell us who you are. And what is Infinite Flight? I think a lot of people obviously know what it is. I think there's a lot of people that probably don't. Yeah, sure. So um, I'm Dan. I'm the essentially, you could say, the face of the company at Infinite Flight. I do a lot of their social media alongside Jason. Jason is so super cool guy. He's unfortunately not here today. Um, but I do a lot of their social media. Recently, flying around the world, recording videos on planes, yeah. which is which is really fun stuff. Um, made a good video coming out here. Um, but I also do a lot of the community management and engagement side of things as well at Infinite Flight, and that basically consists of creating online events and mostly like group flights for people to join us on our multiplayer servers and fly, for example, from LAX all the way to New York right. uh, on multiplayer, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's sort of my background and my role at Infinite Flight. It's just getting involved, getting stuck in, and keeping our you know our customers engaged um, in all of our online fun stuff because our, our, our online audience is, yeah. is huge. Well, I know, but it, the biggest question is, yeah. so what is Inf Infinite Flight. Sure, yeah. So Infinite Flight is a mobile flight simulator for iOS and Android. And when I say that, you can literally take out your mobile phone and go flying around the entire world, all from the reach of your pocket, which yes. is what you know makes Infinite Flight really special. You don't need heaps of equipment and everything to go flying um, at your local airport, for example. But um, right. we're going to roll some video. This is yeah. the actual app. I mean, look at these graphics. Look how real. I mean, it's okay, yeah. real. It's as real as it gets, right? It, yeah, it's really neat stuff, and it's, it's awesome that you can do this, like I say, from, from your mobile phone or your iPad or your Android device. Right. Um, you don't need all of the, you know, the process and power of a PC and whatnot, which is, uh, which is what makes it really special. Um, and and, and it's, it's really awesome as well. I started off myself. I was once a community member, a young user of Infinite Flight, yeah. and I sort of eventually you know, got to where I am today here with them, which is extra special. And to be able to, doing this, to be doing this sorry, for Infinite Flight is, uh, is magical. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, like I say, mobile flight simulator for iOS and Android. You can fly around the entire world with 15 meter pixel satellite imagery um, <laughs> anywhere you go, which is, yeah. which is really cool. You know, when you're at cruise, you can sort of look down and see, you know, where your house is, uh, which is super fun stuff. But of course, it doesn't end there. We have loads and loads of aircraft that you can choose from, hundreds of liveries as well. You know, you can you can fly United, Virgin Atlantic, yeah. BA, all of this cool stuff. Um, and the cool thing about Infinite Flight as well is, you know, you don't also you know have to be a pilot. We also have what we call human ATC. So you can go on oh. as an air traffic controller and let's say oh. you're the controller. Oh, I could be an entertainer. In. Exactly. You know, I could spawn <laughs> in at LAX here at the Tippet Terminal, and I could request pushback, and you could say, "Dan, pushback approved really? taxi out to two, two five right." Yeah. So, you know, there's, there's a lot that goes on in Infinite Flight, and uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty brilliant, fantastic mobile flight simulator, uh, which I suppose could bring me on to the next talking point about the trial, right? Oh yes. I mean, here's the deal. I mean, it, it, there is a link in the description. Just click on that. Don't do it on your desktop <laughs> computer. You gotta be on your iPhone, Android, or iPad or whatnot to click on that. That's and right. Tell us what yeah. What are, we, what are we giving out to everyone here today? Sure. So uh, in the description is a link where you'll get three days to Infinite Flight Pro, which is our, our, our full product, basically, where you can get access to the entire world and the satellite imagery and every single thing that we have to offer. Um, if you click that, of course, you'll get three days three. Um, it's uh, For Android, it's a little bit different. There's a few more extra steps if you're on Android and you want to claim this uh, free trial. So um, if you click the link in the description on an Android device, it will take you to our landing page that will tell you 
you everything about that. But it's fairly straightforward, though, of course, please note that um, this subscription will renew at the regular $9.99 per month if you don't cancel uh, before the three-day trial ends, um, unless, of course, you want to roll over and, and carry on with it. Um, Dan, can you tell the difference between, like, the, the regular and the pro? I mean, what do you... You're, obviously, with the pro, you're getting everything. Uh -huh, but, yep. I mean, what... It, so how big of a difference is it between like the regular and the, the sure. pro? Yeah, so uh, with the regular one, it's free to download on the App Store uh, and Google Play. So with that, you'll gain access to a handful of aircraft and a handful of regions. So you can, you know, fly around, get the feel of it, see if you like it, uh, fly around a local area, limited to a couple of regions. Um, and of course, the Cessna 172s in there as well for a lot of those uh, general aviation folks. Um, and then the pro obviously gives you some absolutely it gives you access to everything that we offer, basically. Yeah. The entire world, like everything, yeah. which is a really cool thing about it. Yeah, last night I, 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 I turned it on and I started at one of the gates, or oh, the yeah. west gates over here, and I did the whole pushback. Yeah. And I was looking around, I was like, I was just amazed by the, the quality of the details of LAX that I actually never made it to the runway. I was just right. looking at all the details of the airport. And, and this is the thing, this was really fantastic as well. A couple years back we introduced, which is really big for us, 3D airports. Uh -huh. um, where basically our users or select users can now become what we call a scenery editor, and they can essentially edit their own airport and build their own airport from the ground up um, to you know accurately resemble what it's like in real life. So that's why LAX, for example, is fairly uh -huh. similar to you know what okay. you see here, what we're looking yeah. at today. Do you, I mean, do you have to like? I'll be honest with you, Dan. I, I, I was up at Breeze headquarters yeah. about a month ago, and they put me in the A220-300 simulator. Okay. I'm not cut out for a pilot. I okay, really, yeah. I'm not. And so, I mean, do you have to be, you know, a diehard wannabe pilot to, no. to run this? Definitely not. And I think this is, a, you know, it's a, quite an entry-level point for a lot of people, like myself. When I was younger, you know, this was a game that I, I, I saw in the App Store. I was like, I want to fly planes, but, you know, I don't have all of the stuff, the PC and everything to yeah. do it. Um, so, yeah, of course, it's, it's very entry-level entry as well. You can treat it, you know, how you want to treat it. You can use it uh, to practice circuits if you're going flying a couple of hours later in your Cessna 172. Or you can just have fun. You don't... You don't Okay. have to you know take it super serious we have what we call uh, the casual server uh, which is one of our three multiplayer servers which essentially has no rules so you can oh. you can take an a380 <laughs> and go go super fast around LAX if oh. you really want to um, there's absolutely no rules there and a lot of people like to have quite a bit of fun um, and then we have our training server, which is the intermediate server, where you know people can uh, you know, test the water, talk with uh, ATC, and get a feel for the simulator on the on the on the multiplayer stuff. And then we have what we call our expert server, which is uh, you know for the the diehard the the. Uh, Users who like to take it very seriously, you know, and, and have that extra yeah. bit of realism. That's okay. Uh, you know, there's there's quite a few rules on the expert server, and it, quite, oh, okay. it closely resembles, you know, real life. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So, I, I yeah. <laughs> I should probably stay in that that first server. <laughs> Practice a bit. You, you guys don't want me in that more professional server, that's for sure. <laughs> so I guess that raises my question because I, you know, I kind of grew up uh, playing Microsoft Flight Simulator, but you had to have a desktop computer and all that yeah. jazz, you know, gateway computers. I mean, that's how far I go back. Right. Um, this is just all on your this is an app on your phone. You yeah, can take yeah. it anywhere. You don't need the, the whole. So, I mean, in the whole scheme of things, how is this different from, like, Microsoft Flight Simulator? Which uh, I can't, I can't do. Well, I mean, ultimately they all, you know, they all simulate flying, right? I right. think the main difference, obviously, and and the oh, bragging right is the fact that you can do it from the reach of your pocket, and that's right. that's solely the biggest difference. And we're really proud of that. That's our, our biggest thing. You know, we could we could strive to you know make it like a desktop version and stuff like right. that, but that's really not our thing. We we love the fact that it's mobile, and you could you know be waiting for your flight in the lounge at the airport right. and you know all of a sudden you could have a delay and think oh it's fine well to burn this time I'll just start a flight a quick hour flight from from here to uh, yeah to San Francisco for example right because I, I can do it better I'm gonna get us off on time <laughs> United so it 
seems like you guys are like the graphics and the design of things. It, every year it gets better and better and yeah. better. And I would assume the technology is you advances. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, it's one of those things like we like to iterate as we go. Of course, we we strive to make Infinite Flight better with every update that we we release. And there are a lot of things that I, I can't say right now because I know there's probably. Some of our viewers that are on here right now are trying to get some information out of me, but we're, we're working on some cool stuff behind the scenes as well. We're really, nice. really looking forward to share some of the uh, future projects that we're working on. But yeah, like you say, it, it gets better and better every time. So it's, it's, it's looking good for the future on the horizon. And stay tuned, because I think we're going to give out uh, plenty of 30-day yes. free trials of the, the Pro as That's well, correct, yeah. right? We'll give away uh, around 10 subscriptions to Infinite Flight Pro, so 10 of you lucky people watching oh the stream boy. will, uh, you know, get the chance to have some fun for 30 days in Infinite Flight Pro. Um, and also... Okay. Got a triple this? seven American taking off. Nice. So, Dan, what's your, what's, I mean, what's your background? What in aviation? You, yeah. I, what's your love about aviation? <laughs> you you want to be a pilot one day? Did you, what, what was it, precisely that? Yeah, I would love to eventually be a commercial pilot. Uh, whether or not that's realistic, I'm not too sure. I'd quite happily settle for a PPL or something along those lines. But since I was small, my granddad used to take me out to Gatwick Airport uh -huh. and stand me on the roof of his car and let me watch the planes on short final into the airport. Nice. So I think that's where my my passion for aviation originally sparked um, and then since then you know I've, I've, I've just been super fascinated about planes you know that yourself they're super interesting uh, yeah. you know pieces of engineering um, and then <laughs> this, is, this is the craziest thing infinite flight genuinely played a huge part in my passion for aviation because oh, wow. it was it was that childhood simulator that I, I downloaded on my phone back in the day um, you know it really got me into it um, flying around the world I'm not not and making friends online um, and then since then you know uh, I've worked at an airport I worked at Gatwick and did some ramp agent stuff over there. So my, my, my passion for aviation is fueled by every aspect. My partner's a flight attendant for Virgin, so I've seen it from all, all angles. I did cabin crew in college as well, so um, it's sort of in my blood. Nice. I love aviation as a whole. And you're from the UK? I am, yeah. The other side of the pond. The other side. <laughs> So, I mean, what brings you to the, the U.S.? You guys were in New York for a meetup, right? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. So uh, we we like to do what we call community meetups, where we say, "Hey, so like our users, we're going to be here from this time to this time. Come and hang out. We'll talk about planes. Um, you know, of course, infinite flight, uh, and just you know, put names to faces in real life. Because obviously, yeah, you know, we we have a big audience online, and a lot of the time, you don't really know who these people are. And that's why we really like doing these community meetups, because it allows us to hang out and actually see these people in real life and hear their stories and meet right. new people. So um, it's really nice to catch up and meet up with our, with our you know, loyal users. So we was in New York at the Intrepid Museum, hanging out with, uh, with our users there, which was fantastic. Um, and then, of course, over here to, to do this with you. Over uh, here thank you so much Los for having Angeles. us on, yeah. And Dan, he showed up here at Imperial Hill. He's never been here before. He's been to in and out He's uh, yeah, uh, the proud bird, but never here at Imperial Hill. Yeah. This what is, do you uh, think? Yeah, it's great. This is really nice. A very good viewpoint, actually. I definitely will come back here the next time I'm at LAX. Very, very cool stuff. So what's your favorite plane? Do you have a favorite plane out there? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm, I'm asked this a lot. I think I, would, um, I think I would have to say I'm torn between the A380 okay. and the A350. They're both very stunning planes. One's obviously a huge, <laughs> a huge whale, uh, right. super jumbo, which in itself is incredibly fascinating. Um, and then the other one I just think looks absolutely beautiful. It's an yes. elegant plane. It's very, very nice. So those, those, are two. those are the two that you play on Infinite Flight? You, yeah, I do, and you can indeed yourself as well, which is the cool thing about it. And you guys just recently added the A380, right? We did, yeah, we was working on that one. That was a quite a, a lengthy, quite a large project as well, as you can imagine, working a, working a plane like that from the ground up takes quite a bit of time. But yeah, that's recently been added to Infinite Flight, and it's an incredibly fun plane to fly around. And also, super heavy, you really do feel uh, the, you know, the weight of the plane as well when you're flying it in the flight simulator. I think I have to agree with you on the A350. The look of the yeah. A350 is just very, it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful plane. I've, I've it is. flown at it a few times. 
have never gotten on the A380. You're you're you lucky. You you're, fl <laughs> you're flying out on the A380 later today. Today, yeah, that's right. Um, unfortunately, an hour delayed um, at the minute. Anyway, it's currently on its way from London. But yep, flying back on the British Airways Super Jumbo today. Two six eight, I think, is the flight number, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. Two six nine. The flight always from London. It's either hit and miss. It's either oh yeah, really on time or a <laughs> really delayed. So okay. <laughs> not too surprised by that. But well, at least it's only an hour today. Let's see here. Let's, uh, see if they make up some time. I believe the Lufthansa A380 is also delayed oh, yeah? here today. I think British Airways. I think it's probably about two hours, <laughs> two hours into the flight, maybe. It's likely not even across the pond yet. Oh, wow, yeah. There it is, yeah. Oh, well, it's yeah. not too bad. It's, it's about way. 40 minutes <laughs> delayed. Yeah. Eight hours and 33 minutes away. Well, wow. all right. So, I mean, Kevin, have we got anything special to see today? I'm not too familiar with the traffic here at LAX, of course. Well, I'm used to UK traffic. You know, the one thing that is fairly new here to LA, and I think it's the only second day, is ETA bringing in the A330 NEO. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The only second time it's been here. This aircraft, brand new, just delivered in April of this year. Oh, wow. So, so yeah, very new. No, actually, no, I take that back. Last year, April of last oh, okay. year. So yeah, it's yeah. about a year old, but usually it's the A350-900. So that's, uh, to me, that's probably the most interesting Unique. thing here today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's fascinating to see all of the, the U.S. airlines and narrow bodies as well. You don't see these the other side of the pond other than, you could, you could say JetBlue. Um, yeah, it's always nice, and I mean... LAX is a cool Speaking of liveries, I mean, you guys have every livery for every type of aircraft for the most part, right? For the, for the most part, yeah, we have quite a huge selection of liveries in Infinite Flight, which is uh, awesome. It's DHL. Nice. A lot of people call this the ketchup and mustard livery. <laughs> You guys have cargo planes on Infinite Flight, right? Yeah, we do. We have a, a handful of cargo aircraft that you can fly around as well. Um, you do have the the uh, 777 freighter as well, which is a very cool one. That's also a very heavy plane as well. When you max that thing out, it's a heavy plane to fly. Sometimes it's like, am I going to get off the runway? <laughs> Let's talk about the ease of the app because, again, I'm not a pilot. I never wanted to be a pilot. Yeah. And I... I think I was, honestly, I was in a Delta A321. It was parked at the West Gates. I did the pushback. Yeah, I did okay. the pushback. Um, to the next level, I never got to the runway. Was I, well, maybe I was on the wrong mode or something, but talk about the ease of the app. Yeah, I mean, it's quite, so it's, it's a very simplified version of a flight simulator. It can be quite complex as well, especially when you fly on the expert server and you really get into it. We have a lot of online tutorials as well if you really okay. want to get into like the nitty gritty bits. But I know, you know, um, I mean, the fact that you was able to push back at least as well is, is say something. We're doing something well, right. <laughs> yes, that's but, um, something. Yeah. But yeah, I, I suppose you could say um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, especially yeah. because it's on a mobile phone. You have you have the tilt controls as well. For some people, that's a little bit unnatural at first. Okay. Um, but we, we've simplified things quite a bit. You can't exactly click the buttons in the flight deck um, because you can imagine that's quite fiddly on a right, mobile phone right. on a very small screen. Um, so we've created like our own systems menu and stuff where you can you know turn on the APU, the battery, the nav lights, the beacon lights, all of the things that you really need to fly a plane. And you know what? Uh, the other thing that really I was kind of into and probably I was paying more attention to are the different camera angles that you can do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's probably I've yeah. got how many different camera angles were there? Uh, there was ooh, uh, off the top of my head, I'm not sure, though there are quite a few. There are quite a few you can choose from, like the tail view. Uh, the, the, you can go down to the, the landing gear and land from there if you really want to set yourself a challenge. Um, yeah, there's a handful of views that you can choose from. You can even set your own custom views as well if you want to take the camera to the cabin and you know sit in the seat that you sat in from your recent flight in real life. Wow. Yeah. If I would have known that was an option, I would have never oh, yeah? have gotten anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> See, I always, I, to me, I never wanted to be a pilot. I, I loved, like, 
the airline industry and just the whole thing about you know how certain uh, CEOs and airlines buy certain types of aircraft and why they do that and what can fit with this and what can and what can't and so that's that's why Kevin never got to the runway because he was so interested <laughs> in just how the plane looked and the different camera angles and stuff like that yeah right I get it yeah yeah well, uh, thank you to our, our senior editors that made that an enjoyable experience for you. <laughs> oh, excellent, excellent. Yeah, thanks, you guys. I, and normally, I mean, look at this. This is like a, a very empty Tom Bradley. Okay. Which is not, not very common. Of course, we're usually here on a Sunday for the big Sunday show here on yeah. the south side. Sunday's a little busier, but uh, we'll have plenty of A380 sitting there at Tom Bradley. Looking forward to that. See that, and I'll be on one a little later on, which will be the best bit about it. <laughs> Excellent. I'm going to yeah, sure. rush in here just real quick. Michael with a $5 Super Jet. Thank you so much. Michael says, I spent three months at the COJ trial for ABC News. It was called Camp OJ across the street from the courthouse. Happy anniversary on the show. Thank you so much, Michael. Yes. Boy, oh boy, those were the days. Skittles, a member for 12 months. Is a diamond member? 12 months, unbelievable. Where has the time gone? I'm proud to be an AVL member. I'm raising my imaginary glass to your continued success. By the way, please check your mailbox next week. There may be something there for you. Oh, yes, I got to check the uh, PO box this Saturday. Thank you so much, Skittles. And Grant, becoming a platinum member. Thank you so much, Grant. Now, Dan, your background, you used to live stream. So this sure. whole live streaming thing is not, you know, it's not totally much alien. know what's going on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, um, the funny story is I used to do live streams on my personal channel, which I don't do anymore, but Infinite Flight saw that, and that's how I managed to get myself <laughs> my ah, position at the company. Nice. They saw that, and uh, yeah, my story started from there of Infinite Flight. So yeah, I have my fair share of experience when it comes to streaming Infinite Flight as well. The ups and downs of live streaming. Oh yeah, we. Um, <laughs> the funny story is recently we had we had like a premiere, like a very important stream with the 380 just before we uh, released it. <laughs> and, and moments before going live, it just broke. Oh, Every, of course, everything of broke. Course. And, and you know it happens, and it's those those uh, issues that you run into that sometimes you can't fix right in the moment, and that's just the reality <laughs> of live streaming. But one week later, we successfully managed to do it. So yeah, the joys of streaming. The joys. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, we know all about the things breaking down on the show, <laughs> during the show, before the show, after the show. Right. You said in New York that uh, a bit of rain damaged something, right, the other day? Yeah, we had two of our video cards, these two these? things, okay. which cost about $400 a piece, Ouch. never even <laughs> hit a drop of rain, but it was so moist in the air okay, that it actually so just destroyed two of them. Damn. Go figure. That's not fun. Well, you just have, well, you just have to replace it at some point. <laughs> yeah. All right, we do have China Airlines Cargo 777 at Freighter now taking off 25 left. Wow. Very nice. Oh, you think that was nice, Dan? Wait until you see the oh, A380s yeah. taken off. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> that. What are those flights, scheduled? Uh, it's in the noon hour, so it's got a you got a little time. Okay. China Airlines Cargo Flight 51 at 15, heading to Taipei in that three-year-old 777 freighter. Chez Aviation with a $5 Super Jet. Thanks so much, Chez. Hi, Dan. It's so nice to see you in my hometown. I'm glad, glad you met Airline at Video. See you in Vegas. What's up, Chess? <laughs> Good to see you here, Chess. Oh, you know Chess? Oh, I know Chess, yeah. He, uh, he come to our community meetup here in LA last year. Oh, okay. Super, super cool guy, super cool guy. You guys have something going on in Vegas during the summer? Yeah, you got Flight Sim Expo. It's, uh, oh. it's the uh, conference where uh, you know a lot of flight simulator developers and companies go there to uh, show off their products, and that's exactly what we're doing. Um, as Very a, nice. In addition to Oshkosh as well. If you you haven't been, have you? No, I have never you haven't. Been. Ah, you need to go. <laughs> <laughs> I, thanks, Dan. Now everyone's going to be bothering me about it. What is that again? That's in July, right? That's in yeah, towards the end of July. Uh, okay. It's, it's fantastic. If those of you watching the stream have ever been as well, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It really is 
the week for Av Geeks. And what am I what am I missing? Everything. By not going. <laughs> everything. Everything. <laughs> so much. There's a lot going on. A lot of GA. Um, there's some commercial jets yeah, there yeah, as well yeah, in the yeah, Boeing yeah, Plaza. Yeah, and just, you know, the, uh, the being up close to all of these big jets and small airplanes as well. And of course, the air show, the F-22s ripping holes in the sky. Oh, there's nice. a lot going on there. And it's a, it's a dream for any Av Geek, so I'd recommend it, Kevin. Get yourself there. I know. <laughs> oh, we have a busy summer coming up. I don't, well, we'll try our best. I don't know. When is it again? Do you have the exact date? Is it mid uh, to late uh, July? It's, it's the end. It's, it's end towards of July. the end. Uh, okay. the I think we're going, uh, flying out maybe on the 24th. No. Okay. Or something. It's around. It's around the 20th okay. to the end of the month. For I don't know off the top of my head. I probably should, but I don't right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I kind of put you on the spot on that. I, well, we might. I don't know. That's in between Chicago and possibly going back to uh, okay. New York. So we'll we'll try our best, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll be able to get some cool content there as well. Yes, so you guys will have a booth there as well? We do, yeah, we exhibit there, which is um, which is brilliant. You know, we have a lot of uh, people that stop by at the booth who've never heard of Infinite Flight, and it's great to see them give it a go for the first time. Speaking of, I noticed in the chat there was a few people that could not find the link to the three-day free trial of the... Interesting. Pro, it is in the description. So if you're on your cell phone or iPad, go into the description here on the channels. Basically, it is just below the main screen. Uh, it says more. Click on the more and go more again. <laughs> Down, you'll see the link toward the end of the description. And you just click on that link, and that will take you directly to the App Store. And actually, it will pop up and, and give you the the um, offer. It will, right yeah. There. It will come up with like a cool, cool like screen that, that Apple's made. Um, but again, if you're on Android, it will be a slightly different landing page. There are a few extra steps that you'll need to follow. But don't worry, we've explained all of those steps to every detail Excellent. that you'll need to know. So Excellent. All right, we do have some A380s on our way. Just 12 oh, yeah. minutes out. Korean Air Flight 17 coming from Seoul. A380 followed by Asiana, the first of two A380s coming in 30 minutes, running about eh, 15 minutes behind here today. Nothing exciting nothing stuff. too horrible. <laughs> Seems like that's a trend with the 380s today then. <laughs> it does. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Zarni, a member for 23 months, is a gold member since 23 months. One more month to go to catch the eclipse in Arkansas next week. We're on to Colorado. Boy, oh boy, that's right. You guys are on your long trip there. LA Tower, question 435. <laughs> so, uh, Kevin, tell yes. me, you asked what my favorite aircraft is. What's yours? Well, you know what? I always categorize this because if you were asking me about in the past, I always say the 727 or the 737-200. Okay. Currently, like you, the look of the A350 is there's nothing else out there like it. If it, you know, the Dreamliner comes close, but the Dreamliner is hit and miss with me. I love to fly in it. I love yeah. the windows. Nothing better than those large windows. The look of it. It really all depends on the livery. I will say that. Sometimes okay. it just doesn't look right. Sometimes it looks really good. Um, it certainly just doesn't... Whatever is on the A350, I'm like, oh, that looks really good. <laughs> yeah, right. um, but uh, the fly-on, I'd say I'd rather fly in the Dreamliner over the A350. Okay. Probably because of the windows. Yeah, the windows are nice and big. You can see a lot more. But they recently flew on the Airbus A220-300. That was a really nice plane. Oh, yeah? Which because, airline? Uh, Breeze. Bre oh, yeah, yeah, Breeze, right. Yeah, I remember seeing the video. That was very cool, by the way. They, uh, you know, the, the great thing about that plane is even from here at Imperial Hill, it looks tiny yeah. next to <laughs> a lot of these jets. But on the inside, it looks, it feels just like an, you know, A320, yeah. A321. Very comfortable. I've never been on one, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Got to get you on one. <laughs> exactly. well, you guys have plenty of them over there in the UK. We have but, a lot, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. We do have ANA Cargo. This is a 777 freighter heading to Tokyo Narita, flight 8407, lighting up here on the south side. Currently sitting up there at the cargo area on the northeast corner of the south complex. That's something we don't normally see on our Sunday shows. This view is lovely. So let me introduce you once again. This is Let's our friend it. Dan with Infinite Flights. 
if you guys are watching around the world. <laughs> it's good to be here. Thanks for having us on. He's probably sitting here thinking, geez, where's all the planes? Oh, Where I mean, is everything? I, I, mean, I mean, I'm just glad the weather's nice. <laughs> yes, yes. Unfortunately, we had to cancel Sunday show. It was just right. pouring rain here. Yeah, it's never fun. Of course, you, uh, you know, you as a live streamer would know, you know, rain and water and the equipment just don't doesn't mix doesn't very well. Mix. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> not a very good combination. <laughs> All right, well, maybe this is a good time. Do you want to do the, the I think giveaway? So. I think that would be a cool idea. Let's figure out a keyword, and then we can send it. Well, I came up with a keyword earlier. OK. And I'll show it to you. Yeah. Does that work for you? That works perfectly fine, All right. yeah. OK. All right. Well, uh, I'm happy to give them a brief if you'd like me to. Yes, let's, uh, let's brief everyone. Go ahead and look at the left camera over there. Camera Dan's going to tell you exactly what we're giving out here. and. And then I'll tell you what to do. Go for it, Dan. Cool. So we'll be giving away one month to Infinite Flight Pro, and we'll be giving away, giving away five of those. So five of you lucky people watching the stream right now will be able to get access to absolutely everything that we have to offer in Infinite Flight. You know, that means flying around the world with friends, if you have friends that use Infinite Flight as well, on our multiplayer servers, and much, much more, including hundreds of liveries and a whole bunch of aircraft as well. So that's one month to Infinite Flight Pro. So we're going to do five at a time. So we'll yeah. do another five at a little bit later. So five. So, um, so Nightbot is going to announce five winners in the chat. If that is you, then you're going to send an email. What's the email again? Support at infiniteflight.com. All right. So just like we do at the live giveaways on Sundays, we need your name, your channel link, so they can connect your channel name to your, your channel so you can verify it is you, and then they will send out the special code to you through the email. Exactly that. All right. So again, we're going to do five. There's no fancy music or graphics <laughs> for this one. So We can sing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yes. I got music. We got music. Uh, but you do need to enter a keyword, key, a code, code word, just like we do on the Big Sunday shows. And that code word is flight. Flight. Make sure it's all caps, no space. Flight. F L I G H T. Flight. There all you right. go. We can play some music. And then the chat music. goes crazy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I feel like we need to uh, play some music. Some suspense music. Some exciting. Oh, there here we, we go. go. How about this? Once the music's done, we'll, we'll uh, choose the five. <laughs> <laughs> You need some music to let people, you know, get enough flights there in the chat. Let's do it. The chat's going wild. And by the way, one other thing. This is open to everyone. You don't have to be a member of the channel. This is open to every viewer. Every viewer. This is open to you all. So even if you're a member or just a plain old viewer here on the channel, make sure to enter flight. F-L-I-G-H-T. A lot of you guys got it right. There we go. Turn it up. Oh, yeah, that chat's going. Oh, yes. <laughs> Again, we're going to do five, five at a time. So we'll do a total of 10 here today. So five being gifted out here in a matter of minutes. Five lucky people. Yes, indeed. So again, they explain to me. So the regular version of Infinite Flight, I mean, what is that going to basically get you? It's going to get you a 737 on a yeah, runway? So yeah, you have uh, the 737-700 um, okay. and a couple of other aircraft as well that you'll be able to fly around set regions around the world. Just okay. to give you a feel of Infinite Flight, see if you like it, if you don't like it. And then for 10 bucks a month, uh, US dollars, um, you know, we essentially give you access to the entire world in 15 meter pixel of satellite imagery, which is streamed to you when you fly. Okay. I, it's well worth it. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really cool when you can be like, oh, what should I do today? Let's start a flight. I'm going to fly from LAX all the way to Heathrow. And you get your iPad, set it up, say goodbye to the other pilots that are currently parked at, parked at LAX on our expert server or whatever server you fly on, and say hello to them when you arrive you at guys, Heathrow. 
can I ask you, you may already have this, and I, I might be out of the loop on this. You don't have an actual where you can just plain spot live. Can you do that? In, in theory, you can. It does require you having to be spawned in with an okay. aircraft. So you could just spawn in with a Cessna or, or a private, like a Challenger 350 or something at a remote stand. And then you can go onto what we call the free cam. Okay. And position that camera, I guess you could say here at Imperial Hill and watch the traffic on the expert server, the training or casual server. Yeah. There you go. You can do a little plane spotting plane as well. Spotting. Virtual spotting, which a lot of people actually do. That might, I, I, I yeah. I'm going to have to look for that now. Keep your eyes peeled for our online events because we drive a lot of traffic to a very specific location for these events, which is the best time to do some spotting if you're not in the mood for some flying. All right. All right. You guys ready? We're going to do five. So five names are going to be announced by Nightbot in the chat. If that is you, make sure again to send the email to right. support at infiniteflight.com. There you go. And make sure you have your name and your channel linked so we can verify it is you. We need to verify. All right. Here we go. The first five. First one, World of Speed. World of Speed. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, here we go. Next one. Jefferson Silviera. Jefferson Silviera. You are the second winner here today. Rubs. Rubs. <laughs> you are the third winner. Congratulations, Rubs. Gerson. Oh, I'm member as well. There we go. Yes, the channel member, Gerson, awesome. number four. Congratulations. And Paige Larson, also a channel member, is our fifth winner. There you go. All right. We'll do five more a bit later, Tater. Congratulations. Yes. Thanks, you guys. Congrats. Enjoy. Again, make sure you reach out to support at infinitefight.com if you'd like to claim that one. Yes, absolutely. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, get flying. <laughs> All right, our first of many A380s Supers here today. Korean Air Flight 17 coming in from Seoul to A380 Super, heading to 24 right there on the north side. You can see the 747s parked up here as well. Yeah, a lot of cargo. Oh, yeah. Queens. I think there's one actually pushing back. DHL, Coletta Air, heading to Honolulu, 747-400, now pushing it back. We'll head to the two fives for a south side takeoff. We're heading to Honolulu next month. I heard. Yeah, I tuned into the start of the stream. You're going there to rent a truck and stand on the roof. And yes. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. At the park for the plane spotting, you kind of need a, a, a big pickup truck. Okay. So you, can, you know, got to get over yeah, a yeah. fence. Now, here at Imperial <laughs> Hill, you know, thankfully the fence is low. You've already got some sort of elevation. Yes. So we're looking forward to it. I've never been there. Have you been the high level? I've never been. I would love to go someday. So how uh, often? How often do you, know. you come to the U.S.? Uh, I mean, you could say relatively frequently now, actually, recently since uh, since working for Infinite Flight. And, of course, my partner is uh, cabin crew for Virgin Atlantic. So okay. occasionally I, I hop on a flight with her as well and just go down route for a night or two just to in enjoy what the, what the States has to offer. I love being here. Yeah. It's a cool place, especially LAX. Oh, you've got the 380 here. Wow, that, that lens does zoom in far. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Sometimes we get stuck by that wire. Oh, I see. Right. There we go. So of course, this A380 will arrive on 24 right there on the north side. Head over here to the south side to fairly empty Tom Bradley. Those at the in and out Burger right now are screaming. Have yeah, you, did you go there yesterday? I didn't. No, I haven't been there today. Not, not so far on this trip anyway. Maybe I will a little later on. But we'll see. Of course, this A380 Super will be taken off on 25 left. That is the south side runway right in front of our cameras and microphones here. Makes it look small. 
And that is a huge plane. There are hundreds of people on that. Well, you know, I mean, you know, when you start really looking at the A380, it's it's kind of short. It is. It's a stubby <laughs> plane. It's very short. Yeah. I think a lot of people expect it to just be this huge thing. And when you really see it in person, you're like, well, it, that's kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not as long as I thought it was going to be. Uh, then again, I think it's the top deck that adds that chunkiness to it, of course. I think if you sliced off the top deck, it then would look like quite a long plane. True. Yeah. But yeah, it's chunky. It's a, it's a chunky boy. There's <laughs> <laughs> the a and Cargo 777 Freighter now taking off. 2-5 right. Wow. Yeah, Danny, I mean, for a Tuesday, there are actually is quite a few people here plane spotting. I mean, on Sundays, it is just packed full of people I can all, imagine. The way, all the way down. But for a random Tuesday, not, not a bad crowd. Yeah. I think they're all here for you. <laughs> well, if anyone is around the area, we do have some stickers and keychains as well. Oh, so you if you'd do? Like to. We do. Yeah, I'll give you, uh, give you a couple of those as well, oh, of course. We got some uh, trading cards Swap and these <laughs> gift bags, all kinds of things. <laughs> Chess Aviation back with a five dollar super chat. Oh. There we go. Chess. <laughs> How long will you be in Imperial Hill, Dan? I might come out to say hi. Only lives twenty minutes away. Well, I mean, time, time is, time is going quite yeah, fast. Um, <laughs> I'm not too sure if I'm being completely honest with you, but I'm having some fun. So yeah, a little bit longer, I would say. If you're only 20 minutes away, then stop by if you want to say hello. I would say get in your car now. You're going to be here in 20 minutes. It's probably a good. That's probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're 20 minutes away. Shouldn't be too much traffic. So would you consider yourself, Dan, a plane spotter or just an av geek? Uh, yeah, I think I'm more of an av geek. Uh, okay. I don't do an awful lot of spotting. Um, maybe I do occasionally in my spare time. But um, yeah, yeah, I, I just, like I say, I love aviation as a whole. And if I get the opportunity to spot, <laughs> then I definitely will, just like today. Um, and where would you go? Would you go to uh, Heathrow? Heathrow? Okay. Heathrow, yeah. I mean, that's my, it's always been the best option for me as well. You have. Myrtle Avenue, if anyone watching has been there, you'll know that that's a very similar sort of perspective as what you'd get if you were spotting at the In-N-Out Burger over the other side of LAX. And that's the shot where they, they're all flying over the house, the exactly, row of exactly. houses. The, the yeah. famous low landing shots over the houses that a lot of people say they wouldn't like to live in, but I'm sure every <laughs> Avgeek would argue otherwise. How close are they? I mean, is, are we talking really close? Oh, they are close. They, I mean, a lot... <laughs> A lot of people zoom in with their cameras, which sort of changes the perspective a little bit. Oh, this is the old livery, no? Taking off now? Yeah, this is uh, the old US Airways livery. Sorry to sidestep there, but I noticed that one thing I always find fascinating about the 737, just saw the MAX takeoff, is they always have such a shallow takeoff compared to the Airbus. Always have a shallow takeoff. Have you noticed yeah. that? Uh, I've noticed it more here, yeah. yeah. And it, I, I think it depends on certain uh, airlines. I, you know, I, I, we see it a lot with the United 737s. They do that long takeoff roll. Yeah. And I, we had a pilot here, and I said, now, why do you guys do that? Are you guys that heavy? He said, no, we run the numbers, and the numbers, the computer says, do a long takeoff roll so we don't damage the engines. Huh. Yeah, right. Okay. So I think it all depends on the airline, certainly. I mean, sometimes people would sit there and go, gosh, that was really, really heavy. It's taken up the whole runway. <laughs> um, but, you know, these aircraft have gotten so good, you know, computer-wise. Great, yeah. I mean, a, lot of, a lot of people are asking, who is talking? This is Dan with Infinite Flights. Hello again. Coming all the way from the UK, spending oh, some yeah. time with us here. All right. Thanks again. Once again, explain us who you are. Yep, let's do it. Who you with? 
There you go. <laughs> sure. So I'm Dan. Uh, uh, I love aviation, which we all do, of course. Um, and I work for Infinite Flight, which is a mobile flight simulator for iOS and Android. And I'm sorry if I'm you know, reiterating this and all of you have already heard it, but there's definitely some of you that haven't heard it. So Infinite Flight <laughs> is a mobile flight simulator for iOS and Android where you can fly around the entire world from the reach of your mobile phone, your iPad, your Android tablet, which is, uh, which is super unique stuff. And we're on uh, the App Store and Google Play if you would like to check us out. And of course, in the description is a special link which will give you three days free to Infinite Flight Pro, which is our full subscription plan, which gives you access to every single thing we have to offer, which includes the entire world in 15 meter pixel satellite imagery. And a lot of aircraft, of course, that you can fly around. Yeah, and of course, LAX. LAX looking really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have the uh, custom custom terminal built, the Tippet Terminal in Infinite Flight, modeled by our 3D artists. Do you guys, I mean, speaking of that, do you guys, like, keep up to date with every, I mean, here at LAX, we are constantly changing things. Yeah. You know, new terminals, the construction on this or that. Do you guys keep close tabs on what's going on at each of these airports? Uh, I mean, we don't, we don't watch airports like a hawk. Um, though our scenery editors uh, who have a passion for these airports will keenly try to update them as frequently as possible so they can accurately match what it's like in real life. Um, and all it really takes for us to do is drop like a, a, a subtle update for it to change for everyone who uses the app. So okay. yeah, every once in a while, you know, you might see an airport that has a construction site one month, and then the next month that construction site might just disappear because the terminal's complete. China Southern Cargo, 777 Freighter taking off, 25 left. Korean Air, A380 making that left hand turn onto Lima. The wingspan. And you were lucky enough to get into the, all the way down there, the Qantas. The Qantas, one time, no? yeah. But you know, the, the wings of the A380, at least on the 800s, was actually designed for the, the, the longer version. Yes, that's why the that's wings correct. are just yep. so big. So do you guys, you guys have, in terms of liveries, let's say the A380 on the app, do you kind of play it safe in a way and only come out with the liveries that are true to life? Or do you have? Y yeah, I mean, recently, I mean, we, you, we did re ages ago release a couple of liveries that were not exactly true, like the Emirates A350 one, for example. But okay. now that's actually a thing. That's right. happening. That plane's, that plane's coming very soon. Um, but generally speaking, yes, we like to keep it as accurate as possible and only add the liveries which actually, actually exist in real life. Okay. Um, and of course, some liveries which don't exist anymore, we like to add those because it's nice uh, for, the, for, for nostalgia to fly those liveries that used to be in the air. What about special liveries? Like with the US Airways, would you have stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, we do. Uh, and recently as well, we've uh, been a little bit more lenient to add some special liveries as well into Infinite Flight. So those of you who are watching right now who use Infinite Flight, then yeah, you can expect to see some more special liveries in the sink soon as well. We love those special liveries. Oh, yeah. Man, there's so many. You know, like you think of Alaska Airlines. They were coming out with a special livery like every month there for a while. Oh, really? Oh, I've kind of sounds like slowed down a little bit. Oh, yeah. It was <laughs> getting a, a, rid of a special livery and adding another one. It was like every you couldn't keep up there for a while. Right, yeah. One of the cool special liveries we added with the A380 recently was the Etihad Choose the UK livery, which has the the London paint scheme down the side of the, oh. the aircraft, which is a very cool looking one. So the Korean Air Flight 17 coming up from Seoul makes those final turns heading to the Tom Bradley. Of course, Tom Bradley will get ex extremely busy coming up. <laughs> do have the uh, Asiana A380 Super. Of course, I've lost my flight radar 24. <laughs> oh no, it's gone. <laughs> it is gone. I've got nothing oh on, the, on the radar. Let me uh, yeah, come sure. over here just I'll for a quick to make sure. I think we're, we've lost. Clear 
So if it's not rain, it's sun. Sun, <laughs> sun destroys the equipment just as good as the the rain. Yeah. This is cool. You've got a very, very interesting and amazing setup actually here. This is very cool. Well, thank you. What of the Jackeries powering hill? Uh, yeah, one. Yeah, they, yeah, we, yeah. As you can see, we got all kinds of Jackeries, <laughs> every size, every model. <laughs> Mr. E with the seven dollars and thirty-seven cents super chat. Thanks so much, Mr. E. Hi, Kevin. I'm traveling in Southwest this Friday. I packed my own Biscoffs to hold on to. <laughs> I always say, hold on to your Biscoffs. Oh yeah. As I turn the camera. <laughs> Got the new JetBlue livery chilling yeah, out. What do you think? It's, um, I mean, it's different. Um, I know some people probably don't like it, and some people do. I think it's okay. It's, uh, it looks cool. It's bold. And this is the thing with a lot of airlines as well. You could say the same with Spirit and EasyJet in the UK. Paint your plane a very bright color, and people are going to see it. And yes. that's uh, <laughs> it's a good strategy to get yourself out there a bit. We, for the longest time, were saying, JetBlue, you need some more blue in your livery. <laughs> right, yeah. It was too much white. <laughs> and lo and behold, look what they came up with. A blue plane. I got to tell you, the, my favorite, though, is Play. A320. Yeah, the red one. All red. Oh, yeah. But the thing is, this must add some serious weight to these aircraft as well, all these different paints. Yeah, I mean, with the, the white seems to be the default color in yeah. many, many airlines. Except for Asiana, you got to give it to Asiana. Of course, you look at the Asiana A3 D Super on the downwind lag. will be arriving on the north side, two for right in about six minutes. Not a cloud in the sky here today. Those passengers have a wonderful view. I'm just uh, amazed how far your lens goes. <laughs> <laughs> what lens is this? This is a big lens. This is a uh, 60 to 600 wow. millimeter. Okay. And then you have a little digital zoom on it. Yeah. So, yeah. It goes, it, uh, it goes it away. It surprises me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Life of a plane spotter. Life of a plane spotter. Every, you know, everyone with their fancy lenses and camera gear. Right. And there's me with my 24 mil lens. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, obviously, if you're not a plane spotter, you're still in aviation. Yeah. Obviously, you're kind of, I'm sure there's there's things that are just as expensive than lenses and camera oh, yeah. gear that you, you purchase and whatnot. For sure. Oh, we do have a queen about to take off on 25 right. Oh, we do? This is the Coletta Airplane Jane, which we call an all white 747. Now uh, rolling it down at 25 right. I believe this is an old passenger, 747. Oh, wow. It's loud. Registrations on the planes on the app, do they match real life registrations? Yep. They do. Yeah, they okay. do. Yeah, they do. Um, obviously, we don't have multiple registrations because then that's like the same livery to load in with just one tiny little bit of text that really makes, you know, right. not, not, a huge, not a huge difference. But as an infinite flight pilot uh, on the multiplayer servers, you can like set your own course sign and all that cool stuff anyway. So, gotcha. It's a shame. I mean, this is the one cool thing about LAX is these heavies. You don't get much of these 747s at Heathrow. No? no. Really? Yeah, not, not too many of them. Not anymore, unfortunately. 
Green Air Cargo, a 777 to Freighter, touching down here on 25 at left. It's flight 207 coming in from Seoul. Oh, look at that, going long for you. Which means going all the way to Taxway Lima, which is kind of a rare huh. thing. Oh yeah? For Korean Air Cargo, so they, they know you're live. Well, you <laughs> hope so. So it will make a left-hand turn in Lima, which is a great shot. Of course, in some of those 747s that go all the way to Lima, go long for us really extremely loud sometimes. Yeah. Did it, uh, recently the Korean Air Pilots wave on one of your videos from him? Uh, it's usually the Lufthansa pilots. Oh, Lufthansa, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. We've got some friends with Coletta, Atlas. Yeah. Now making that turn onto Alpha. Damn. We'll head down to Alpha, down to the Korean Air Cargo Building, not too far from us here at Imperial Hill. Also, just at China Eastern, the 777 at 300ER coming in from Shanghai, touching down on the north side at 24 right. Tell me, Kevin, you're going to have to remind me here, why are they using. 25 left for departures then. So on the south side, 25 right is usually uh, used for takeoffs. 25 left usually uh, used for arrivals. Yeah. Normally. Yeah. Now, the wingspan is just too large on the A380s and the 747-8s. The 400s is fine. Okay. The 400s can take off on 25 right. But because of the, the distance between the taxiways, Bravo, and 25 at right, it's too close to each other. Right, so the wingspan you. would, it just wouldn't work. So you can't have the A380s, the 747 8s actually take off on 25 right. They have to cross over, take Alpha down to 25 wow. left. Um, so normally on a, any given day, that's why we normally see the A380s and 747-8s taking off on the north side on 24 left. Well, 24 left is closed down until mid-July, uh -huh. as they're actually, they had 24 right closed down. Yes, they did. For a good yeah. chunk last spring and summer. What they're doing is they're adding some new taxiway runoffs. So on East Flow, which we kind of saw last week, uh -huh. um, Basically, you land on six left, you're going all the way down to the end of the okay, runway and then I making see. that turn off. So they're adding, I think, two or three turn offs um, to two, I'm sorry, six left, two, four right. They have to now connect those taxiways yeah. to two, four left. So that's why two, four left is closed down until mid July. So that is the reason why now we've got all the A380s taken off here on the south side, but on two, five left, not two, five right. I see. Take off. Yeah, because back uh, in uh, October, when we did our community meetup here at the at the Freebird place, it was originally supposed to be at the In and Out spotting location, but then they closed oh, yeah. the runway. So yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. What do we do now? <laughs> but fortunately, we had a few contingency plans, and we went, of course, to the, to the Freebird place. Bird. Yeah, the Proud Freebird, Bird's a Proud place. Bird, that place, whatever it's called, brilliant place to play yeah. and spot. Great food too. Oh yeah, the food was really good. So we got our second A380. Of course, the first of two Asiana A380s will be arriving here today. I'll be honest with you, Dan. I can't wait until the airport gets back to normal. And we have, yeah. as much as I like the A380s taking off here on the south side, it's just, it's really, as a plane spotter, it's really just when you think you, things are going to take off. Like the Lufthansa 747-8. Okay. Usually, it will take off here on the south side. Ah, Though now, if it's, it's light, you know, if it's not, it's not completely full, it will actually take off on the north side. So it has you guessing. I came out here a couple of weeks ago thinking I was going to get it taken off here on the south side. It went to the north side two no. days in a row. <laughs> That's annoying. So with that being said, I'm just I'm looking forward to normal operations. Life getting back to normal here 
at the LAX. Yeah, I suppose, like you say, it's a guessing game. It always has been, yeah. don't get me wrong. It always has been, but it's even more so now. Hans, a member for seven months as a silver member. Is there any chance you can send some sunny weather to NL? Is it New Orleans? Well, we just got our sunny weather back. I'm not giving it away, that's for sure. <laughs> Matt, member for seven months as a gold member. Thank you so much, Matt. I missed the Polish Mirror Aluminum Fuselages on the American US Air Hawaiian, now most composite, so it's paint only. Yeah. Do you guys have, do you have, speaking of, mm -hmm. older, do you guys have, let's say, L-1011 as one of your, your planes? Though it's not in service anymore. An L-1011, you're going to have to, my, my inner av geek here is now struggling. You're going to you're gonna have to elaborate. What is that? <laughs> that was the trijet by Lucky. Ah, I see. No, we don't. We don't have that. The closest thing you'll get to that is the DC-10 and the MD-11. We also have the freighter versions of those as well. 727? We don't have a 727. No, no right. we don't. Uh, I mean, our current, our current vision is to rework or improve the fleet that we have in Infinite Flight. Okay. A lot of the aircraft that are in the sim at the moment are quite old, the ones that we added a long time ago. So now we'd like to go through and improve them and make them nicer and then eventually start adding newer aircraft in between those as well. But that's not to say to those of you watching right now, if you are Infinite Flight users, don't be too disappointed. We might do a new aircraft in there somewhere. Um, but yeah, we, we, we figured that some of our aircraft need a bit of love. They need to be touched up a bit. Gotcha, gotcha. Like the A380, for example, that we just yeah. added. Yeah. yeah. That was old. Well, you always got to prove everything, you know? Exactly. All right, we do have a A330 with Delta Flight 7 heading to Tokyo Haneda, heading here to the south side. What do you think of these A330 Neos? Yeah, I mean, uh, what? <laughs> Originally, I didn't really like it. Um, I thought the wingtip looked really weird, but now they're growing on me. I haven't always, I haven't really been a huge fan of the A330 anyway. But the 330 Neo is nice. And I mean, have you flown on one? No, I have not. No. Yeah, they're they're nice to fly on. Twice I've flown on the the Neo now, and yeah, they're nice planes. But of course, just like the regular A330s, they're very sluggish. They're very slow planes. Really? Uh, yeah, which is. Um, one thing a lot of pilots don't like about the A330. Interesting. And you're talking about the Neo. The Neo as well. Wow. Yeah. I heard it's a heavy. It's a heavy plane. Right. Yeah, yeah. And it's similar to the A340 as well. Um, a, a lot of people just say they're very underpowered aircraft. Uh, hence the slow, slow speeds, uh, speeds and slow climbs up to cruise. Interesting. Now, it seems like Delta they really likes their A330 Neos. Yeah, I managed to. Was it a Neo? It was. At Oshkosh, the first time around, they brought their Team USA one to Oshkosh. Okay, yeah. Uh, and that did some very cool maneuvers as well over the airport, so that was really, really interesting to see. All right, so Dan, I missed the top of the hour. <laughs> oh no! As I say, I'm I'm fired. Let's do our <laughs> official top of the hour identification. <laughs> Just after 10 a.m. here in beautiful sunny Los Angeles, California, you are watching continuous live coverage of LAX plane spotting right here on your home for LAX live streams. That is Airline Videos Live. Today is our Super Tuesday show here on April 16th. 2024 and I'm you playing jockey Kevin joined today by Dan with infinite flight joining me here at Imperial oh, yeah. Hill thanks you guys for tuning in make sure to hit that like button if you haven't yet and share the stream with your family and your friends all right so coming up we'll do another five giveaways yes, we for will. The 30 30 days free of the pro version of infinite flight so get those fingers ready oh yeah thanks everyone that'll be some good fun China Eastern, the 777-300ER, coming from Shanghai. Now making its way over to, well, a busier Tom Bradley. <laughs> which Dan will be flying out of a bit later. Looking forward to it. Kevin, tell me, what got you into aviation then? What? Got, I, I, you know what, Dan, I have no idea what got me in the aviation. I just... 
born to love it. And I, you know, we've talked about this many times in the show that I grew up in a very small town in Michigan. Okay. And our airport, not the busiest. Uh, Those uh, wheels are <laughs> uh, hanging out. Taking their time. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> Finally. <Slow motion. laughs> wow. Um, so, I, you know, I grew up in a small town. We didn't... I, Back in the day, and I'm talking the 80s and 90s, you know, we had our fair share of 727s and 737s, DC-9s, Northwest Airlines was a big uh, airline in my neck of the woods. So we get our fair share of okay. some decent aircraft. Sadly, today, if you're there today, it's, it's not as busy as it was. So, oh, hold on one second. <laughs> oh, no. All right. But we'll do with that later. So, <laughs> as a young kid, I used to love to go to the airport, and it was just the the sights and the smells of yes. you know Thought of the jet fuel. You know, just the uh, there was something about it. And um, I was obviously as a young kid, I wasn't at the airport all the time, but. I would go pick up relatives that they were coming to town or, or whatnot. Uh, always looked forward to it. And of course, back in the day, we used to have each airline had these timetables printed out. And they were like thick booklets. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. And you'd go up to the, the ticket counter and you'd grab those booklets, though I would never really read them or anything. But it was just cool to always like go and collect whatever the airlines were giving out. Yeah. So I think that's where my love was for it. Uh -huh. Just being around an airport with the airplanes and the smells and the sounds and, and stuff like that. Um, but like I said, I never wanted to be a pilot. I never wanted to be a pilot. That was never, never in my blood. Is that something that's on the table? Now? No, 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 no. <laughs> and you know, it's funny. Someone asked me that yesterday. They go, uh, do you, you never want to be a pilot. I said, no, never want to be a pilot. And it was funny. My Both my mom and dad, who really don't talk to each other, they don't talk to each other, <laughs> both told me in separate times that they watched the interview I did with David Neeleman at Breeze. Okay. And they were saying that he was very comfortable around me. Okay. And so when the person asked me if I wanted to be a pilot yesterday, I said no, but I did interview a airline CEO and he seemed very comfortable around me. And it probably was because I'm interested in the business aspect of an airline. Yeah. And he probably sensed on that that I was didn't want to be a pilot. And so we, I guess we kind of we kind of hit it off a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So now, if you pursue being a pilot, yep. what would be your dream aircraft to fly? Oh, I mean, fle fleets are changing all of the time at the minute, but um, I would quite happily settle for the 320 family. Uh, I, like the, I like the idea of short-haul flights. Uh, as much as flying a wide-body aircraft would be fun, I like the idea of being home uh, at the end of a shift, you know, with the family, right? Hanging out, having dinner at the end of the day, if, uh, if the schedule permits. Um, but yeah, of course, it would be super fun to fly the Super Jumbo as well, and these big planes, but yeah, I think I'll happily settle for the smaller jets. Uh, but if that doesn't happen, then a Cessna 172 is, yeah, is more than enough for me. I'd be happy to fly that thing all day, every day. Yeah, we had a pilot, Captain Lou. He was a 747 pilot with Nippon Cargo. And he would come on our show, and I'd ask him, how's it going? Because great, great. <laughs> the one thing he would always talk about is the straight line 
from LAX to Tokyo Narita. And that's what he would fly back and oh, forth, wow. back and yeah. forth. And he was talking about it's, you know, 11 hours in a straight line. Yeah. And he right, would talk about five, how five, that kind of got old after a while. Five, and so yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess what, kind of what you're saying with the A320 or a smaller five, aircraft is it, it's kind of more exciting as a pilot, right? Because you're, you're constantly up and down and kind of. 100%. You know, and you do more landings. Uh, I suppose it's easier to stay current as well because pilots, they have to do a certain amount of landings as well. Um, with the longest amount of landing, so as a short-haul pilot, that'll be a lot easier than a, than a long haul pilot, obviously. Um, but yeah, I think the change in scenery and flying small jets around Europe sounds a lot more interesting than flying, like you say, in a straight line. A straight line. Over most of the time, a huge ocean, seeing absolutely right. nothing. Right. All right, the Asiana A380 Super. You're making that turn, heading into the gates of Tom Bradley. Our next deck off here on the south side is Delta Airlines Flight 7, heading to Tokyo Haneda, A330 at NEO. So what do you think, Dan? It's getting a little busier. Say again, sorry? It's getting a little busier here at LAX. Yeah, it's, it's definitely getting a little bit more interesting. We've got a not very blue jet blue chilling. <laughs> <laughs> chilling there. Um, yeah, it's nice. I think this is this is fun. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite airports to to yeah. watch planes at. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Have you been to Heathrow yourself? No, I have never been to the UK. Believe it or not, I've been to Europe twice, but never to uh, the UK. Ah. Is it on the agenda? I uh, yes, <laughs> and the agenda is long, of course. <laughs> Yeah, people have been asking for Honolulu. We're finally giving people Honolulu next okay. month. Uh, people have been asking for St. Martin. We're going to give them St. Martin at the end of June. Wow, that'll be fun. At the Asian A380 heading into the gates, uh, southwest right side at gates of Tom Bradley as we wait for that A330. We do have a queen lighting up. Western Global Airlines Flight 415. It's just over here to our right here at Imperial Hill. We'll see if that is a tow. Sometimes we get excited. We see it pop up and, and next thing you know, they're just towing it from one gate to another. To another. <laughs> yeah. There was, uh, I used to be a ramp agent at London Gatwick, and I think the coolest experience that I've had when actually airside on the ramp was when I raced a 777, <laughs> when it was taxiing down, down the taxiway. It was a BA777 wow. just landed. Um, I mean, these vehicles, the airside vehicles, hold on, I'll let you catch this. This is a cool one. Again, that's Flight 7 heading to Tokyo Haneda, A330 NEO with Delta. Awesome. Yeah, I was, as I was saying, um, drag racing a 777, there was a BA flight that landed, I'm not quite sure where from now, um, but I happened to be on one of the airside roadways next to it. And these vehicles, they're capped to a certain speed anyway, but I thought, well, this is the perfect opportunity to make it go its top speed. Um, and it was one of the coolest experiences, taxiing or racing, you could, I call it racing because that's what it kind of felt like, although it definitely wasn't. Um, alongside a 777. Wow. It was, uh, and I mean right there, it was, yeah. it was yeah. right there. It was very cool. I know if uh, there, there are a lot of geeks watching um, and, you know, working on the ramp and working in airports is one of the best ways to get super close <laughs> to these birds. Super close. Yeah, the, I, I, the social media is full of, of people that work as ramp agents yeah. or whatever they're doing, ops agents. They're all, you know, they got these social media accounts with these uh -huh. awesome videos. That's it. All the up close shots. <laughs> Which you don't need to do because you have got a 600 mil lens. No, which no, takes no, trust you right me, I'd there. rather be up close. <laughs> I'd rather be a little bit up closer. American Dreamliner now taking off, 25 at right. Now we're going to have visual, 2 so back to the app, is there is there an airport and an aircraft that is the most used? Do you guys 
Yeah, it's an interesting question. Of course, recently we released the A380, so that's by far one of our most used aircraft at the minute, purely because it's new. Um, yeah, we have a whole host of most popular aircraft, uh, like the A350 is quite high up there, and same for airports as well. You know, some of the main ones around the world, like LAX, Heathrow, Sydney, uh, New York, some of the major airports are the ones where you'll find traffic all around the clock uh, on any of our multiplayer servers without there being an event. Gotcha. I gotta tell you guys, check out the LAX. I'll show you this right now, Kevin. If I go into Life Flight here, we have an API where uh, people, developers, can essentially create their own like flight trackers, like flight radar, but for infinite flight. Oh. And this is without clicking on a plane. It's gonna work. No, okay. So again, what is this? This is just live flight. Actually, our, our developer Cam, he developed this back in the day. It's like the OG flight tracker for Infinite Flight, but it allows you. There, there are newer ones now, like Infinite Info and Infinite X. Um, but you can track like all of the planes that are currently flying around the world on your app, on the app. Wow, just look like, at that! Just like flight radar. And right now, it looks like there's a lot of traffic at Heathrow. Uh, we well, got Dubai down here as well. So. Well, look at that, it's and this stuff. is something you can download on the uh, App Store as well. So, uh, Life Flight you can't, but there are other apps called uh, Infinite Info, and uh, I think that's the only one you can download on the, on the App Store. Infinite X is a website, but it does the same thing there. Okay. You know, we have some dedicated community members that like to access our API and develop some, some cool, cool websites and trackers for our flight simulator, just like this one. That is extremely cool. Coletta Air 747 touching down at 25 left. Will it go all the way to Lima for Dan? Go on. <laughs> Danny's experience. This is landing, you said? This is landing at 25 oh, okay. left. Come on, all the way down. Uh, I don't know, it's 50 50 at this point. Come on. I think I think it is, Dan. I want to see it go. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. 747 is 400, too. This I might be a little seven. loud here. He's got his cell phone left. down. Polaris one seven one one, RNF Docker, wind calm, when we see five right, there's a takeoff. You put the call for what you put right and don't know what that is one X Lima to let the alpha contact ground on one one point seven. Oh and he's coming off here as well, yeah, of course. Taxi's right past. What do you think? Oh, I'm happy. I think that's the closest I've been to a 747 in a while. <laughs> well, you need to go up to Anchorage. Oh, yeah? You think this is close? Oh, boy. <laughs> so this is a 747-400 design as a cargo. Runway 250 left, What do you think of... Uh, You've seen Coletta's older livery, right? I haven't, no. It's, it's basically what's on the tail used to go s straight through the, the the whole plane, basically. Oh, okay. Right, I see. So this is their new livery? This is the updated. <laughs> it looks nice. <laughs> A lot more white. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The opposite of jet blue. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> Is Coletta Air Flight 935 coming from the Anchorage 747 400 freighter 26 Hotel years Bravo of 7, age? All right, Polaris 1711 contact with the departure. 
Good, November for five Bucket months. It's a gold member since so when will you guys be in Boston? There are two free <laughs> ways to get into the city Logan Mark, Express, 18, Back Hotel, Bay Old Shuttle, Florida, and the MBTA right Silver Line bus to yeah, South yeah, South yeah, Station. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back in Boston at the end of June. End of June. Kevin, so was it a shower thought? When did you decide that you wanted to? Get all of this equipment and live stream planes. Well, those are good questions, Dan. Uh, well, you know, it was about three years ago. I was working in TV news, and uh -huh. um, I was out here, you know, just being a regular plane spotter and grabbing some video of the planes. And, um, you know, working in TV news, th the thing I... I shouldn't say hated, but I really did. I really did. If someone said, Kevin, you're going to go live, you're going to do a live shot. Oh, yeah. I, I hated the word live. <laughs> and so I came out here three years ago. Um, we, three, three years ago last week, we celebrated our three anniversary. I used to be at the in and out Burger, and I just oh, yeah? obviously didn't have this much equipment. We had a different software back then, and I started doing the live streams. I had no intention of really wanting to do the live streams. Right. I just thought, well, this is a new piece of software. Let's see how it goes. Uh -huh. And that's when people really started getting interest in the channel and saying, well, that's really, I, I like this. And they started supporting the channel, and uh, it became like it was the start of the community okay, part of the channel. Yeah. And so the rest is history, and here we are. Yeah. Now two tables here and many Jackery <laughs> batteries and three cameras, <laughs> two that aren't working, obviously. So, Oh, these ones stopped? The behind the scenes apparently has stopped, and I, oh. I think I know why. I think a good old Sony's overheating <laughs> in the sun over there. <laughs> oh, right, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just have to cool down. Heckman 29, a member for two months. It's gold member for two months. Also, Super Tuesday at Imperial Hill. What happened to streaming above the H Hotel? Please explain. I'm lost. <laughs> so, hi, Dan, aka Infinite Flight. Hey, what's going on? So, usually on Tuesdays, well, not usually. Sometimes we're here at Imperial Hill. We're up at the H Hotel on Tuesdays. I thought. There's so much action going on here on the south side that it's good to be over here in Imperial Hill on a, a random Tuesday. So we'll be back at the H Hotel on that Friday. Going slightly mad, a member for 23 months. It's a platinum member. This is one more month until the sheriff's badge. Woohoo! One more month, my gosh. Brain Sturgeon, a member for one month is a silver member. Says, This has been the best month of my life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Speaking of the best month, should we do another live drawing? That sounds like a brilliant idea. I think we should uh, roll with that. All right. So let's put this back in. Is, the, uh, is that Challenger or something taking off? Not quite. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. All right. So, Dan, would you like to explain again what we're yeah, giving away here? Yeah, sure. So, we're going to do another giveaway where we, Infinite Flight, will be giving away five one-month Infinite Flight Pro subscriptions to five lucky people watching the stream right now, uh, which will essentially give you access to absolutely everything that we have to offer on our subscription plan, which means you can fly around the entire world on multiplayer, loads of planes and hundreds of liveries from the reach of your mobile phone. Yes. And that's exactly what we're going to be giving away today to five lucky people watching the stream right now. And again, you don't have to be a member. This is open to anybody. Everybody. You do have to enter a code word. And when we give out the five prizes, Nightbot is going to tell you who won and when, and if it's your name, then you're going to send an email to support at infiniteflight.com. And make sure you include your name and a link to your, your YouTube channel so they can verify it is you with your screen name as well. All right. Are we good? Let's roll. Let's do it. Did you figure out a keyword for the second one as well? I think we're going to stick with the same one. The flight? How about okay. that? Yeah, yeah. Flights. Flights. We'll play some music here. <laughs> 
flight, F L I G H T, is your code word once again. Enter it. We will draw the five as soon as this music is over. You like our music selection, Dan, huh? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Planes, aviation and music. Great combo. Oh, Dan, you, uh, uh, back in the day, we used to have a Friday night dance party. Oh, yeah? Yes, it was all music and, and planes. So, awesome. Nice. Oh, yeah. All right, make sure to enter F-L-I-G-H-T if you're a chance to win one of these five 30-day pro versions. All in caps. All in caps, absolutely. Remember, this is open to everyone as well. You don't have to be a member. Open to everyone. Good luck. Are we looking forward to seeing some of you in the virtual skies of Infinite Flight on multiplayer? Yeah. <laughs> All right, enter that. Maybe one day we'll find Kevin on the expert server flying no, around. I, I don't know, Dan. I don't know if you want me over there, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I might do some plane spotting at LAX, though. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Well, here's the thing. The next time we do a busy event at LAX, I'll send you a message. You can spot yeah. in and watch, watch all the fun. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah. That would be a lot of fun. All right. All right, if you guys are just tuning in, we're doing a little giveaway here. This is Dan with Infinite Flights, giving out 30, I'm sorry, five 30-day free of the pro versions of the app. So make sure, type in F-L-I-G-H-T, Flights. 30 days free of uh, Infinite Flight, which, to reiterate, gives you access to the entire world in 15 meter pixel satellite imagery, where you can fly around with your friends or even join a virtual airline and, uh, you know, recreate some realistic real world scenarios within the flight simulator. Very nice. You know, I'll be honest with you. I'm a little worried that I'm going to get addicted to some of these apps, you know? <laughs> Oh well, yeah, Infinite Flight sure is addictive. <laughs> In Infinite Flight, I've managed to accumulate almost 5,000 hours of flight time. Wow. Yeah, and that's the really neat thing about it is that you don't have to necessarily be at your device for the entire flight. If you wanted to fly from here to Tokyo, you could take off, set the autopilot, and leave it be. Wow. And you can just come back, and, you know, a couple of hours later, whenever the flight's at the top of descent, and you can go ahead and land it. So, my gosh, you can build up those stats really quick. All right, the music's almost ending, so make sure to enter F-L-I-G-H-T. Doesn't matter if you're a member of the channel or just a regular viewer or a new viewer as well. We're going to be listing the five winners here momentarily. Who's going to win? <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> All right. <laughs> By the way, that Dreamliner with United was flight 801 heading to Hong Kong. It was taken off there. All right. I think that Queen, by the way, that Western Global, is still sitting over there. I don't know if it's yeah. going anywhere. He just put the All transponder right. on for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the music's officially over with. All right. So Nightbot is going to announce the five winners. It's happening right now. Now, here we go. Our first one, Dakota Steinhardt. Dakota, congratulations. I know Dakota. Oh, yeah? They're in Ohio. Congratulations, Dakota. Number two, the virtual spotter. Ah, this is an infinite flight user. Oh, <laughs> so congratulations. <laughs> well, there you go. Glad to have you here. Number two, number three, RJ Luke, Mr. Michigander. Number four, 
Karen. Just Karen. The channel member, Karen. There you go. Congratulations, Karen. And our last winner here today, drum roll, Pumpkin's Patch. Pumpkin's Patch. Our 10th winner here today. Congratulations, you guys. All right, make sure if you did win any of the 10 giveaways here today, make sure to send that email with your name and your link to your YouTube channel so they can verify it is you. That's and then right. you can start flying. Yep, once Fly it away. Exactly. To the other side of the world, once again, that's support at infiniteflight.com to claim that prize. Excellent. All right. Well, Don, I won't hold you up yeah, because yeah, of course, I think yeah. you need to just sit here and just take it all in. Admire the, the uh, <laughs> but before aviation. You, before you take off, you know, we got to give you the official yeah, the training cards. <laughs> I'll get some goodies for you as well. <laughs> oh, this is That's exciting. Let's get going. All right, so we've got, uh, we've got the Rudy trading card. You know, these are going to be collector's item someday, Dan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and how about the plane net jockey, Kevin? And of course. Delta Delta 520 Heavy will cross, or Hotel 9 cross. So now we exchange gifts. Right now we do exchange gifts, yes. So what I'll do is I'll give you um, just a little deck of stickers. Um, okay. And I'll also leave a couple of keychains as well, because if oh. for whatever reason any of our uh, users stroll up yeah. later on or any other time and you'd like to just yeah, give them, if they say they know Very nice. flight, then I'll be giving Kevin a little keychain and some stickers. Very and they'll nice. also be here as well for you if you'd like to All grab right. one. All right, yes, stop on by. So well, very nice. That's for Those you. Very nice. Thank you very much. There's some awesome. stickers. Appreciate trading it. cards. Yeah. You're playing jockeys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you some more of these. Hold up. All right. All right. Give you a little deck of these. <laughs> these bad boys. <laughs> Those are very nice. There you go. Yeah, I'll give you some of these as well. Whoa, all right. Yeah. Carry your passion. Carry your slogan. passion there on the back. Exactly. Carry right. your passion in your pocket, wherever you are. I think Dan's probably going to stick around here at Imperial Hill and just kind of take it all in. So if you yeah. guys want to come by, he yeah, probably 13, should be here for a doctor. little bit. I, yeah, I think I will, you know, hang around for a little bit longer. Maybe at some point, I should probably find some food. <laughs> oh, well. Proud Bird. Come on, you got to go back to the <laughs> Proud yeah, yeah, Bird. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, well, uh, well, Dan, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us pleasure. on. Yeah, no, this is uh, amazing stuff. You've got some good stuff going on here. And, of course, it's a pleasure to, you know, be on the stream and talk to some of you as well. And, of course, give away some subscribers. Descriptions. Once, Always fun. Yeah, okay, once again, in the description is a link to a three-day trial to Infinite Flight Pro. If you'd like to give it a go for three days, then click it and find out what it's all about, I guess. Yes, yes. Um, just so, again, I'd, I'd like to reiterate for your sake as well. Um, if you don't want the subscription to roll over and continue on a monthly basis, you must cancel the free trial. Otherwise, you'll be charged $9.99 US dollars a month for the regular Infinite Flight Pro subscription. So if you don't want to carry on, then just make sure you cancel yes, make the sure. subscription and turn off auto renew. But there yes, you go. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, well, thanks you guys so much. Awesome. Come back. Be, don't be a stranger. Maybe we'll see you up in uh, yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah. I don't know. Or even we'll London. See. If you come over to London, and you're doing some yeah. you know, Come say hello. Yes, absolutely. That'd be All awesome. Right. Well, um, well, Dan, thank you. Once again, thank you. thanks for having me on. I'll probably have find some food tonight. and maybe go watch some planes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right. Well, have a good flight tonight. Yes. He's flying in British Airways A38. If you want to track his flight later, yeah, it's uh, a little delayed here. What is it here? It's um, let me 268, see. right? I think so. Just open up the handy flighty app here. BA268. Yeah, that's 268. correct. 268. 368. And track Dan as he heads back to the UK. Over the pond. Are you going to take back some of the sun with you? Uh, I mean, quite luckily enough, I think there's a little bit of sun in the UK at the minute. Hopefully okay. it stays that way because we do have some, some nice summers over there. But knowing my luck, I'll get back and it'll, uh, it'll rain really nah. hard. <laughs> All right. Well, well best awesome. of luck. All right. Well, thank you, Dan. Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. And yes. it was great to talk to all of you on the stream and um, enjoy the rest of the day, I guess. All right. <laughs> yes, you you enjoy. All right, Dan. Thank you awesome. so much. Thanks for having us on. Take care. Thank you. Our pleasure. All right, guys, give me one second. I just want to officially say goodbye.
1442, contact for the departure. 1442, see ya. Rocket 525, travel across and 25 right line of the way. American 1653, cross runway 25 right at Juliet, contact ground point 75. Ground 25 right at Juliet, point 75. Sky West 5596, contact over the Archer. Archer Shield, Sky West 5596. Rock 525 on at the docker, wind 2506, runway 25 right, quick takeoff. Rock 286, left on this tower, runway 25 right, line of weight. Cargo looks for a pop and heavy, left on this tower, which runway are you set up for? 200. Okay, QB, just a moment. Full stream 5, Gulf Alpha, exit Alpha 7, turn left onto Alpha, then contact ground on point seven five. All right, we do have a cargo Lux Queen. We'll be heading to Luxembourg, flight 6682. It's a 747-400ER. Should be heading to the two fives here shortly. Next deck off is Avianca, flight 525, heading to San Salvador. It's an A320neo. On at the docker, wind 2407, runway 25 right, clear pick up. Yeah, it's 8131, lost on the tower, runway 25 right, line of point. 25 right, line of point, United 8131. Talk to 525, contact for the departure. Parker, Parker, Parker. Karen, and becoming a silver member. Thank you so much, Karen. Next deck off, heading to Newark. Alaska Airlines, 286, 737-900ER. Zippy now zipping on out from the north side gates of Tom Bradley. It's flight 23. We'll be heading back to Tokyo Narita in a 787-8 Dreamliner. On the pond Airways, flight 6, well, coming up from Tokyo Narita, 787-9 Dreamliner, or, arriving on the north side, 24 right. I don't see very many open gates on the southwest side of Tom Bradley. Should be heading to the southeast corner. Making that left-hand turn on to Lima. Possibly maybe heading it toward the... Did you leave me well? Park left for a pop of heavy on at the Hyper, wind 2507, when we see five left. We do have a United 757 uh, taking them off. We do have that Cargo Lux Queen lined up, ready to go on 25 left. United 8131, contact with the first thing. United 8131. Scout 4955, off 35, being trailed the heavy 747 on the parallel. Caution, wake turbulence, runway 25 right, line up at 
Skywest, All right, that cargo Lux Queen heading to Luxembourg and now rolling down. 25 left. That's a 747-400 freighter. If you like it nice and loud, make sure to use the turn it up emojis there in the chat. I'm not quite sure we're on the pond Dreamliner is heading to. Dan's over here doing some behind the scenes video. There's the behind the scenes camera. There's a the behind the scenes of the behind the scenes. Skywest 4955 on at the docker, wind 2506, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff. 25 right, clear for takeoff, on at docker, Skywest 4955. Yeah, we can do it now. 16, lost on the tower, runway 25 right, on point. All right, guys, I'm going to do an interview real quick. Don't leave me. I'll be right back. Good morning, SW25. Tahiti okay. Airlines 102 Heavy, Los Angeles Tower, good morning. Wind 2406, runway 25 left, clear to land. 25 left, clear to land, again, 102 Heavy. Yeah, 1910, contact over departure. Departure 
Southwest 3630, Los Angeles Tower, hold short of runway 25 right at Fox Fox. Hold short 25 right at Fox Fox, Southwest 3630. Sea Airlines 102 Heavy, taxi via Hotel 9, Hotel, hold short of runway 25 right at Quebec. Hotel 9, Hotel, hold short 25 right at Quebec, Jan 102 Heavy. Los Angeles Tower, Falcon 5, 7, Sierra November, on the visual, 25 left. Tower 4878, on at the docker, wind 2507, full length, runway 25 right, ship take off. Falcon 57, Sierra November, Los Angeles Tower, wind 2507, runway 25 left, go to land. Go to land, 25 left, 57, Sierra November. American 1991, contact some of the departure. Departure, American 1991. Southwest 3630, runway 25 right at Fox, front line of point. Line of point, uh, 25 right at Fox, front line of point. DD10, DLN102, heading to double checking, hold short of runway 25 right at Quebec. Hold short 25 right at Quebec, the guy in the one of the That was Air Tahiti, flight 102, coming from Papeta, the 787-9 Dreamliner. Skywest 4878, contact with the departure. Of course, that Dreamliner will cross over to 5 right and head to the west gates. Next takeoff here on the south side is Southwest Airlines Flight 3630, heading to Phoenix, Arizona, 737-800. Zippy. Starting at taxi. Look like it's going to be a right hand turn onto Lima, which means Zippy is zipping on up to the north side for a takeoff on 2 4 right. Not a complete surprise. Kind of expected Zippy to zip on up to the north side. All right, we got that Southwest flight heading to Phoenix. It's your next takeoff here on the south side. American 33, hold short of runway 25 right at Juliet. Hold short 25 right, Juliet, American 33. Heading to the Valley of the Sun, where here it's going to be close to 90 degrees later this week. The airlines ain't heavy, lost on the tower, wind 2406, runway 25 left. Zippy making that right-hand turn at the taxiway echo there on the north side. Once again, we'll take off on 24 right. So Dan with Infinite Flight still here. He's shooting some behind-the-scenes video. And we'll post that as a YouTube short on the Infinite Flight YouTube channel. Go, make, go check it out. You know, the one thing I forgot to talk to Dan about was all these trip reports on their, their YouTube channel. <laughs> well, go Six check them out, even better. Doctor, does a great job. Danny, you're doing a trip report on the British Airways A380? No, no. Okay. Tower, uh, zero wing, we're ready. Yeah. Airways 1845, taxi to the full length. Traffic will cross. Runway 25 right. Line up and wait. Full length. Vertical, right. okay. Line up yes. and wait. You know what? I mean, that's the thing. You know, I just asked Dan if he's going to do a, a trip report. You know, sometimes you just want to sit back and relax. You know, uh, uh, doing the trip reports, I got to tell you, it's a lot of work because you. you you know, you got to make sure you get the shot or do this or that. You know, when Rudy and I did the, the mint suite with JetBlue coming back, 
I was like, I'll, I'll do a trip report, but I'm going to do it my own way, which is just very laid back. This is what it is. I think you guys kind of enjoy that. I don't know. <laughs> but it is. It's, it's, it's not easy. It is, it is a lot of work. You know, you're always trying to be careful about what you're filming on the plane. You don't want to, like, upset, you know, the staff on the plane. You don't want to upset the, the, you know, the passengers. So you're always just kind of, like, pins and needles, just kind of, you know, aware of what you're doing. And sometimes you just get on a plane and you just want to sit back, relax, and not think about shooting anything. What's up? Here, you want to elaborate on that? Yeah, Here, we're, we're, <laughs> we'll bring Dan back in real quick. He can talk about, yes, I can agree. Um, what Kevin just said is absolutely right. It, it's, especially when you walk on with a big Sony A7 as well, and you don't yes. really want to be pointing that in people's faces. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a little bit daunting, and it's definitely taxing, you know, especially when you want to make sure you've got the right shot um, right. with every aspect of the seat in the plane as well. And then what I find most awkward is walking to the toilet with a big camera. Oh, yes. So, <laughs> the Lou <little> review. <laughs> the <little> review. <laughs> exactly. But um, yeah, what, what Kevin just said is definitely spot on. And it's um, it, can, it can definitely be quite a bit of work. And then the worst part is when you get home and then you realize, oh, I missed that shot. I completely yes, missed yes, it. And yeah. I need to see it. And then it's too late. But um, yeah. You, here's a tip for you, Dan. Go on. Edit while you're still um, uh, flying. I did that. I was, because on our mint sweet thing, yeah. I, I, I didn't do it as involved as maybe you do or maybe the others, but I was just kind of like, okay, here's what it is. Here's what's going on. And I was editing it together at different parts of the flight. Yes. And there was one part I said, oh, I need a, I need a, another shot of the wide shot of the, yeah. the cabin. So I was like, well, turn the camera back on and just start shooting it again yeah, on the fly editing. Which is definitely um, one of the better ways to do it, 100%. So real quick, because I didn't ask you about that. Yeah. So you guys do have a YouTube channel, Infinite yes. Flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what can people find on that channel? You can find a whole you know, host of things, really. It was originally the Infinite Flight YouTube channel, uh, where we would upload Infinite Flight related content. But recently, we took a little bit of a different adventure. And we want to include some real world aviation stuff as well, which is why you can also find some real world content on there, which we're enjoying. We're starting to do a lot more of, and you can expect a lot more of that over there. Um, so it's just, yeah, it's a mix of things, really. It can be Infinite Flight. It'll be the silly shorts, like TikTok style content as well, where we have a little bit of fun in the flight simulator or in real life. Um, tutorials on how to do certain things in Infinite Flight, because some things can be a little bit complicated and, you know, some things need a little bit of explaining before hopping into the flight sim. Uh, and then, yeah, like I say, the real world stuff as well, which we've been recently doing, which is uh, fun. It's, it's, good. it's good stuff. Yeah. All right. All right, well, I'll... Um <laughs> <laughs> Go enjoy the, yeah, the sights I, I, I and the think, sounds. I think that's what I'm going to do. I need to pinch that microphone off you and then... Um, oh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> there you are. Right here. Um, well, I'm back on. I'll just do another quick outro. Thanks, everyone. It's been a pleasure. Yes, Kevin, sir. thanks for having You've us been listening to, to Dan <laughs> here with Infinite Flight. Exactly, yes. All right, everyone. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, everyone. Thank um, you, Dan. Yes, All right. thanks Have a again. great flight. Take Enjoy. care of yourself. Go to the Proud Bird, get some food. I definitely will. Cool. <laughs> All right. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Right. Thanks, Dan. That was the second Air Tahiti Nui Dreamliner flight landing here on the south side. Flight 8. Now pressing over at 25 left. right, we'll head to the west gates. We do have a 777 freighter coming in from Shanghai, flight 221, China Cargo Airlines flying over us here at LAX. We'll be heading to the south side. Landing on 25 left shortly. United 1260, RNAV Docker, wind 404, runway 25 right, just take off. United 1260, RNAV Docker, runway 25 right, cleared for takeoff. Terry 
Montgomery gifting one airline videos live membership. Thank you so much, Terry. Again, thanks to Dan with Infinite Flight dropping by. American Airlines Flight 2850 heading to Philadelphia, 787-8 Dreamliner. Bob's back. Bob, would you like some Infinite Flight merch? United 757 now taken off, 25 right. 5 left, United Airlines flight 1260 heading to Denver in the 757-300. Air Premia, the Dreamliner heading back to Seoul. Tail to the south, that will more than likely be a north side takeoff on 2-4 right. Delta Airlines Flight 8 coming up from Tokyo, Haneda, A330 Neo, just off the coast. Be heading to the north side. Air Canada Flight 785 coming up from Toronto, the 737 at Max 8. All right. It is officially top of the hour once again. Just after 11 a.m. here in beautiful, sunny Los Angeles, California, you are watching continuous live coverage of LAX plane spotting right here in your home for LAX live streams. That is Airline Videos Live. Today is our Super Tuesday show here on April 16, 2024. And I am your plane Jackie Kevin here at Imperial Hill here on a Tuesday. Oh boy, don't go anywhere. We got all those A380s taken off here on the south side and so much more. Thanks you guys for tuning in. Make sure to hit that like button if you haven't yet and share the stream with your family and your friends and of course your pets as well hello ruff ruff and meow to all of you as well all right we've got the air premier dreamliner now making that right hand turn on to lima for a north side takeoff unless it makes that left hand turn onto delta and has back heads back here to the south side Next takeoff here on the south side, American Airlines Flight 1683 heading to Phoenix, Arizona in an A321. Be followed by JetBlue Airways Flight 1774 heading to Newark in an A321. And JetBlue Airways Flight 2010 heading to West Palm Beach, Florida, also in an A321.
This is United Airlines flight 276, coming in from Baltimore, Maryland, a 737 MAX 9, waiting to cross over 25 right. Heading over here to the south side is Delta Airlines flight 10 to 48. This flight heading to Austin, Texas, and this old Northwest A320. Looks like Air Premia heading to the south side made a left hand turn on the taxiway Delta. Up next, JetBlue Airways Fleet 1774 heading to Newark and yeah, an A321. Right the ground, one, American Dreamliner. Looks like it's making a U-turn here. From Charlie to Bravo. This flight heading to Philadelphia. Flight 2850. 787 to 8 Dreamliner. That was 2249 back to the hotel. Hold short of runway 25 right at Juliet. The hotel, hold short of 25 right, Julia, so 2249. Jet Blue 2010 on at the Docker, runway 2405, runway 25 right, there for takeoff. All right, at the Docker, super takeoff, 25 right, Jet Blue. Delta 2063, Los Angeles Tower, runway 25 right, line point. It's so making that U turn from Charlie to Bravo, now on Texaway Bravo, heading to 25 right for a south side takeoff. So we got our two A380s, the first of two, I should say, uh, Korean Air and Asiana sitting there on the southwest RGC side of Tom Bradley. Both of those A380 aircrafts will be taken off here on the south side at 25 left coming up next hour. There is the air. Premier Dreamliner. John Zoller back with the $2 Super Chat says, that's my plane on Friday flying to premium economy. The, uh, the American. Which seat did you have, by the way? I had the premium economy when I first flew to Dallas on the American Dreamliner, 787A Dreamliner. I think my seat was what, A? 9A? Okay, it was a bulkhead seat. It was one of the most comfortable premium economy seats I've ever had on that American Dreamliner. Seven L, seven L. Maybe it was around that same area. I don't know. Enjoy it, John. 
Right up next on the north side. Flight 8 with Delta A330 Neo coming in from Tokyo Haneda. Heavy triple seven arriving here on the south side. That's that China Cargo Airlines triple seven freighter. Caution the wake, clear the land, two five left, United 399 heavy. Cargo King 221 heavy, exit Alpha 8, turn left on Alpha, then contact ground on 121.75. Air Premier continues down at Taxway Bravo. Triple seven freighter making that left hand turn onto Alpha Eight. Next arrival here on the south side is United Airlines Flight 399 coming from Newark, 777 at 200 ER. But now the United 757 that lined up ready to go on the 2 5 right. United Airlines like 1400 heading to Chicago O'Hare, 757 at 300 now rolling down. 25 and right. Gate is occupied, 76, taxi to the hotel and hold short of Bravo 17. Hotel, short of Bravo 17, United 399. Left 
Last scare line is only 1398, a 737, 800. Last scare 1398, turn left on Charlie, then contact ground on 121.75. Canceling it, takeoff. Uh, left, uh, now exiting. 175 left, American 2850, heavy on after Docker, with 2305, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff. Carnap Docker, clear for takeoff, 25 right, American 2850. That will make way for American Airlines, 787-8, Dreamliner, 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 Dreamliner heading to Philadelphia. United 2190, Los Angeles Tower. John Zoller back with the $2 Super Chat. Thanks so much, John. 7L for 23,000 American Airlines miles and $90. It's worth it. That's not bad, 23,000. That's actually really good there, John. Good job. Joni Swanson with the $5 Super Chat. Thanks so much, Joni. My Saturday flights. LAX to Las Vegas caught the jet stream, a 79-minute flight took only 37 minutes, reaching a speed of 588 miles per hour. Whoa! <laughs> that is super cool there, Johnny. Good to see you last week. Johnny hanging out with me at the H on Friday. Again, that flight heading to Philadelphia. Up next, Alaska Airlines flight 1412 having, heading to Liberia, 737-900ER, followed by Air Premier flight 102. Glenn, with the fine dollar super chat, thanks so much. Glenn, hey Kevin, I just had my wisdom teeth taken out and no better way to recover than listening to planes and AVL. Keep up the great content, have a great day. Well, hang in there, buddy, oof. Not fun. At uh, 1412, possibly turbulence for departure, RNF Docker, wind 2405, runway 25, right, clear for takeoff. RNF Docker, clear right, clear for takeoff. The Premier 102 Heavy, Los Angeles Tower, runway 25, right, line of wind. 25, right, line of wind, and you're one third in. United, Almost to 2,000 likes. Thanks, you guys. I guess you really do like us. <laughs> or maybe the likes were all for Dan. They are all for Dan, weren't they? He's a nice guy. I don't blame you. Give, like, give more likes for Dan. And up next is Air Premier Flight 102 up first, the Alaska flight heading to Liberia, Flight 14 at 12. Flight 02 heavy, RNF Docker, wind 2405, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff. RNF Docker, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff, air premier, air premier, air premier, air premier. Air Premier of the Dreamliner heading to Seoul, flight 102. Now rolling down at 25 right.
Good morning. 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 Good Okay, we got a hotel nine. A legend, here. Jane, a back gifting the 50 airline videos live memberships. Thank you so much, Jane. Awesome support as always. Just making sure Ed is still alive. Thank you so much, Jane. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 50 gifted memberships, which brings me to another point here today. But up first, Bob, would you like to drop the box, Bob? He's back, by the way. <laughs> Bob! Drama, Bob! Legend Jane getting 50 Airline and Videos Live memberships. All right, well, earlier we had a giveaway with Infinite Flights. Well, if you guys remember, we had no Sunday show. No Sunday show? Well, what does that mean? Well, how about we do Sunday's live giveaway here on a Tuesday? This hat, official trucker hat, embroidered truck trucky hat, trucky trucker hat, could be yours here today. Oh, yes. Sunday's live giveaway here today on a Tuesday. This will be the first of the two live drawings coming up. How do you like that? Crickets. <laughs> United Airlines Flight 2190, freshly painted. Coming up from Houston, Texas, the 737-900ER. Up next for takeoff is Spirit Airlines Flight 631 heading to Atlanta, Georgia. It's an A320. Now they're United, 757-300. Boy, I might see the whole fleet here today. This one coming in from Dulles, flight 1785, and this 22-year-old 757-300. Lambo, a member for 16 months. This is Silver Member says, we like you and all your wonderful content. Well, thank you so much, Lambo. You really do like us. You really do like us, don't you? <laughs> Michael Fontana, a member for 15 months. His gold member says, hello, Kevin, enjoying today's stream. Miss you on a Sunday, I know. I was talking about that earlier. I, it was painful. I don't like ever canceling any show, but unfortunately, lots of rain on Sunday led to our cancellation. I should say a rare cancellation. I think in the history of our live shows here at LAX, I think we've only had maybe, I want to say maybe five, probably less than five canceled Sunday shows. Trying to zoom in on a 767. Camera's not having much luck here. There it is. Northern Air Cargo 767 converted 767 to 300ER. Crossed over LEX heading to 25 left. I was to say, maybe, I want to say maybe even two or three possibly canceled Sunday shows in the last three years. I think that was the first Sunday show ever canceled because of rain. The other two, I think, one possibly was Sammy-related, and the other one was, I was just sick.
That was Northern Air Cargo Flight 8200 coming up from Seattle. Bigfoot Gaming becoming a silver member. Thank you so much, Bigfoot Gaming. Landis with the $10 Super Chat. Thank you so much, Landis. It's good morning from Fresno. Kevin Mons and all, good morning. What's left of it? Have about an hour, I'm sorry, half an hour left of the morning Delta here today. Delta A321 Neo now taking off. Delta 1179, contact over the Delta 1179, get it. I was Delta Airlines flight 1179, heading to Tampa, Florida, that A321 Neo. United Airlines flight 32, heading to Tokyo Narita, 787-9 Dreamliner, heading on down to 25 rights. Network, gifting one airline videos live membership. Thank you so much, Network. Hotel cross two five right at Lima and then contact ground on point seven five. Hotel cross two five right at Lima point seven five delta fifty six six one. Porter Airlines flight six six three committed from Toronto and E one ninety five E two just ten minutes out. Japan Airlines flight six two committed from Tokyo Rita seven eighty seven nine a Dreamliner two minutes out north side arrival. And Japan Airlines Flight 16 coming up from Tokyo Haneda, 777-300ERs, 21 minutes out from a north side arrival. United 311, Los Angeles Tower, wind 2306, runway 25 left, land. Flex at 512 Tower. Sky 32 Heavy. Los Angeles Tower, Cabot Crossing, runway 25 right, line point. Go on up and wait, runway 25 right, United 32. And also heading to the north side, Singapore Airlines, flight 12, the 777-300ER, 51 minutes away. It's amazing how different Tuesday south side is compared to a Sunday. Sunday, a lot more busy, that's for sure. Not to say that today's not busy, but certainly Sunday, a lot busier here at LA, LAX here on the south side. But of course, it seems like a lot of flights today are kind of running a tad late here today, and that might be the cause of the little lows here and there. But of course, we have a lot of action coming up. We've got the Afternoon rush well on its way. United 32 Heavy, RNAV to Docker, wing 2406, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff. RNAV to Docker, runway 25 seen, right. Certainly seeing a lot of 757s here today with both United and Delta. This one waiting to cross over. It's flight 385 coming up from Boston at 757-200. Old TWA bird delivered in June of 1999. Next takeoff is United Airlines flight 32, the 787-9 Dreamliner heading to Tokyo Narita. Yukon 
Uh, so Allow that seven five seven, five seven and now cross over two five right. Northern Air Cargo 767 and touching down. Two five left. Alpha A, turn off for the Northern Air Cargo as expected. Again, this flight coming in from Seattle will eventually head to Honolulu a bit later. Tater. Eva Air, the 777-300ER, Flight 5, heading back to Taipei is now pushing back from the north side of Tom Bradley. That should be a south side takeoff. A 2-5 right coming up. Thank you. On the Alpha, then contact ground again on point seven five. Yeah, three eleven cross on the two five right at Juliet, then contact ground point seven five. Friend Deborah Klein with a ten dollar super chat. Thanks so much, Deborah. This is a loving Super Tuesday from the Hill. It's got a different vibe here, doesn't it? It's got a relaxed vibe. I agree, Deborah. Good to see you, Deborah. Hope all uh, is well. German Patriots. Patriots. A member for one a month is a gold uh, member. This is a month already. Time has flown by uh, like a Euro uh, fighter uh, fighter jet. Blink and you miss it. AVL, glad I found this channel. Good to have you. Prima Vieira. 
A member for 27 months is Golden Memories. This is hi, Kevin and the Mons. Hope you're all doing well. Can't believe it's been 27 months. Keep up the great work, Kevin. Sure will. I feel like we all have the same problem. Don't we all have the same problem? Time is flying by way too quick. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Look at that. Tempest flight has quite the livery. Certainly one that we've never seen here before. Skyway 4119, lost under tower, went 2506, runway 25 left, middle land. 25 left, middle land, Skyway 4119. Very interesting. The flight coming in from Seattle. It's a private owner of the Bombardier Global Express XRS. It's a 17-year-old plane heading to either Atlantic or Signature. Kelsey with the $10 Super Chat. Thanks so much, Kelsey. Hi, Kevin. Hope you're having a good day. It's been feeling like spring and summer. Been sleeping with the windows open. And the dog's been loving it, being outside, laying in the sun, watching the birds play. <laughs> I can visualize that, Kelsey, as you were telling me. I can visualize the dog laying outside in the sun, watching the birds, enjoying life. Good to see you, Kelsey. Thank you so much. This is Porter, the E2, coming in from Toronto. United 678, Los Angeles Tower. Caution, wake turbulence, traffic will cross. Your discretion, runway 25, right, line up and wait. Our Another private jet heading down down Alpha. We do have United Airlines flight 39, flight heading to Tokyo Haneda in a 787-10 Dreamliner. Now rolling down at two five right. All right, Porter now crossing over at 25 right, still waiting on that EVA 777 to start her taxi. United Airlines flight 678, flight heading to Newark, next takeoff. You are watching airline videos live on your, your plane at Jockey Kevin. We are not affiliated with any other live stream on YouTube. <laughs> as confusing as I know that can be. You're watching the original. The first. The best. <laughs> if I don't mind asking, say it. <laughs> Second up for takeoff is Spirit Airlines, like 1113, heading to Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, an A320. Three hundred nine Aviation, a member for twenty months. This is Silver Memories. This is good day, Kevin. My summer travel plans start in just three weeks. I know summer already. Comes fast. Next thing you know, we're going to be talking about Halloween. Okay. 
Flight United 678, contact for departure. 1881, lost on the tower, we're going to be 5 right, minus point. Five point, five point. Five point. Japan Airlines, the Dreamliner, coming in from Tokyo Narita, to flight 62, heading to the southeast side of Tom Bradley. Thank you. Hold short, up on way 25 right at Quebec. 25 right at Quebec, I was in the night. Halloween six months away. That's it. American 1881, Got to stock up my Cooler Ranch Doritos. For the Halloween parties. The Eva Air Flight 5 starting at taxi should be making a left hand turn on to taxiway Delta there on the north side and then heading back here to the south side. It'll be a right hand turn on to Lima first and should be a left hand turn on to taxiway Delta. Danny Ortiz with the Fight Another Super Chat. Thanks so much, Danny. Good morning, Kevin. How are you? Alerts. Emirates Flight 215, arrival at 5 p.m. Also, enjoy your live stream on a Monday. Monday. Yeah, I saw Emirates was uh, late. Top of 2002, continue on the runway. Exit Hotel Niner. What's up with the A380s? <laughs> A380s. Oh, what is going on? Eva making a right-hand turn. We'll be heading to the north side. So we've got British Airways Flight 269 coming in from London Heathrow, the A380 running about just under an hour late here today. Five, the Lufthansa King running about 20 minutes behind. And of course, Emirates. Now estimated time of arrival is 5.04 p.m. Originally scheduled for 2.15. Korean Air Flight 11, that is the next A380 with Korean Air, only running about 10 minutes behind. And Asiana Flight 204, the second A380 for Asiana, running 38 minutes behind. What's up with all the A380s running behind here today? It's like they're all in sync. B. Keith, 2006. 20 months, it's a gold member. So it's $20 for 20 months with the AVL. Great day of plane spotting. Thank you so much, B. Keith. RFI Nerd, with a $10 super chat. Thank you so much, RFI Nerd. AVL is the best. I looked at a couple of others, and then they were amateur at best. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you. <laughs> Alaska 1398 on at the docker when 2508. I'll leave it as that. I'll leave it as that. I won't. I won't. Alaska 1398. But thank you. Thank you. Aramaeco 644 lost on the tower. Good afternoon. When 2508, runway 25 left, good land. Mike Delta 11 gifting one airline at Videos Live a membership. Thank you so much, Mike. And a friend, Randy Schwartz, 
Good to see you, Randy. A member for 35 months as a Diamond member since hi, Kevin. I'm finally able to watch live, well, almost three years. Kevin, you and Rudy cannot be thanked enough for helping me cope with my husband's passing. Aviation has been a passion for a long time. BS Aero Engineering plus private license. You're always busy, Randy. Busy, busy, but good to see you. I've been wondering if you've been watching or not. And hello to Buddy. All right, let me look at my radar here. I think we could probably possibly do our first American live drawing here. I think we can. We'll do it for the uh, top of the hour. If you guys want. Do you want it? You want it? We should probably do it because the, the noon hour is when it gets busy with the two A380 takeoffs there on the south side. All right. Don't mind this umbrella. It's keeping the computer nice and cool. All right. So, well, well, we've had live drawings all throughout the course of the morning. Thanks to our friends there at Infinite Flight, giving 10 lucky viewers some, uh, some uh, 30 days free of the pro of Infinite Flight. It is well worth it, let me tell you. Just LAX alone, it is a beautiful airport design. All right. Now, that was open to everyone. Of course, just as usual, our, our airline videos live, live drawings are just for the members. Just for the members. You can still, you can still put in the code there in the chat if you'd like. But you, uh, Bob over here. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Mom over here is going to decide on a channel member. All right. So this is for the trucker hat, embroidery trucker trucker hat. It comes in many different colors and, and, and sizes, of course. Actually, the size is all one, so you don't have to give me your size, just your color combination. Sometimes it's like a, a blue front and a white back or black front and the white back. And it comes in all different color combinations. You go check them out at shopavl.com. If you are the winner, Nightbot is going to announce who is the winner. You're going to announce in the chat, I am here and I do accept. And then you're going to send an email to info at airlinevideos.com with your name, your address. Very important, the color combination. Don't need the size on this one, but we do need a, a, a link to your YouTube channel so we can verify it is you. All right, so enter it up to five times, over five times, it will be deleted out of the race for this hat. Um, you also have 15 seconds after the main music is done, you have until the end of this music to say, I'm here and I accept. If you don't answer within that time of that music playing, then we will announce a different winner. All right, well, I've been having Rudy say this last few Sundays. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it is a lot of work. All right, give me one second here. I actually got to get Nightbot back here. If you guys are ready, get those fingers ready. Again, this is for that hat. Embroidery the trucker hat on your mark. Get set. Go for it. AVL is your code word for your chance to win this official Airline Day Videos Live Embroidered Trucker Hat. All right. Again, as you can see, this hat that you see on your screen is an all-navy blue hat. 
Sometimes they come with the navy in the front and the white all in the back. Sometimes they come in all the, the, the main color, like the navy or the black. So make sure if you are the winner to include what color combination you'd like for your hat to be. And also make sure you include your address as well, as well as that YouTube channel link so we can verify it is you. I think Dan from Infinite Flight earlier was very impressed with how fast this chat moves when we give out free prizes here on the stream. He said, oh, look at that chat go. And once again, it is flying. Flying high. AVL. Simple. AVL. The chance to win this official airline that videos live trucker hat. If you don't win, we'll have another live drawing a bit later in today's show. And of course, if you don't win today, well, we'll be back on Sunday for the big Sunday show. Where we always do this every Sunday for you guys. It's our way of giving back to all of your awesome support of the, here on the channel. <laughs> William asking, is it Sunday? Well, you know, we're kind of making up for no Sunday show. All right, the first live drawing is officially done. Bob? Who's it going to be, Bob? Network! Network! Network, are you in the chats? You won the hat. Network. All right, I will hold off before playing the music in hopes that Network says I'm here and I accept Network. Well, he said LOL. <laughs> I guess, is that accepting judges? Now we do have a 777 freighter rolling down that 25 at left. Looks like we got a fire out there in the distance as well. Jet Blue 424, Los Angeles Tower, heavy triple seven to part of the outboard, caution like turbulence, traffic will cross, runway 25 right, minus one. Left flight, left right. Green air, two split heavy, contact over the pressure. Um, network. Network. Hello. Simply twenty zero one. If you can actually hear Bravo seven, that's fine. Bravo seven, and then contact ground. Oh, you don't five. want it. Bravo seven over to ground. Jump with twenty one. Twenty eight zero one. All right. Well, network says he does not want it. Give it to someone else. All right, well, thank you, Network. We'll pass it forward. Bob, we need another name, Bob. Network, hands off the hat to Omar. 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 Let us know you're in the chat, Omar. And Network. Gifting one airline a videos live membership. Thank you so much, Network. That is very nice of you. All right, Omar. <laughs> the plot thickens. Omar, are you there? Network, back evening, another Airline at Videos Live at membership. Thank you so much, Network. All right, Omar. You have until the end of this music. 
Interesting. Talk about the plot. Plot thickens even more so now. I think Omar's time is going about to run up, run out. <laughs> well, Bob. We need another name, Bob. I don't think this has ever happened before. Diane Schroeder. I know Diane. Diane Schroeder. You are the official winner. Are you there, Diane? Okay, left six zero one heavy, lost on the tower, call you right back. American four, runway two five right at Foxtrot, line of boy. Two five right at Foxtrot, line of boy, American four. Diane's not here either. Okay, left six zero one heavy, wind two five zero at one zero, runway two five left, go to land. Okay, left two five left, get on six zero one heavy. American four on that. You're doing a great job over there. Runway two five right at Foxtrot, there for takeoff. Okay, left two five right at Foxtrot, American four on that. Diane and Schroeder, are you here? Oh, you're here. She is here. All right, congratulations, Diane. We'll be out looking for that email. Congratulations, Diane. All right, Japan Airlines to 777-300ER. Heading to the southeast corner of Tom Bradley. It's flight 16 coming up from Tokyo, Haneda. I think Bob did a good job today. At least, at least Bob decided on the channel members today. Southwest 2683, keep your speed up on the runway, exit Hotel Niner. Hotel Niner, KLM, flight 601, coming from Amsterdam, a 787 Dreamliner, number two for Bravo, here on the south side. Japan Airlines, 777-300ER, making those final turns, heading to the gates. Of Tom Bradley on the southeast corner. Network gifting another airline videos live membership. Thank you so much, Network. Very awesome support, and thank you. KLM is the next heavy arrival here on the south side. And that officially takes us to the top of the hour. It's
is officially afternoon here in the Southland. You're watching continuous live coverage of LEX plane spotting right here on your home for LEX live streams. That is Airline Videos Live. Today is our Super Tuesday show here on April 16th, 2024. And I am your plane jockey, Kevin, here at an Imperial Hill. Hope you guys are enjoying today's show. Oh boy, it's officially afternoon. The rush is officially on. We've got the two A380s will be taken off here on 25 left. That is runway right in front of our cameras and microphone and so much more. Hope you guys are all having a great week so far. If you're working and lurking, make sure to use those working and lurking emojis there in the chat. All right, we've got the KLM Dreamliner. Next to Ravel, 25 left. Like that 586 cross runway 25 left the box shot, hold short of runway 25 right. A Delta 767. Or is that the Tom? Well, the Tom 767 at 300 ER making that left hand turn onto Bravo. I believe this flight heading to Lima, Peru. Play 2479. Rita. I don't think Rita ever got the training cards. Okay, Rita wasn't here for the trading card. <laughs> trading. I think she's 15 seconds delayed. <laughs> oh, there! She popped up. About 15 seconds delay there, I think. <laughs> you didn't get the trading cards, did you? Alright, give me one second here. Yeah, you went to Texas. Rita went to go see the uh, Eclipse. Here, Rita. Rita says the most awe-inspiring thing she's ever seen. Pretty much everyone's Question reaction. So Cantlin will head to the west gates, continue on, possibly heading to the beach. It is a very busy west gates here today. All right, so friend Rita. Oh, I almost dropped the trading cards, Rita. Rita, you also get these are limited amounts as well. Little mini stickers of all your plane jockeys. All right, Rita officially now has the official trading cards in her possession. What's that? You're gonna put them in a special place. All right, Rita's gonna put them in a very special place. I've got them out here roasting in the sun. That's probably not a good thing. Hotel Lima, short two five right. Hotel Lima, short two five right. Delta forty three. Delta fourteen sixty three. Los Angeles Tower, caution. Wake travels across your discretion. Runway two five right. Two five right. Hey, Dan. Dan's in the chat. Thanks again, Dan, for stopping by. Have a great flight back. Aero Mexico Dreamliner heading back to Mexico City. Now rolling down. 2-5 right. Five, 
Sarita, if you notice, there's a trading card missing. It's still, we're having issues with the print, for whatever reason. I got I got the the third print of the third card yesterday, and it it's cut wrong and its color is all wrong again. We'll get the third card eventually. I think that's going to be the hot card to collect because it's the hardest thing to get at this point. <laughs> but we did get the good news is I got the 2,500 reprints of Rudy and Kevin's card. And it's perfect. So we are now officially have 5,000 of the Kevin and Rudy cards that are perfect. We're good to go on those two cards. The third one, still having issues. We'll get there eventually. This is Delta Airlines like 482 coming up from JFK and this 33 year old at 767 300 ER heading up to the north side. KLM now crossing over should be making a turn here and heading to the west side of the west gates. JetBlue Airways Flight 1463 heading to Cabo in an A320 in the updated delivery. Waiting to cross over, coming up in Dallas, Forward, Texas, American Airlines Fleet 1711. Next take off, American Airlines Fleet 1571, heading to Miami, Florida. It's an A321 Neo. Five zero one, exit hotel niner, then 39 Aeronautica Chief gifting one airline if videos live on membership. Thank you so much. T Dave becoming a gold member once again. Thank you so much, T Dave. And Eric becoming a silver member. Thank you so much, Eric. The Tom Airlines Flight 2479 heading to Lima, Peru, a 767 300ER, number two for takeoff, followed by Delta Airlines Flight 535 heading to JFK at a 767-300ER.
Turkish Airlines Flight 1979 coming in from Istanbul. 777 at 300 yards is four minutes out, running a little late here today. And here in New Zealand in the All Blacks livery, the 777 at 300ER, Flight 6. Now just 47 minutes away, looking like a south side arrival. 2-5 left. It's a Corella go. They super chat. This is good afternoon, Kevin. There's a supermarket in the UK that sells a chocolate and cheese pizza. And it's the nicest thing you could ever try. It's up there with pineapple on pizza. Chocolate on pizza? Chocolate on pizza. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that one. The thing about chocolate on pizza that doesn't make any sense to me, I would assume, now let me reread that. Is there pizza sauce on that? How does the, how does the pizza sauce interact with the chocolate? I don't, you've got a lot of flavors. See, the thing about the pineapple and the ham actually mix well with the pizza sauce. That actually creates kind of a tangy taste. Chocolate is kind of chalky. Oh, it's savory crust. Hmm. Wait, say that again. What does? On any pizza. The pizza dough? The chocolate? You're talking about the chocolate. Oh. Oh, well, yeah, no, I have no problem with the pineapple and the ham. I'm talking about chocolate, Rita. <laughs> Rita can't figure out the chocolate either. I, don't. I wonder if Whole Foods has something like that. I could see it being a, like a dessert-type pizza. Dessert pizza. All right, we got Turkish 777 at 300ER and coming in from Istanbul. Next heavy yes, arrival here right, on the south side, 25 left. Contact ground point 75. When we were in New York at the JFK airport, we actually ordered. What did we order? We ordered like a regular type of pizza and we ordered like a barbecue chicken pizza. And boy, it was really full of barbecue sauce, almost to the point where it was too saucy. That was the one that Rudy tipped over on the floor. <laughs> I don't think anybody really mind because we were pretty much done with the barbecue pizza. I think we were all liking the regular type pizza. Flight 179 should be a south side takeoff a bit later. Heavy, 
Clear land 25 left on 345 heavy. Up blue 100 and 25 right line up point. 25 right line point to blue 100. Search 8 Mike Tango heavy, say gate number. Gate 121, search 8 Mike Tango. Search 8 Mike Tango heavy, exit the Hotel Niner, hold short, off runway 25 right. Hotel Niner, hold short, 25 right, search 8 Mike Tango. Up blue 100 and 25 right, play for takeoff, RNAV Docker. RNAV Docker, 25 right, clear for takeoff, set blue 100. We had Rudy and I, we went and had lunch since we couldn't have a show on Sundays. We went to the Prada Bird. We both got the barbecue burger. Boy, that is really good. It's probably a heart attack on a bun, but it's really good. It looks really good. <laughs> Keith, 2006, with an awesome $20 super chat. Thank you so much, B. Keith. Here is $20 for 20 months with ABL. Great job, Kevin. We'll be flying out on EVA Flight 11 a few weeks to Taipei, then the Clark in the Philippines. I can't wait. How awesome is that? Well, check back in with us once your flight is over. I'd love to get your thoughts on EVA. Thank you so much, B. Keith. Dave Williams with the $5 Super Chat. Thanks so much, Dave. Once you get all the trading cards in, I will need to make a return trip to pick up. Honored to get the first Kevin trading card. Great show today. I think we're going to have him for a while. I really do. I mean, I've got boxes. Even if I've got, remember, I have 5,000 of the, the bad print ones. Taxi up to They're just short of the colors right. It's just a little off on the the cut. So technically, I have like ten thousand of these trading cards sitting in the hey, office. So I think we'll have plenty for a while. Delta Airlines like three four five and an A three fifty coming in from Atlanta, Georgia. Next heavy arrival here on the south side at two five left. It's that third card which has become such a problem. I also had the first A3. I don't know. For the, the second round of trading cards, when we make up the next ones in the next six months, I think I'm going with a different printer. Okay, it's Asiana Flight 201. Susie Ryder, 55, a member for 10 months. This is a silver member. This is 10 months how a plane spotting flies. I think we're all in the same category. What time is flying by? I think time is flying by. Why is it flying by? Rita's got the answer. Oh, Rita, speaking of. Rita's got all the answers. Rita, do you have a screwdriver that will fit? What is that called, Bob? <laughs> See, I knew Rita would have that screwdriver. Oh, Nancy, you like the barbecue chicken? No, I'm, no, it was good. Don't get me wrong, but I think 
I think when Rudy dropped the pizza on the floor, I don't think anybody was like, oh. <laughs> if it was the other pizza, people would be like, okay, we need to order another one. <laughs> Five second rule. Um, not, not, no, not at that, no. <laughs> Joni Swanson back for the $5 Hello. Super Chat. Thank you so much, Joni. Says, thank you for the RX bars Friday. It was so tired, fell asleep chewing on one. They were greatly appreciated. We've ordered some from Amazon. I, I tend to do that, Joni. I just hand out the RX bars to everyone. I, Bob, I gave Bob an RX bar just about 15 minutes ago. I think he enjoyed it, right, Bob? as he saves him an in and out run. I go to Trader Joe's and I buy the big box. Not like the big box that comes in, but the, the display box. You know, it's probably got 20, 20 bars in there. Glad you enjoyed. I can't believe you fell asleep while chewing on an RX bar. Got to be careful there, Joni. You don't want to choke. Singapore Airlines, flight 12, coming up from Tokyo to Rita, 777-300ER. Next heavy arrival on the north side. On the south side, Delta Airlines, flight 685, coming up from JFK at the 767-300ER. Got it. Is it coming off? Well, it needs to come off, and this one needs to go on there. I right, should be seeing the Asiana A380 crossing over the two south. Oh, jeez. Two south runways. Stand by. Thanks for hanging in there. I actually almost tipped over the jockey cam. <laughs> Bob went over there to grab it before it fell off of Imperial Hill. Thank you, Bob. Would you like another RX bar? No. <laughs> it's like, I'm saving up my appetite for In-N-Out Burger. All right, Delta 767, at next arrival here on the south side. Is that it, Rita? All right, Rita saved the day. Thank you, Rita. All 
All right, taxi lights, taxi lights now on on the Asiana A380 Super. Is this extra? Oh, is that? Oh, okay. I right, should be making a left-hand turn onto Taxiway at Lima and heading over here, crossing over the two south runways. And that left hand turn on to Lima. Should be seeing the Korean Air A380 Super, flight 18 heading back to Seoul as well. Should be pushing back here shortly. On the north side was United Airlines flight 38 coming up from Tokyo Haneda, the 787-10 Dreamliner. Almost 3,000 of you guys watching all around the world. You're watching Airline Videos Live. I'm playing Jockey Kevin. Our next deck off here on the south side is Copa Airlines, like 402, heading to Panama City in a 737 Max 9 as we wait for this Airbus A380. First of two, going to be crossing over the two south runways, making that left hand turn on the taxiway Alpha. And then take it off on the 25 left. We also have Singapore Airlines, the 777-300ER, heading here to the south side. <laughs> I thought that was Rita over there popping bubble wrap. Seven eighty eight LA Tower Fox Tracker full length, nine two five right line of point. That was forty two fourteen taxi hotel Juliet. Hotel Juliet Southwest forty two Just can't you can't help yourself. Gotta pop the bubble wrap. Uh, we're ready for the move. And seven eighty eight full length nine two five right line of point. That flight headed to Panama City in the 77, I'm sorry, 737 at Max 9. Guys, 4876 visual 25 left. That's 4876 LA tower and a 25 left 31. Good to 
Tigers, 40 and 36, for 25 left. Is that 2012 for LA Tower? So ATC is trying to get a hold of Asiana. It doesn't sound like they were responding. Allison, it's never too late to have coffee. No problem, Rick. Rick says, after a stressful day, I find your show is very relaxing. He says, thank you. It's kind of a relaxing day. It is. It's kind of a relaxing feel here at Imperial Hill. Nice, beautiful day here in the Southland. Everyone just kind of hanging out, taking it all in, including all of you, 3,000 people all around the world. All right, so Asiana going to hold before crossing over. As we do have Air Canada 737 Max 8 now taking off. Hey, look who it is, Breeze. One of my favorites, the Airbus A220-300. You know I can fly this plane. <laughs> Barely. Back to back, A Air Canada, this one in A321. Looks like you're heading toward the sand dunes for some fun in the sun at the beach. All right, Asiana, flight 201, heading back to Seoul, now cross over 25 right. Cross 25 right, let's back over to the Korean A380, still sitting there at the gates of Tom Bradley. So we're going to spread them out here today. I don't know. Would you guys rather have back-to-back A380 takeoffs or spread them out? I'd rather just spread them out, right? <laughs> hey, Gianna. Scott with a $10 super chat. Thank you so much, Scott. This is Happy Tuesday from sunny Saginaw, Michigan. Kevin is always enjoying your show. Thank you so much, Scott. Hello, fellow Michigander. Sunny in Saginaw. Well, it's a good day. Are the tulips coming up? There's always one thing I remember growing up in Michigan this time of the year is the tulips. The ground is still kind of like a little hard from the cold winters. The tulips popping up from the ground.
Uh, Kansas Tower, Sky West, 3753, we're 11 and a half, about 25 left. That's 3753, LA Tower, you're 25 left. Good land, 25 left. 3735 to exit Hotel 6. All right, the Asiana A380 now crossing over to 5 right. Korean Air A380 Super now pushing back from the gates of Tom Bradley. And the Asiana going to wait before crossing over as we do have Copa Airlines like 360. 737 MAX 9 coming from Panama City. Screen Air Flight 18 Tom, continues right pushing right back from Tom Bradley. At Golf Cross Runway 2 to 5, uh, right and over to ground to go with 40. Oh, Chris says it's sunny and 75 in East Lansing. Whoa, whoa that's a really good day. You guys are probably all walking around in your shorts and your flip flops and your t shirts. I think that's warmer in East Lansing than it is here in Southern California. Target up to speed on make one nine zero eight off on the visual two five five. Yeah, 201 Super at Lima, Alpha, and 25 left, and Alpha. I think we're on to 5 left, left on Alpha, and then 201. Now the Copa has landed successfully on 25 left. Now allow the Asiana 380 to now cross over to 5 left and make that left hand turn on the Alpha. Okay, Julia 25 left, and ground 7 5, Copa 50. Taxiway Alpha heading to 25 left. Alpha, Foxtrot, Hold Busy O'Hare was crazy. Thank you, Abby. Yeah, we'll be at O'Hare this summer. Making that trip. The plan is to fly into Detroit. Head to Hastings, Michigan. Yes, Hastings. 
for a little family get together on Monday night, Tuesday, it looks like Tuesday of that week. This is mid July, by the way. Tuesday of that week, looks like we're going to be doing a live stream, excuse me, live stream. At GRR, Grand Rapids, before we head to Chicago. We'll certainly keep you guys updated. That is Polaire Cargo, 747-8 on the down to win that leg. Not quite sure if it's going to arrive there on the north side to make that wide turn and head here to the south. Have a big summer ahead of travel. Huge summer ahead of travel. Kevin with a $5 super chat. Thanks so much, Kevin. This is Happy Tuesday, AVL. Two days till my 11.45 a.m. flight on EVA Flight 5. I will say, Boin Voyage, Bon Voyage, Ali Axon. Hello, Philippines. I like Infinite Flight Simulator. Isn't it cool? Well, have a great flight there, Kevin. I think I might just do a little plane spotting in Infinite Flight because I can't, I can't fly. <laughs> I'm just going to do plane spotting. Seven thirty-seven at max nine at taking off here on the south side. Remember, there is three days free of the pro version of Infinite Flight. There's a link, and make sure you're on a, a, your iPhone or Android or iPad when you click on that link in the description. Go all the way to the bottom of our description of today's live stream, and you'll find the link that will take you directly to the App Store, and it will automatically give you that code. It's the Airline Net Video's code. Three days free of the pro. Now here is something to remember. If you don't cancel of the pro within three days, it will automatically renew to the $10 a month pro version. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but just FYI, keep that in mind. I have the pro version. Because the detail on LAX is, is amazing. It, I, I'm just going to go over here to Imperial Hill on the app and just watch the planes. <laughs> Green Air Flight 18 heading back to Seoul. Should be making that left hand turn onto Lima. Uh, again, crossing over the two south runways. Just wait for the Asiana A380 to take off. This is just 779 LA Tower, check departure from No, Kathy, Kathy asking, Kevin, do you ever go to Detroit Metro and just film? No, I've flown in and out of there the last few years, and I just don't think there's enough traffic. I remember as a kid, I felt like there was more traffic. Philippine Airlines flight 113. You know that kind of looked weird. The Philippines actually parking at the older Tom Bradley. Usually that heads to the west gates. This flight heading back to Manila should be heading to the south side. The Echo, full length, right, right, full length. Oh, Airwave Aviation says you think infinite. Flight looks good, LAX. You should try Flight Sim 2020 on the PC. Believe it or not, I did. I was all excited when Microsoft Flight Simulator came back out because I used to be, I used to love it back in the 90s, early 2000s. I was a big Microsoft Flight Sim 
is it wasn't as detailed as it is now. I was so excited. I rushed out when it was released. I bought the software. I brought a brand new PC laptop just for Flight Sim. I go home. I install it. I position myself here at LAX, and I couldn't find my way to the runway. <laughs> I'm telling you, I should not be a pilot. No way. So what did I do? I retur returned their software. I cut the computer, but I returned the software. I think I used that computer for the original live streams here on AVL. So I still put the com computer in good use. But I, the flight sim, it was too, it was too pro. It was just too much. I just wanted to casually just fly. All right, so we've got the A380 should be crossing over the two south runway, still waiting on the Asiana, and the Philippines, the 777, now pushing it back. Now, so on the Pan Airways, late five, the Dreamliner heading back to Tokyo Narita, 787-9 Dreamliner. They're on taxiway Kilo. Well, it was more than lines, lines and boxes. This was what, night flight sim, two thousand four, two thousand two. It was those. It was to the point where you could get in a, a cockpit, hit a few buttons, and get yourself off the ground put in an autopilot and land. It seemed like it was a lot more simple. The new ones are just, they're just too, too detailed. Paul Virginia with a $20.24 super chat. Thank you so much, Paul. Hey, Kevin and ABL family, in light of the horrific Haneda collision, no one has talked about how well their airport emergency plan worked to save lives. Might prove to be another great behind-the-scenes AVL documentary. That's a good point there, Paul. I'll have to reach out to uh, folks there in Tokyo. I don't know. I don't know if they'd be open to that or not. How's it going? Yes, I think I'm going to bless it. What was that? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's right. It's the October? No. Not October. Second time. Second time, which was almost a year ago. Good to see you. Here, I'll give you some oh, training cards real quick. Good. I got the Queen. Do have a on Queen on short final. It's a DHL Polar Air Cargo Flight 916 coming from Hong Kong. 747-8 is the A380 waits to cross over. We also have that 777 and Dreamliner on Kilo. Still waiting on the Asiana. So more than likely, they're going to allow it, this queen to arrive first on 25 left. It's that Polar Air cargo flight that we thought possibly was going to land on the north side. Made that wide turn heading to 25 left. Will she go long? Supreme Air A380 Super can cross over 25 right. I believe this is going to go short on us, make that left hand turn to the Alpha 8. So 916, 
The turn on Alpha 8 for the Polar Air Cargo flight coming from Hong Kong, flight 9 at 16. Some movement on that taxi with Kilo here in a second. A and A ready to go. Philippine finishing up those checks. At 17:27, Arnav Docker, wing two five right, clear for takeoff. Arnav Docker, two five right, clear for takeoff. United 17:20. Target 1658, the target full length, coming two five right, line of sight. Full length, two five right, line of sight. There you are. I feel like they're hot off the presses. <laughs> What's that? What time do you I'll be at the H on Friday. I'm probably like a noon start. What time do you take it out? What if? Back to Dallas? Okay. LA Tower, United yes. 10 to 13. Okay. I know. Horrible. All right, the A380 Super, Korean Air, about to cross over. Korean Air, Korean Air Super, crossing right, hold for the five <laughs> yes, Microsoft Flight Sim starting to mix field there in Chicago. I forgot about that, yeah. Before 57, for month Alpha 7, the left of Alpha Ground for 75. Up to Alpha 7, Alpha Ground. Captain Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Breeze is always late to Portland, Maine. Why is that, Kevin? I, I, I don't know. That's a good question for them. Philippine Airlines, the 777 making a left-hand turn on to Bravo, followed by the ANA Dreamliner. Taxiway Alpha will be joining Asiana. 
should be taken off here on 25 at left shortly. Philippine Airlines, the 777, wasted no time there on Taxiway Bravo. ANA also heading to Bravo and now China Eastern, 777 to 300ER. Pushing it back. That should also be a south side takeoff coming up. Could be back to back takeoffs with the two A380s. Asiana still sitting down there at the end of the 2 5. So they are. They're going to have. Sounds like they're going to try to at least do back to back. That is China Eastern Airlines heading back to Shanghai for like 586. Air New Zealand in the All Blacks livery, Flight 6, coming up from Auckland. 777 at 300ER, five minutes out, south side arrival, a 25 left. SM13, taxi via Hotel Juliet, cross from 25 right, ground point 75. Hotel, Hotel Juliet, to cross 25 right in ground point 76 at 1013. And the Lufthansa Queen now just 27 minutes away. Flight 456. The 747 8 Intercontinental coming in from Frankfurt. About 26 minutes behind here today. All right, Asiana all lined up, ready to go on 25 left. Korean catching up. Terry M with the $2 Super Chat. Thanks so much, Terry. He says, hold on, Kevin. Nice day, eh? It's a very nice day. Much better than Sunday. <laughs> I got that pull in the way. Rob Thompson with the $2 Super Chat. Thanks so much, Rob. Says, all the Gen X in me wants to do is play Red Alert 2. What's Red Alert 2? Is that a military game? Should be seeing the first of two A380s rolling down well, two five at left here shortly. Also of Air France in the Sky Team livery, flight 202, committed from Paris, triple seven at 300 ER, 27 minutes away. And Fiji Airways, flight 810, and coming up from Nandi. A350 now just 25 minutes away. Also a south okay, side power. arrival. 25 left. Viva flight and final 25 right. We're going to throw a super on a hyper on 25 left for takeoff. Clear for takeoff on 25 right to hyper. I can see you on. Do a 510 on a tower on 25 right for the land. Asiana. Cleared for takeoff. 25 left. Viva flight and. Caution, jet blast, a pop shot, cross running, I have left full short of the main two five right.
China Eastern now going to start taxi. Should be heading south on Kilo, making that left hand turn on the Brava. Still waiting on the Philippine Airlines, late 113, heading to Manila, 777 to 300ER. Also, have United Airlines, late 231, heading to London Heathrow to 787 9 Dreamliner. Also, that ANA Dreamliner as well. That officially takes us to the top of the hour once again. Just after 1 p.m. here in beautiful sunny Los Angeles, California, you are watching continuous live coverage of LAX plate spotting right here on your home for LAX live streams. That is Airline Dev Videos Live. Today is a Super Tuesday show here on April 16th, 2024. And I am your plane jockey, Kevin, here at an Imperial Hill, having this great day of plane spotting here. Hope you guys are all having a great day as well. Much more to go, so don't go anywhere. We got the other A380 about to take off, as well as all those heavies lining up on 2425 right here on the south side. All right, let's get back to the action as the 777-300ER now making that left-hand turn on to Bravo. Put the 619 on that docker. I'm going to keep my right at Fox Truck. Let's take off. Where do I keep my right at Fox Truck? Let's take off. It's just 619. All right, the All Blacks, 777-300ER, Flight 6, coming to Auckland. Next arrival. Okay, so it sounds like they're going to get the super out before the triple seven. Green Air Flight 18 heading back to Seoul. Next takeoff, 25 left. Heavy taxi via Hotel Lima, cross the 25 right. Hotel Lima, cross the 25 right. Green Air throwing a super and a Piper, 25 left, let's take off. Piper, triple take off, running 25 left, and then it's running. Wait for that to line up. Let's take a look at the All Blacks, 777-300ER. Not a complete stranger to us here at LAX. China Eastern, 777, continues taxi down at Bravo, heading to 25 right. Hello, American 16, uh, 09, ratio 25 left. American 16, 09, LSR, super, but departing, heavy super, parallel, cost me 25 left, 4. Third left, 25 left, 16, 09. Alright, the A380 super now rolling down to 5 left. Super, wait, we're going to still do the full length of 25 right today, a box-back cross coming to 5 left, hold short, 25 right.
adelante. All right, we got that long line of heavies going to be taken off. First off, Philippine Airlines Flight 113 heading to Manila, the 777-300ER. Again, if you guys are liking today's broadcast, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and make sure your notifications all set. Our official next live broadcast is Friday, high atop the H Hotel, starting at noon Pacific. We'll be back here on Sunday for the big Sunday show. Of course, we're not far from done here today, but we also should have an AVL on the fly. That is a pop-up stream either tomorrow or Thursday of this week, as we do need to test out Ed. <laughs> Ed needs some testing. The drivers on Ed have been updated, and I haven't been out here to test it, so we will definitely need to come out here for a few hours, either Wednesday, tomorrow, or Thursday. So be on standby for that. All right, the triple seven to 300 ER now rolling down to five right. New Zealand, you got Tom Bradley all to yourself, pretty much. All right, up next, United Airlines flight 231 heading to London Heathrow in a 787 9 Dreamliner. On a front five heavy, we're not docker. Five right, seven take off. And 24 49 on the dark cost, wait, you're going to make two five right, line up and wait. All right, two five right, line up and wait, United 24 49. Five eight six heavy, give way to Falcon from your right, at Fox Truck, and then continue pulling. Give way to uh Right up next is the all Nippon Airways Dreamliner. It's Flight 5 heading back to Tokyo to Rita. Air France, Flight 22. And the Sky Team livery coming up from Paris. Now just nine minutes away. here again all right Bob what's that all right we'll see you later no okay all right Bob will be in the chat Bob's in the chat I see you again take care I'll try to catch it on Friday 1240 right 1245 
Neo or the regular? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're going to get that one. Yeah, we're going to get that one. You did? Uh, what day? Saturday. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, over the ocean. Was that day or night? Okay. Okay, cool. You saw plenty of the ocean? Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that at night. It's in the middle of the night, like at 3 o'clock in the morning. You want to talk about beautiful. Like, everything's just nice and quiet. So, all right. Have a good flight back. Good to see you. Delta Airlines flight 1006 heading to Boston, 757-200. China Eastern Airlines flight 586 heading to Shanghai at a 777-300ER. Next takeoff here on the south side. One of our great mods, the Netherlands Pixel, back on the $5 Super Chat. This is Kevin finally taking a flight with United's new A321neo from Chicago O'Hare to Orlando in two weeks. First class. I'm excited about it. How awesome is that? I want a full review. <laughs> From everything that I've seen, it kind of really resembles Delta's A321neo. Even the seats in first class kind of, they don't look the same, but they're pretty much the same feel. And obviously the ceiling in the A321 has that same tile look. But I'd be interested to get your, your take on it. All right, China Eastern, the 777-300ER. Hey, what's going on, strangers? What's going on? How are you? Good to see you. When would you guys get in? You did. I mean, which one? No, was it early? Was it on time? It was on time. <laughs> well, lucky you guys. I think it's an hour late today. Yeah, which isn't too bad. Say that again. Oh, How are they on this flight? The first one? Oh, OK. So what does that mean? You got to go back and just pick them up? On the train, because you guys head out to the. Yeah. Power points at 453, holding short Quebec on uh, Bravo. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Well, that's good. All right, stand by one second. Trading cards? You know we have trading cards? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it's always hit and miss, but it was excellent on that one. Yeah, the whole layout was perfect. Oh yeah. No, it was, I mean, it was a pretty new A321. Hot off the press, I'm telling you. Yeah. Well, they can't take any deliveries either. <laughs> yeah, but they can't take anything now. Because they have maintenance sticks. So the FAA said they can't. Yeah, it's, it's interesting what's going on here because JetBlue is now pulling out a bunch of LAX service. So they're no longer doing SFO, no longer Reno. All those A320 routes are pulling back, taking them out of here. And then Frontier just started back service up here with routes to SFO, Phoenix, Denver. 
And now Spirit, Boston, just announced last week that they're going to start doing SFO and you know. It's cutthroat, I'm telling you. It's the Air France Flight 22 in the sky at T-Mobile delivery, 777-300ER, coming from Paris. It's still looking a little rough. <laughs> I think I got video of this plane arriving at least two or three years ago if not four years ago. With the same situation, missing colored cowling, I believe on that left side engine. She got it replaced back. It was all matching colors there for a short time. She's been looking this way for, I want to say at least six months now. Head to the west gates. Usually parks on the west side of the new terminal here, new er terminal here at LAX. I still need to post that video of Rudy and I when we went out to JFK. We walked all the way from Terminal 5. We walked through 4, walked through Tom Bradley, had lunch, dinner at Tom Bradley. We eventually walked underneath the tunnel. So basically, it's under the two taxiways and headed to the West Gates. Rudy had never been there before. And we walked around there. We took a bunch of video. There was the vibe in there was just quiet and not much going on. And there was no music playing. It was just a very interesting kind of dull vibe. Certainly not when I call it the hottest club. It is not the hottest club. At least that day it wasn't. And so we hung out there. We went to the far north side, which would be the opposite of what you're seeing. You're seeing the south side. On the north side, there's this big window. You can see it in the video, the behind the scenes video that we did. It's a big window. You can sit there, some nice furniture. You can sit there and you can do some plane spotting. You got some great views of the north side. So we sat there and plane spotted for, I don't know, half an hour. And then we made the long trip back onto the tunnel through Tom Bradley, through four, back over to five. It took us probably at least a half an hour to walk from the West Gates to Terminal 5. And I remember I, we were walking back through Tom Bradley, and of course the music was playing, and people were having fun, and sitting at the bars and the restaurants, and you know, you got all those the nice shops, cologne and perfume in the air. <laughs> I said, Rudy, this is the hottest club at LAX, the Tom, regular Tom Bradley, not the Westgates. Maybe we'll get there at some point at the Westgates. Certainly they have the room. I mean, if you guys, if you walk up the, the escalator to the main floor, there's a big, nice window area as well that looks toward Tom Bradley. It looks to the east. Um, there's a couple of restaurants, kind of grab your food and go. But if you start walking it toward the gate area, there's, I think, four levels of retail space that eventually will be there, kind of like Tom Bradley. So you'll, I'm sure at some point we'll see restaurants, more restaurants and more stores in there. But they certainly have the space. It's just 
it's not there yet. guys in California for five weeks wow so that takes you you just got here May 19th okay Wait a little bit. <laughs> did they, what, 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 did they ever make it on the plane, or did they? Since you were on the last flight, that's why it never came, right? Uh, we are... We are doing the 24-hour live stream mid-June, and then after that, end of June, is Boston, St. Martin, and then Alaska, Anchorage, and then Chicago, Michigan. Mid-July, and if we can get back to New York, we'll go back to New York. Which where? St. Martin? Have you been? No. Are right, we do? We have Fiji flight 810 arriving here on the south side. The Lufthansa Queen flight 456 coming in from Frankfurt. Next heavy arrival on the north side. Running about just about a half an hour late here today. Seems to be the thing happening to many flights here today. Slightly delayed. Unless you're Emirates. Emirates arriving, was it two hours late? Three hours late?
Blue Los Angeles Tower, Sky West 3275 is just outside DG inbound uh, 25 left. Sky West 3275 LA Parallel and 2409 or 25 left, clear to land. 25 left, clear to land, Sky West 3275. Wait until the day when we see Yankee Tangy back here at LAX. She's going to be coming back here at some point soon. It's been a while. It's at least, what, almost a month ago? It was that Sunday before we went to JFK. She showed up on that Sunday show. Maybe this Sunday? Wouldn't mind that. That's Fiji Airways, the A350. 900 coming in from Nandi. Kilo Sum, member for nine months. As the silver member says, y'all missed me at JFK as American Airlines flight 94 left five after end. What day was that? Roberta Gomez with the Fine Teller Super Chat. Thanks so much, Roberta. Hi, Kevin. The Queen is on her way to uh, uh, Lufthansa. Yes. Just arriving. Sorry, I was a little behind on the Super Chats. We do a border heading back to Toronto and then E195, E2, number three for takeoff. Air Tahiti Nui Flight 8 will be heading to Paris and the 787-9 Dreamliner should be pushing back from the west gates. Cargo Jet Airways Flight 937 coming up from Calgary and a converted 767-300ER 18 minutes away. Also, China Cargo Airlines, flight 229, coming from Shenzhen and a 777 freighter, 10 minutes out. Also, Air China Cargo, flight 3126, coming from Mexico City and a 777 freighter, 4 minutes away. Fiji Mix. Her way up, taxiway Lima. An SAS flight 931 coming in from Copenhagen and an A330 300. Well, guess what? Running late. <laughs> 206 is the estimated arrival time that is 34 minutes away. What's up with all the delays, Jordan? Seems like everyone's delayed like a half an hour ish here today. What's that? It is, definitely. Definitely one I want to fly on, that's for sure. All right, then Lufthansa Queen now officially here on the south side. We should, and I say we should, see that takeoff here on 2-5 left, but in the Lufthansa Queen, you just never know lately. We've seen it, at least with my eyes, I've seen it take off on the north side and quite a bit. up with the Queen here in a second. Fiji pulling it in to the north side of the West Gates. 
Paul Virginia back with an awesome $100 super shot. Thank you so much, Paul. Paul says, Honolulu supports. Well, thank you so much, Paul. <laughs> really appreciate that. Yeah, these trips are not cheap, I will say that. But, uh, you know, it's doing business. But thank you so much, Paul. Awesome support of the channel. Oh, the Boston Marathon was yesterday. Sarah, the real deal. Porter now taking off back to Toronto. This E2. And the Lufthansa Queen now making that left hand turn on to Lima. Speedbird British Airways say 283 coming up from London Heathrow, a triple seven to 300 ER, 27 minutes out. Now, for the second time here today, this is something brand new to us here at LAX. Of course, you saw this kind of aircraft at JFK just a few weeks ago. ETA, Flight 620, coming in from Rome, bringing in one of the A330 NEOs for the second time this week. Still 28 minutes out. Go figure, half an hour behind. Again, today, we see the A330 NEO with ETA. Lufthansa Queen making those final turns, heading into the southwest corner of Tom Bradley. Possibly seeing that cargo jet Airways 767 crossing over us here at Imperial Hill. The Queen pulling in right next to the Air New Zealand, all blacks, 777 to 300 ER. Jordan and his dad came in on British Airways yesterday on Speedbird, the A380. Here at Imperial Hill. Their luggage didn't make it yesterday, so they are waiting for the first flight. That is 283 coming in from London Heathrow. It's got their baggage on the plane. I've never had that happen to me, and that is my biggest fear, especially with... Hey! What seven five? That is Dater Dot. Dater Dot. Sounds like he's in a good mood. Good old tater tot.
Right, we got that air. New, I'm sorry, air Tahiti new a Dreamliner heading to Paris, heading for a south side takeoff. Right, we got that Air China cargo, triple seven freighter next arrival, a two five left. So Negative 2143 RNAV Docker, when 2409 and when 25 right, there's four takeoff. Take takeoff, uh, 25 right, RNAV Docker, Mark, and uh, 2143. So, so I have the cargo jets. Air. Right, China Cargo, 777, also heading to 25 left. Back to the Air Tahiti Nui Dreamliner, currently on taxiway Bravo, heading to 25 at right. Doctor, Doctor, take off your five right now. Five. Three point one forty three, contact E. Parker. Uh, three one two six heavy turn left. At Alpha eight, and turn up on Alpha. Contact ground. Oh come on, Tater Time. We need the contact E. Parker. Uh, as the boat drive moves out left. Let's see. Contact three one two six heavy turn left, and turn left, and contact ground point seven five. Turn left, Alpha eight, Alpha. Alpha one two seven, Alpha one five. Contact three one two six. Cargo King, you're down. Heavy loss on Sarah. Thanks for waiting. Wind two four zero one zero, Wind two five left for land. All right, so make it an Alpha 8 turnoff for the Air China 777 freighter. Flight coming up from Mexico City, flight 31 to 26. Next heavy arrival at China Cargo Airlines Flight 229, coming in from Shenzhen, a triple seven freighter. Stumps is also be seeing the cargo jet airways converted 767 to 300ER. Should be arriving here soon on 25 left. Next takeoff on 25 right, United Airlines flight 431, heading to Honolulu at a 757 at 300. We follow by Air Tahiti Nui, flight 8 heading to Paris in the 787-9 Dreamliner. Should be a left-hand turn, Alpha 8. Possibly for this 777 freighter. 
1359, heavy turn left, then turn left, contact ground point 75. Turn left, uh, 1179. And uh, Sky 233, LA Tower, heavy going 767 over the marker. Contact and the Netherlands, Netherlands, Pixel, back with the $5 Super Chats. Says the weather in Dubai is so bad, fly Dubai. Flight 274 has circled about 13 times. An eight plus hour delayed airspace off the coast is busy with five other birds circling. Yikes, 13 times circled, circled 13 times. Yeek. I don't know, that might make me nauseous. <laughs> Heading to Honolulu. Japan Airlines, flight 6 1. 787 Dreamliner. What car is that? Is that a car? A smell? Is it that white van? Cargo Chan Airways, like 437, next up for an arrival. Though we do have the Air Tahiti Nui Dreamliner heading to Paris, now rolling down at 25 right. It's like cargo jets. 937 heavy, stay parking. 937 heavy, parking. Turning off at Alpha 7. I'm on Alpha, ground 75, so uh, cargo jet might be 7. Good day. Delta 767 heading to the south side. Delta Airlines flight 678 heading to JFK. 33 year old 767 to 300 ER. Looks like SAS to A330 heading to the south side just nine minutes away. British Airways flight 283 coming up from London Heathrow. 777 at 300 ER with friend Jordan's bags now just. 13 minutes out, Ita bringing in the A330 Neo, just 20 three, three, minutes two, out. Also heading in. Version Atlantic Flight 7 coming in from London Heathrow at A350-1000. Now, just 30 minutes out. Only running about 12 minutes behind here today. Turn right, turn right. Hold short of golf, make sure you're good. Turn right, turn right. Hold short of golf, and we should get to the south. Should be seeing that Japan Airlines Dreamliner 
Start taxi here shortly. Rita, are you hungry? See, I, I always giving friends some RX bars. <laughs> going to Boston. He was going to Boston. Flight 382 and that A321. Uh, RK7. Yeah, 6233 at Golf. Hold short. I'm with you, Time Drive. Looks like south side arrival. Not that it makes a difference, right? <laughs> What's that? Uh, Friday to Tuesday. It's not very long. Long weekend. First time there. Have you been there? Yeah. Yeah. Plane spotting? Did you go? We went there for real reasons. Yeah, 6299, taxi hotel, and then just hold short of Hotel 5. Hotel short of Hotel 5, Skyrush. Uh, okay. 6233, cross on my 25 right behind American from your left there, ground point 75. Cross 25 right oh, yeah. uh, behind American yeah. from our left. We're going and we'll for the plane, so. Yeah, good day. And the ocean view. <laughs> I mean, not that we don't have it here already, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, no, the water's much prettier than this one over here. No, it's too cold. Next takeoff here on the south side. Spirit Airlines, flight 326, A320 heading to Houston. Doctor, we got that Dreamliner, Japan Airlines Dreamliner heading down for a south side takeoff, as well as that Delta 767-300ER heading to JFK, flight 678. KLM flight 602, the flight heading back to Amsterdam in a 787-10 Dreamliner. Lighting up on the radar. That should, should, though that never get any guarantee for a south side takeoff.
211 on half doctor, when 25011 with 25 right, can you pick up? We'll pick up 25 right on half doctor. So 678 heavy, lost off tower, 25 right, line wait. Line of wait, 25 right, Delta 678 heavy. 524, contact. Watch. American 3, lost on the tower, number 2. When 24011, runway 25 left, for land. SAS is our next arrival. This flight coming in from Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, flight 2457 in this A320. 7678 heavy on that doctor, wind 240 at 11, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff. Contact out, 267, contact. Later, American 7 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 Attack to the end, Southwest 345, or Southwest. Fan Air 61 Heavy, RNAV Docker, wind 24011, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff. Fan Air 61 Heavy, RNAV Docker, wind 25 right, clear for takeoff. Southwest 6345, Southwest will cross, and Southwest 6345, Southwest will cross, and Southwest 6, so 678 heavy contact, Park, 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 678 heavy. Park, 28, heavy, lost off tower number 2, wind 25011 and wind 25 left, please land. They land, 25 left, speed with 283 heavy. Tower's going. They all a Dreamliner now pushing it back from the west gates. Flight 6 will be heading back to Tel Aviv. The Dreamliner with KLM starting to taxi. Looks like it's making a right-hand turn on the Delta, which would tell me it's taking off on the north side on 2-4 right. Japan Airlines Flight 6-1 heading to Tokyo Narita, 787-9 Dreamliner is the next takeoff here on the south side. Here, 2457, thanks for waiting, cross from a 25 right, contact kind of ground point 75. 45, 25, I don't do it, ground point 75. Okay, six more heavy, contact. Okay, six more heavy, Indeed, it does look like KLM heading to 24 right. Southwest 5345, RNF Docker, when 25011 and when 25 right, so for takeoff. RNF Docker, could take off 25 right, so 5345. That's 1797, Los Alfaro, with 25 right, line up for way. 25 right, line up for way, United 1797. Los Angeles Tower, good afternoon, yeah. Coast Street, 8, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, Second big queue, A350-1000. Our Airways coming up from Doha. Next arrival on the north side, 24 right. Now 
Speedbird, flight 283, coming up from London Heathrow. Carrying Jordans, bags. Back up 523 on that docker with 250 at 10. Looks like SAS going to be holding on the taxiway before crossing over. Big plane, seven and Liz, member for 16 months. It's called the Memories. Is Nigel using the 777-300ER. There she is. Now we're having on 25 left from London Heathrow. It's perfect timing there. Avianca A320 now taken off, 25 right. 3 So we also have Japan Airlines, the 777-300ER heading back to Tokyo Haneda, now pushing the back, flight 15. We should be seeing the Dreamliner heading to Tel Aviv, heading here for a south side at takeoff. Speedbird should be crossing over. SAS, not quite sure what you're doing. <laughs> More than likely, maybe waiting for that Japan Airlines. Triple seven. Sarah, the real deal. The twenty dollars super chat. Thanks, Sarah. Sarah. Hey, Kevin, I told many local plane spotters you guys are coming to Boston at the end of June. One of them is the guy that goes up in a helicopter to take. Pictures of plane nets coming into Boston. David Nick will be there. Over to departure. Seven, eight, eight. <laughs> Hotel Juliet. How, how, how's my accent? Hotel Juliet. Sarah, Boston. Boston. She's probably screaming at her TV set right now. It's Boston. Sarah, I'm looking forward to it. I want my clam chata and my lobster rolls. If I leave Boston this time without experiencing the clam shot of the lobster rolls, I'm never coming back. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Well, that officially takes us to the top of the hour. Just after 2 p.m. here in beautiful, sunny Los Angeles, California, you're watching continuous live coverage of LAX Planes Body right here in your home for LAX live streams. That is Airline Videos Live. Today is your Super Tuesday show here on April 16th, 2024. And I am your plane jockey, Kevin, here at Imperial Hill. Hope you guys are enjoying the Super Tuesday show full of action. And of course, we're not done yet, so don't go anywhere. Make sure to hit that like button if you haven't yet and share the stream with your family and your friends and your cats and your dogs as well rough rough and meow to all of you as well as we continue on here in a beautiful afternoon here in the southland great charlie echo alpha seven alpha alpha six third round 
Alpha 7, Alpha, Alpha 6 ramp, bait the truck. We got everything awaiting to cross, cross over right. here. Eat uh, the A330 Neo. Next arrival here on the south side. Thank you. So straight ahead at the uh, cross two five right, straight on the ramp. Thirty one zero two cross number two five right contact ground point. See seven you guys. Five. Good luck. Cross two five right ground point ten five going thirty one zero. Sounds good. Right, See you guys. Uh, Alright, now Rudy had suggested when we were up at JFK that there was no ghost livery okay. on the now, tail first, of the so A three thirty Neos the like we do okay. see okay. with the A three fifties. And since this A three thirty Neo is arriving here on the south side, it will give us Great opportunity to zoom in on that tail. Let's see if Rudy was right. All right, we'll wait for that to get a little bit closer. We have a heavy train going on over here. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Five heavies all in one little area of the airport. Virgin Atlantic, the A350-1000, next arrival here on the south side. All right, let's go back to Ita here. Look for that ghost livery in the back, which is what I like to call a Louis Vuitton handbag. I'm seeing it. I think I see it. It's there. Yeah, it's there. I thought that was kind of weird when he when Rudy said that. I thought, well, why would they not put it on the A330 Neo? What do you think? I mean, I love this color blue on anything, but I think I prefer this livery on the A350. Definitely A350 for the win. What do you guys think? A350, A330, Neo for the ETA delivery in this gorgeous sun. Yeah, John H. says the A350 looks better. I agree. I'm trying to, I'm sitting here looking at this and thinking, well, why would the A350 look better than this? This delivery, I guess if I had to be blunt, looks dumpy. I don't know. It's weird. It's like this livery doesn't show off the airplane very well. <laughs> well, the A350 is just a better looking aircraft. <laughs> of course, right behind this A330 Neo is the Virgin Atlantic A350-1000. I think we've always said, can you imagine the Virgin A350-1000 in that all candy apple red? That would be slick.
So we do a Delta Airlines flight 2290, I'm sorry, 2264 heading to Atlanta, Georgia, A350-900 heading here to the south side. Kind of got stuck in this heavy traffic jam. Still have Japan Airlines flight 15 heading to Tokyo Haneda, 777-300ER, still heading down to the two fives. We also have a queen lighting up, Coletta Air Flight 9406 heading to Fairfield. That is Travis Air Force Base, the 747-400 should have a south side takeoff coming up. Everyone go in their separate ways. Yeah, blue 687, exit here, taxi, Hotel Juliet, cross number 25 right, when you cross kind of ground, point 75. Hotel Juliet, cross 25 right, point 75, jump please. Left hands up, play 452, the E380 Super coming in from Munich. Now just 55 minutes away. Touching down here at the LAX. Not too bad, just running about 10 minutes behind. You wanted to park from Fox Shot? I'm up to that, I'm up on Hey, Spender, 15 heavy traffic is crossing downfield of a T5 right at Fox Shot, line up and wait. Follow the 25 right at Fox Shot, so I'm up on Vegas, I'm up on heavy. Delta A350 heading to Atlanta, heading to 25 right. Ita. Not quite sure where the gate they got you going to. Normally it heads to the north side. Seven zero three two five left. After seven zero three, Lost Star Triple Seven landing roll. Another one will depart the parallel gosh make turbulence. Two four zero. One one runway two five left. Two Green Air Flight eleven D three D Super coming in from Seoul fifty one minutes away. An Asiana Flight 204, the A380 Super, running about just under an hour late here today. Estimated time of arrival, 5.10 p.m. Flight 204. And the Emirates A380 Super, running Late. <laughs> now, two hours and 40 minutes away. Estimated time of arrival at 4.51. And uh, which ramp are you parking at today, Kai? Signature Tango 5. Alpha 5, sorry. All right, we got the Japan 777-300ER heading back to Tokyo Haneda. Now rolling down to 5 right. Got that deep archer. Make sure to follow us. Our handle is Airline Videos. It's all one word. Airline Videos. Right there on Twitter X. Great place to keep up to date with everything going on here. On the channel. The United Triple Seven. United 1770, our nav docker, wind 25012, wind 25 right. Flight 2304 coming up in Newark. 777, 777 at 200, now making that right hand turn on the Bravo.
So last game, line play 703 coming in from Las Vegas, 737 Max 9. United Airlines flight 1770 heading to SFO, San Francisco, and a 737 MAX 8 next takeoff here on the south side. Be followed by that Delta A350 heading to Atlanta. Los Angeles Tower, 230 Heavy is over Honda for the visual run. Okay. At 230 Heavy, last car number two, traffic will hold in position with 25012 with 25 left. Cleared, clear, 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 By the way, since uh, we had no Sunday show this week, we gave away one piece of Avial merch. Well, guess what? We got another one coming up. How about an official Airline Videos Live t-shirt? This could be yours. As this is our official Sunday live giveaway here on a Tuesday. Be coming up a bit later, Tanner. You can go check out the colors. By the way, we're soon to add our newest design to the Shop AVL store. That is the Honolulu Tower shirt. Great designer, Kareen Antonelli. That's all of our merch. Just got done. Designing the Honolulu Tower. That will be added to the store hopefully within a week. I just ordered some hoodies and t shirts. Got to make sure everything looks good before we put it on the store. Kayak 51 ground needs to talk to you 121.75. 1175 Singapore Airlines flight 11 heading back to Tokyo Narita. It's a 777 at 300 ER. Should be a south. Side takeoff. Number five, Golf Alpha. Winds 25011 on F2 Hyper. Mike Perez, it's funny you say that because I showed the mods yesterday. It was a, a, a navy blue t shirt, just regular t shirt. And I think it was Allison. Allison, didn't you say you wanted like a wine shirt or some crazy colors on that one? No, I gotta figure out if the manufacturer can even do that. Uh, Chris, probably not for Grand Rapids. Well, who knows? I don't know. Chris, you know, you never know. <laughs> I, I never say never. That's the story of my life. Joni Swanson back with the five dollar super chat. Thank you so much, Joni. Should I tell the story of how a lady at the age thought you were my son? <laughs> True story. True story. Well, Joni was just hanging out with me up high atop the age hotel pretty much all day on Friday, last Friday. And a lot of people come up there and they wonder what, well, first of all, what is going on here? Is he a DJ? Do I put him a request for a song? And then once they usually find out that I'm not a DJ, then they're probably like, well, what is he doing? I don't understand. Hello, 6 heavy RNAV, Docker, wind 25013, with 25 right, 34 take up. 25 right, Uh, flight heading to Atlanta. I have a United Dreamliner touching down. Also, that Kaleta Air Queen pushing it back. Flight heading to Fairfield, Travis Air Force Base, base flight 9406. We'll be taking off into two fives here shortly. Oh, 
on the Dreamliner heading back to Tel Aviv. Flight six, next takeoff on two five right. Suzanne Thomas becoming a silver member once again. Thank you so much, Suzanne. And Dave Morgan becoming a silver member once again. Thank you so much, Dave. So United, United Airlines flight 230 coming from London Heathrow on the 787 9 Dreamliner. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Great idea to let us know that before you take the runway scan, 3168. Well, okay, my required separation is five miles. The preceding heavy is currently eight miles offshore. I believe he's talking to a flight flex jet Embraer Phenom 300. Heavy long tower winds 25012 at 25 left. Quick left. And American Airlines flight 137 coming in from London Heathrow, 777 at 300 ER, four minutes out, south side. Arrival. Norris flight 711 had it coming in from London Gatwick, 787 9 at Dreamliner, 16 minutes away. Singapore, the 777 starting taxi. And into 25 right. Becoming a gold member. Thank you so much, Ian. All right, how are we all doing? Are we doing good? Rita's over there busy cleaning the, the park once again. The park has actually been pretty busy all day here today. I'm actually kind of shocked for Random Tuesday. It's been pretty busy. Flex Jet 38, a heavy part of the full length of the runway, through, uh, the parallel, three minutes ago. Caution, make sure when 24013 on that hyper, which you find Chris, you know what I should do? Instead of making a GRR shirt, I should make a Michigan I mean, hand. Long post tower trap crossing downfield with T5 right, and I'm waiting. And it should be the hand, you know, because Michigan is the shape of a, a mitten hand. It should be talk to the hand. Airline videos live. Right? You like that? Talk to the hand? I think it's been done probably many times. Amico 645, when 2012, you are now the stalker, and when 25 right, super takeoff. Super takeoff, uh, runway to five, left, or now, to Dr. Ramos, so big four, five. Legend Shane, I've been with the $250 super chat through PayPal. Thank you so much, Shane. Shane says, I'm enjoying the show as always. United Flight 1890 flew by me earlier. Its takeoff was on the show. It's great to see it in person as well. Isn't that very cool? Thank you so much, Shane. Awesome support from Legend Shane. That is so cool to like, even if you watch a live stream and let's say in London with Big Jet TV and you see a, a plane take off early in the morning 
or afternoon there and then arrive here throughout the course of the afternoon. It's always unique. Shows you how small the world it really is. Thank you, Jin. Glad you're enjoying the show. We got that Coletta Air Queen as well as that 777 Aero Mexico flight 645 heading to Mexico City. It's a 737 MAX 8 now taking off. Adamico 645 got tagged. <laughs> Contact departure. See, now it used to be a little, it used to be more like contact departure. Now it's contact departure. I right, got that queen and triple seven. NAB. Is it still going on this week? National Association of Broadcasters. Up there in Vegas. And this is the time of the year where a lot of companies release their new products, their new cameras. And I was, I was surfing through YouTube this morning. And I was amazed how many different YouTubers or, or so-called influencers with, you know, new new video gear, or editing gear, or whatever it may be, and they all they all released their video of roughly about the same time, within 10 minutes of each other, for a brand new camera that came out today. I'm not going to purchase it. I've actually have one of these, and I got to tell you, I never even use it. The Instant 360, apparently this was this like 8K. I never got into the whole 360 camera thing. I think I used it once last year. I used it when we went on the Northern New Pacific inaugural flight. I said, Rudy, walk up and down the aisle. I took it, I added it, it a little of video, vertical video. And I got to tell you, that's all I think I've done with it. So I don't know. I learned my lesson with some of those action cameras. You know, they come out with a new action camera every every year, and you you, you get all excited. The promo video looks. Oh, it's something, it looks better than what I could ever shoot, and pretty much it's the same camera over and over and over again with Sorry, a few extra new, new bells and whistles, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just not going to play that game anymore. I'm not going to play that game of trying to have the best of the best when what you probably have is probably better than anything else. With that being said, we, we shoot all of our BTS videos on the Sony FX30. The FX30, I love the camera. Now they have a bigger sensor version called the F3 with Sony for about twice the amount of money. I gotta tell you, I look at our BTS videos on every kind of TV set. We shoot it in 4K, 24 frames a second, and I think it looks great. Would it look better on an F3? Probably, but I'll be honest with you, I don't think the, the normal human eye is gonna notice the difference between the F30 and the F3. 
between a bigger sensor and a smaller sensor. Singapore I think it looks great. Doctor, and I was really concerned, and it still might come out, I was really concerned that they were going to come out with a new version of the F-30 this year. And as much as I would sit there and say that I'm not going to play that game anymore, I'm not going to say I need the newest the best version of the camera that I love, if Sony came out and said we have a new, better version of the F30, I don't know. <laughs> I might have to, like, try it out. See, they got me. They got me. As much as I try not to play the game, they'll get me at some point. All right, so we're waiting on a bunch of heavies. Got three. Coletta Air going to be taken off on Fox Trot. Singapore, the triple seven now rolling down. <laughs> Does it apply to Ed? <sighs> well, apparently, Ed is the newest, and best version of that product. Ed's, Ed's got a lot of. He's got some growing pains. All right, that flight heading to Tokyo Narita and we'll continue on to Singapore. Up next, Coletta Air Flight 9406 heading to Travis Air Force Base. This 26-year-old 747-400 freighter. <laughs> Nancy! Nancy said, little boys and their tech toys. Nancy! Oscar 1331, next six is here, Hotel Juliet, hold short. All right, so we got that queen up next. Oh, don't even get me started on the new car. Toyota just, I don't know if you guys saw, you know, I've been talking about that 4Runner. Every time I rent a car when we go on these trips, I rent with Avis, and every single time they give me a 4Runner. And so I've kind of, I, I never, never, I, I'm not a big fan of Toyota. I never liked the look, the look of them, but there's something about the 4Runner, especially on the inside, that I like. Well, they just announced a new version which is going to be released Southwest in the fall. 2647 Really rotation as always on those flights heading to Travis Air Force Base. Norse just arriving. American Airlines flight 136 heading to London Heathrow. Now rolling down at 25 right. 
Norris arriving on 2 5 left. Alaska 1331, cross over 25 right, contact ground point 75. Thanks for waiting. Cross 25 right, okay, ground right. 571 Bravo Heavy, Hotel Juliet, cross over 25 right, contact ground point 75. Ground point 75, contact ground point 75. 136 Heavy, contact the departure. Two departure, right, 136 Heavy. Norse kind of behind a building here. I'll be, we'll get a good look of it because it's going to head it to the west gates. Flight 711 coming in from London Gatwick at the 787-9 Dreamliner. Yeah, 2234, Los Star Heavy Dream Liner, 2 mile final cost break, turbulence, 140 at 13 and 125 left. Clear to land. Clear to land, 25 left, yeah, 2234. Here to Hitty, Nui. Dreamliner. Flight like coming up from Paris. Right, Next arrival, flight seven here on the south side. Pick up the shot with the Norse heading to the West Gates. Next deck off is Alaska Airlines flight 1083 heading to Seattle in the 737-800. Followed by Alaska Airlines Flight 1451 heading to Everett's Payne Field at 737 to 800. We added 2234, we made 2 by left north, middle line, 24013, heavy dream on a pre-city Norris now making that right hand turn onto Lima. So I guess Tater Tot is headed back to the fryer. <laughs> Turkish Airlines like 180, the 777 to 300ER. Next takeoff on the north side on 24 right. Yeah, they're uh, Vitas. Yes, I do, yes. Uh, 
the cargo pilot? Oh yeah, yeah we have a couple. Yeah we've. Hey yeah. Yeah it's cool. I mean they see you too. Yeah I mean we've been doing this for three years now and you know word has gotten around. I mean we get shout outs from the ATC guys, certain certain pilots. So yeah yeah yeah. Are you from here? Oh you work here? Yeah yeah yeah. Okay cool. Derek Kevin, nice to meet you. Excellent. Yeah. Stop by on a Sunday because I have a co-host, Rudy. He's usually here on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little. I think it's the same setup. So. Yeah. 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 All right. Nice to meet you. No code word. <laughs> You know, if he gave us code word, you could get the trading cards. <laughs> well, once you start watching the show, then you then you'll want them. All right. <laughs> the code word is. What's that? Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. The code word is trading card. Tower in a 2444, 10 miles, 2544. That's 2444, Alaska, Sierra number three, 12014. Right, the first of two, Alaska, 737-800s, heading to Seattle, now taking off. I might as well go on camera and let you guys know that we so these the trading cards which we've been talking about for quite a while um, we're still working on the third one the third one is still having some printing issues I don't know what's going on it, it, anywhere from bad color to bad cutting so we've done three print runs on it now and it's still not where it should be though the good news is we did get the second main print run of the 2,500 of the cards for Rudy and myself. So we're good to go with these. We've got everything all good to go for the Kevin and Rudy cards. And I think they're gonna last for quite a while. I mean, I've got boxes of these things. But with that being said, we're still only limiting one of each card, and if we had three car the third card, we'd give you the third card as well. Remember, it's it's a limit per family of one per card. And they'll all be signed. And I know there's a lot of of you guys that are concerned that we're not going to have any cards left by the time we start making trips during the summer. I think we're going to be okay. I really, I mean, you should see these boxes. I mean, they're heavy. They're heavy boxes. They are full of the cards. And I looked at that yesterday and I said, there is no way, there is no way we're getting rid of all these cards by the end of summer. So I think you guys are good. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I think for all the travels coming up in the spring and summer, I think if you come out wherever we are, make sure to come out and get your trading cards. Because once these are gone, we will not reprint these cards.
United Airlines like 1731 heading to Newark. 787 9 Dreamliner. Next takeoff here on the south side. Speedbird British Airways like 281 coming up from London Heathrow. 777 300 ER 14 minutes away. A lot of those A380s on their way in as well. Green Air Flight 11 coming in from Seoul. The A380 Super 27 minutes out. The Lufthansa King 24 so minutes out. At a 2044, hold for the hotel five. 2044, 24, 24, hold for the hotel five. That was Delta Airlines heading to Atlanta, it's like 574, and that's 757-200. Cameron with a five dollar super chat. Thanks so much, Cameron. This is JSX Captain. I'll give you a shout out when I do a Cabo turn from LAX on Saturday. Well, I would appreciate that. We're not going to be out here on Saturday. We'll be back on Friday and Sunday. Friday, Sunday. We'll have a great trip. Maybe we'll catch each other again on the next trip. At a 2444 cross 25 right at Hotel 5, contact round 27. Number two, flight heading to Newark. JetBlue Airways, flight 523. It's an A321. Next takeoff here on the south side. Dave Sider is a member for 24 months as a platinum member. So say, Kevin, another amazing show as always. Love the heavy action with Tater Tot. Always look forward to watching you. You never disappoint. Except on Sunday, right? <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Nick P, a member for 19 months, is a gold member. This is another nice stream, Kevin. Keep on setting the standard for the others. Well, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Breeze! One of my favorites, A22300, heading to back to Richmond, Virginia, flight 535. Give a shout out to our great Mons as well. Wonder how I did. Hey, Mons, did you guys enjoy your Sunday off for once? For 2456, welcome to Starman 25 right, line up and wait, traffic will cross downfield. Line up and wait, 925 right, 2456. All right, got that JetBlue A321 now rolling down to 5 right. Ooh, rotating pretty early. 1688, left turn on that. Right, right turn, hotel 6. For 2110, cross 25 right, ground 0.75. 25 right, cross. Up on the north side, a Delta 767-300ER, flight coming up from Honolulu. It's the next Revel and 24 right. As you can see, there is still plenty of north side action, even with 24 left closed down. We'll be back high atop the H Hotel is our official next live stream starting at noon on Friday. Though half of your notifications set because we will be probably more than likely back here on the south side. 
either tomorrow or Thursday for an AVL on the fly pop-up stream as we test out Ed. Ed has been given some updates to his drivers. We need to put him to the test, an official test, like we were doing there for a while. So be on the lookout either tomorrow or Thursday. Not quite sure which day it's going to be just yet. The birdie is telling me more than likely Thursday. Looks like they're starting to uh, push back and right tow that triple seven to the all blacks. Triple seven to 300 ER, originally flight six. Next takeoff is Delta Airlines flight 574 heading to Atlanta, Georgia in a 757-200. That Spirit flight heading to Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas in an A320 just taken off. Straight ahead, Honda Hotel. Hello, 753, just inside of Honda. Now, 547, just turn left, find Southland, please. Okay. So the 753 LA Tower, runway 25 left, clear to land number 3, 12, 0, 1, 4, Delta 753 Delta 753 Heavy. Good morning, we pushing it back in. A little uncertain on the push. Flips Pipe, the super chat. Thank you so much, longtime supporter. Richmond should be our next takeoff here on the south side. Delta Airlines flight 753 coming in from Atlanta, Georgia, another A350. Next heavy arrival here on the south side. On the north side, Delta Airlines flight 516 coming in from JFK and a 767 at 300 ER. Speedbird, British Airways flight 281, coming in from London Heathrow on a 777 300ER, five minutes out. Green Air flight 11, the A380 Super. Now just 13 minutes away. See Ed, I'm telling you Ed, see Ed's, Ed's acting strange. If you guys are watching behind the scenes. Ed, come on now, Ed. American 1541, hold short of runway 2 by right of Juliet. Hold short, 2 by right of Juliet. Lufthansa King, flight 452, now just 20 minutes away. KLM, flight 603, a triple seven to 300 ER, coming from Amsterdam, 28 minutes away. I know, Ed's blinking. Blink, blink, blink. Alaska 1128, LA Tower, Kosh Return, control of a heavy Airbus 350. Wind 2013, runway 25 left, clear to we got that Delta A350 up next for arrival here on the south side. As they now 
Tow the 777 off to the remote gates. 450 drill tower, good afternoon. Hold short of runway 25 left, expect the right today for departure. At the right, uh, Fox Rock, watch your 45. And I pass here to Wolf Bravo Heavy. Uh, 25 left and level mark. Up 53 birds, 200 feet off final, short final, 200 feet. Up 1128 birds, short final, 200 feet from a 25 left. Copy. Air can left at 1541, cross 25 right, ground 0.75. 6555 right. 6554, 4, 4 53, cross 25 left, hold for the main 25 right. Roger, cross 25 left, hold short 25 right, question 453. Monty 535, heavy, contact departure. Order departure, Monty 535. Mm -hmm. One Bravo heavy, birds reported on uh, short funnel about 200 feet, from a 25 left, clear to land, one 25012. Moxie is the call sign for Breeze. That was the original name for the airline. They had to change their name because of a hotel chain. I just want to verify you just saw the bird, you did not strike a bird, correct? Says for 753, please say again. Yeah, you said something about birds on final, so I just want to make sure that you just saw the bird, you didn't, you didn't have a bird strike, is that correct? Affirmative, we only saw the bird as far as we know, on about a 200 feet uh, above short final through a 255 left, Delta 75. Okay, thank you for that. Flex at 453, when we 258 Foxtrot, line up away, traffic will cross downfield. It's A350 reporting at birds. Short finals, two five left. Delta 753 heavy at Julia, cross two five right, ground point seven five. Good day. And Julia, clear about two five right, ground. Good day, Delta 753. Spirit wings twenty six ninety nine. Contact still got a departure. Good day. Twenty six ninety nine. Click the departure. Good day. A350 coming in from Atlanta, Georgia. Our next arrival is Speedbird, British Airways Flight 281, coming in from London Heathrow at a 777-300ER. On the Pond Airways Flight 126, coming in from Tokyo Haneda, 787-8 Dreamliner, two minutes out north side. Arrival. Flight 453, RNAV Docker, wind 240 to one tree, runway 2 by way to Fox Trap, look for takeoff. Roger, RNAV and Docker, function 453, clear for takeoff, 25 right. Alaska 1128, right turn hotel number 7. Right turn hotel 7, Alaska 1128. Jeff 2223, behind speed for 25 left. Jeff 2223, LA Tower, caution white turbulence, land 240 at 14, runway 25 left for land. 25 left with land, thanks for the caution, Jeff. Second Speedbird 777-300ER here today. Roger, we understand. Ed, stop flickering. <laughs> Alaska 1128, cross 2 by right, ground 0.75. Cut across 2 by right, ground 0.75. Something tells me the AVL to fly. It's going to take years off my life. Speedbird touching down on the 205 left. It's set up to the north side on the Bond Airways. Streamliner coming up from Tokyo Haneda. Speedbird 21 Bravo Heavy, turn right at Hotel 6. Hotel 6, Speedbird 21 Bravo. 
Two or two one Bravo Heavy at Juliet Cross from the two five right, then contact ground point seven five. Cross two five right at Juliet ground point seven five. Two bird two one Bravo. is sitting over there in her car, dozing off, taking that afternoon nap. You know, this place is a great place for a, na a nap. Got the, the s traffic sounds, the airplane sounds. How many of you guys take a nap with me on in the background? Raise your hand. Ed, seriously, Ed. Sorry. AV Stevie, a member for 23 months, is a silver member since um, almost two years. You sure are, just a month shy. Such a perfect afternoon. Hardly any wind. Got your sunshine. It's dry. How come we couldn't have this on Sunday? This would have been perfect weather for the Sunday show. I believe we had this is the same weather we had yesterday. It was perfect on Monday, too. Daylight dollar short. Story of my life. Ground on the other side, Kevin. I was explaining Sunday earlier about the rain. And, you know, we knew it was going to rain on Sunday. All weather forecasts we looked at said it was going to rain for an hour. One hour didn't say how bad it was going to be. They said. It was going to rain for an hour between noon and one. So I said, all right, that's fine. That's not going to cancel the show. No way. We'll do the show. I'll bring the tarps. I got everything. I had everything <clears throat> prepared for the most part for the rain. And then it started raining right before 7 a.m. and it didn't quit. And that wasn't even in the forecast. So I kept on pushing the show and pushing it, thinking that the rain was going to quit because it wasn't in the forecast. It was forecasted for noon. And it just would not let up. And finally, it got closer to, what, 11 AM or 10? And I said, well, in the next two hours, it's going to be really coming down, or whatever it's Power meant to do. And that's when we said, well, I think it's a lost cause at this point, so we just canceled the show. We hated to do it, but like I said, we could add this weather today. Oh, well, so is life. All right, that brings us to the top of the hour once again. Just after 3 p.m. here in beautiful, sunny Los Angeles, California. You're watching continuous live coverage of LAX plane spotting right here on your home for LAX live streams. That is Airline Videos Live. Today is our Super Tuesday show here on April 16th, 2024. And I'm your plane jockey, Kevin, here at an Imperial Hill. All right, who's ready for another live giveaway? That's coming up this hour. So sit back, relax, take a nap. Oh, Rita's up from her nap. All right, don't take a nap. 
gotta gotta make sure your your hands are all ready for to to type in the code word that is coming up this hour. Pushing back that Fiji A350. That A350 will also be towed off to the remote parking on the northwest corner of the airport. Southwest 802, right turn Hotel 6, cross 2 by right of Julia, contact ground. That is where the All Blacks right Air New Zealand 6, 777 Julia, to 300 is east, off right, to. On the other side, southwest 802, good day. American 1582 LA Terminal 2 by right full length, line up away, traffic crossing. This is the Dreamliner coming in from Tokyo, Haneda. Do have an A380. Korean Air Flight 11 coming up from Seoul, next to Rival on the north side. All right, let's head out to the east. American 1582, RNAV Docker, wind 250 at one tree, runway 25 right, close to take. RNAV Docker, clear for takeoff, 25 right. Another 1729, lost in the sky, runway 25 right, full length, line of the way. First of two uh, A380s line. coming in this hour. Should be seen the Lufthansa King. American 463 LA Tower, wind 25012, runway 25 left, clear to land. Land 25 left, American 463, thank you. American 1480, right turn hotel number 647. 647. Oh, that line gets me every time. <laughs> American 1480 at Juliet, hold short of runway 25 right. Now to 1729, wind 250, one 2 RNAV Docker, runway 25 right, let's take off. RNAV Docker, 25 right, let's take off, 1729. American 1582, contact, soak out departure. 12, 12, 12. 1729, again, RNAV Docker, wind 25 right, let's take off. Upon Airways, the Dreamliner heading into the southeast side of Tom Bradley. That was the United Airlines late 1729 heading to Denver at 737 900ER. Next, heavy arrival on the south side is KLM flight 603 
Triple seven at 300 ER coming in from Amsterdam. The Lufthansa King number three. Number two. For arrival, we also have the big Q, Qatar Cargo, Flight 8105, coming in from Amsterdam. Triple seven at Freighter. Just north of us here. Hans, I'm over for 19 months. It's a golden member. This is from Norway. UPS is my favorite cargo airline in the USA. Good to see you there in Norway, Hans. Dylan, a member for four months. This is Silver Members' is best four months ever. Hashtag AVL for life. Thank you. Every time you guys always use that hashtag, AVL for life, it always reminds me of a promo that we had at Fox here locally when I was shooting the promos for Fox. I had this music. For life, uh-huh. For life, uh-huh. Anyways, Fox 11 for life. So every time you guys say that to me, I'm always thinking of that promo. Right, we do have the Lufthansa King. Out there somewhere, why can't the camera pick it up? There it is. Stacks arrival on two for right. A reminder, we'll be back for our official main show on a Friday, high atop the H Hotel, starting at noon Pacific. We get up close to these A380 arrivals. Of course, last Friday, the airport went into reverse operations about two hours into our live broadcast high atop the H Hotel. That was, uh, that was an interesting day, to say the least. Charlie Romeo, expedite down for seven. I'm going to pull out here for a second as we do have that line. It tends to make my lens go crazy. So that other lens that we had, the Sony 200 to 600 millimeter that I used to use, would allow me to actually stop the focus from readjusting itself, overriding it. It won't let me do that on this one, on the Sigma. The Roman Pop that traffic that departed ahead is to your right there at the Airbus, which means south on offshore. KLM, Flight 603, coming up from Amsterdam. It's our next arrival here on the south side. Right, the King, successful landing there on the north side. Swing over to the east, KLM, flight 603, we'll the second the flight ball, here today, this time a 777 to 300ER coming from Amsterdam.
Okay, left 603, we join Hotel de Juliet, cross 2 by right, ground point 75. Hotel Juliet, uh, cross uh, 255, taking left, left, going up, Hyper wind 25014, runway 25 left, so could take off. Could take off 25 left, RNA Hyper, and then 143, runway 25 right, line up away, traffic cross downfield. Half way 25 right, runway 143. How about Beria heading to the south side, flight 6171, coming to Madrid on an A350. The big Q, Qatar cargo, possibly heading to the north side. Kenneth, a member for nine months, is a gold member, so still happy to be here. Good to hear that, Kenneth. Thank you so much. Roderick Campbell with the Super Chat. Thanks so much, Roderick. I'm pretty much out of money, but you are also kind. I guess I don't care about money. Oh, no, Roderick. <laughs> Was it too much tax? Tax bill too high? <laughs> I was joking earlier about, I did file my taxes yesterday for federal and state, and I owed a lot of money, and I sent it in, and about an hour, two hours later, I went to Trader Joe's to stock up some food for the week, and my debit card was not working. That's the first time that's ever done that. I could not understand it. The guy at the register said, well, just keep on trying. And I did it three times. And each time it said, denied. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. I choked at them and American said, that's never happened Doctor, before. I just filed my taxes off. today and put in a large sum of money to the feds. Maybe they over <laughs> overdraft. I thought for sure something was something horrible had happened. So I'm not quite sure what happened. I got a, a alert from my bank and said, "Were you at Trader Joe's?" Somehow they thought it was fraudulent. I don't. It's never happened before, so I, I don't know if the the tax thing set the bank off. I don't know. It's kind of weird. So I ended up having to pay with a credit card. Eek. <laughs> Never want to pay your groceries with a credit card. Thank you, bye, man. 143. Eva Air Cargo, a 777 freighter flying above us here. We'll be heading to 25 and left. Good afternoon, Radio 61, 71, we are in the Denmark line, 2 5 left. Radio 61, 71, heavy early time, 2 5 left, clear to land, 2 5 0 8 pulling into the gates. Radio 61, 71, it's clear to land, 2 5 left. South 2606, join Hotel to Juliet, cross 2 5 right, ground point 7 5. Hotel to Juliet, give me the rest. Cross 25 right, ground point 75. Have a great day. Cross 25 right, ground 35. Good evening, Southwest 26. Lufthansa King now making his way to the gates of Tom Bradley. <laughs> I don't like American Express. I never have. That's what's kind of stopped me from getting the credit card for Delta, because they only offer American Express. I've just never been a really big fan of American Express. I like the Visa and the MasterCard. I have a FedEx 767 also flying above us here at LAX, but I will stick with this shot. The big Q, Qatar Cargo, the 777 freighter, coming in from Amsterdam, arriving on the north side. Nightbear 6171, heavy just to verify, remain 25 left, clear to land, 25016. 
So if I get the blue card, I get two free backs per flight. Ooh. And that left hand turn onto Lima. You guys want some free swag? No? <laughs> Go give it to him, Rita. I'm sure they want it. We got that next live drawing coming up. Iberia touching down here on the south side and 2-5 left. Fans of the Green Bay Packers, a member for 12 months as a gold member. Kevin and Rudy, thanks for the 12 months. Keep up the good work, and we always look forward to seeing LAX. I know you guys love LAX, and I'm thinking sometimes, why are we, why are we traveling? <laughs> we get to stay here, right? Stay here in the comfort of LAX. No, we got to take the show on the road. That's the fun. You guys enjoy the break from LAX once in a great while. All right, the king making that final turn into the gates of Tom Bradley. Iberia. Flight coming in from Madrid and then A350-900. Yeah, Phoenix is probably the next one on the road before we had the Honolulu, but I got to figure that out. I was going to go next week but I think it might be the week after, if it's not the week after that. So we'll figure something out. I've got a bunch of things kind of brewing with possible travel, so I kind of can't break away next week. Infinite flight. Six zero nine heavy light turn. We two five left. Go to land. Traffic in position. Flash for turbulence. Heavy triple seven. Wind two five zero one six. Go land two five seven. Six zero nine heavy. There you go. Do you know? Do you know about it? Do you know about it? That. 
Oh, okay. It's a flight sim. No, it's all right. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? Oh. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, yeah. What is that? Cargo scan 222 heavy, wind 2016, RNAV hyper, runway 25 left, let's take off. Come on, man. So what does that do? Interesting. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ben, stop talking to me because you're going to convince me. <laughs> Ben's over here showing off his new camera. Just as I was talking earlier about, I'm not going to play that game anymore. I'm not going to get the new uh, best camera. Legend Jane, gifting another 20 Airline Videos Live memberships here today. Thank you so much, Jane. Awesome support. Legend Jane, stand by, Jane. We do have a cargo plane about to take off. No, a China cargo airline flight 222 heading to Shanghai. Jane, thank you so much. Of course, Jane just gifting 20 Airline Videos Live memberships. If you were just gifted a membership, well, you're in luck because we still have that live drawing. Contact departure. Star 8108, heavy 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 Thank you, Chen. LA Tower, uh, 610, heavy. Jensen, member for three months. This is Silver Burma since hi, Kevin. I'm home from school watching AVL. Good to see you, Jensen. Saw Jensen and his family. Up there. JFK. He had a good day at school. In the six way turn, the layout to that 3001. 3001. Sorry, 8105, have to give me a good rate. Please cross 25 left. Try to pull my final. Iberia up there using the north side at gates of Tom Bradley. Right turn here, hotel six, turn left on hotel. All right, I think we need to do our second live giveaway before the Lufthansa Queen starts pushing it back here. Our next prize is this official Airline Videos Live t-shirt. There's a many different colors. You can go check them out at shopavl.com. This could be yours if you are a member and are in the chat. We give you a code word to enter. That is happening Next. Now. And I mean now. <laughs> here are the official rules. You do have to be a member here on Airline Videos Live. We're going to give you a code word that is going to show up on your screen. Enter it just like you see it. Make sure it's all caps, no space, all caps, no space. You need to enter it just really just one time. If you enter it more than five times, then Bob. Bob. Bob will kick you out. He's around here somewhere. Um, so just enter it once, maybe twice, three times, four times if you're Rita, who's extremely bored over here. <laughs> right, Rita? Four times. Rita lives on the edge, I'm telling you. She can't hear me until 15 seconds from now. All right. So once, twice, that's all you have to do. A code word that you're going to see on your screen. Now, the music plays. Stand by. <laughs> <laughs> we got the big queue over here on Alpha. We don't want to miss this. 
That's the flight coming in from Amsterdam. We'll continue on to Chicago O'Hare a bit later. Eva 610 Heavy, no delay to exit. Please turn left at Alpha 8, turn left on Alpha. Left Alpha 8, left All right, we're going to have to delay it just a little bit. We do have Eva Air Cargo, the 777 also touching down here on the south side at Northern Air Cargo. The 767 heading to Honolulu is our next takeoff here on the south side. Flight 81, 8201. I can follow up the rules here, though. So we're going to play a graphic. That graphic has the code word on it. It lasts for about a minute, 45 seconds. We'll come back. We'll announce the winner. The winner will be announced on, by Nightbot in the chat. If that is you, respond and say, I'm here and I accept. And then you're going to send an email to info at airlinevideos.com with a T-shirt. These are true to size t-shirts. If you wear a medium, you're good with a medium, so on and so on and so on. So we need your name, your address, the color and the size of the t-shirt, very important, and a link to your YouTube channel so we can verify it is you. I think that's it. So once this Northern Air Cargo 767 takes off here, we will roll the video. of the rules and I'm sticking to them. Best of luck. Oral count on you. Right so on and so on and so on. All right. Oh, and by the way, with the way so once we announce the winner there in the chat, Nightbot will announce the winner. You have about 15 seconds before I start playing this song. If you don't respond and say I'm here and I accept by the time the song ends, then we will find a new winner. All right. I think that's it. I think we got it. number three or number two. All right. On your mark. Get set. Go. Set. Go. Set. 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 Closer. 
All right. Music officially now over. Let's bring it back here to Imperial Hill. Avery! 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 You are the winner of the t-shirt. Avery, let us know you're in the chat. I'll give you about 15 seconds before we start the music. Yes, you! <laughs> Yes, you, Avery. Oh, well, I didn't even have to do the music. Avery. You're here. Congratulations. Remember to send that email to info at airlinevideos.com. Congratulations, Avery. Like I just mentioned, we will be back on Sunday for more drawings, at least two for the big Sunday show. All you have to do is still be a member. We've had drawings throughout the course of the day. We've had... 10 giveaways with infinite flight this morning. We had 10 winners. So we've had a total of 12 giveaways here today. That's a lot. So Air France, the Sky Team livery, heading up to the north side. I'm getting a little freaked out about the queen with the tail to the south. That could mean a north side at takeoff as well. Well, Dave. <laughs> Dave. Dave with a $1,500 super chat through PayPal. My gosh, Dave. That's amazing support of the channel. Thank you so much, Dave. I've, I've gone into the PayPal. No Roger, comment from like Dave. Dave. Bravo, Dave. Roger, bye -bye. My gosh. Tremendous support from Dave once again. Thank you so much, Dave. Network, the Super Chats, and the Baskin Robbins gum ice cream. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ed, Ed, I'm sorry, Ed, I don't know what to do with Ed. All right, what do you guys think it's going to be? Is the Queen going to make a U-turn and head back here to the south side, or is it going to be another north side takeoff on 2-4 right? That is where Air France Flight 23 heading back to Paris and the 777-300ER in the Sky Team livery is currently at be the next takeoff there on the north side. I agree. I think there's a little too many north side at takeoffs. Yeah, I'm aware of BTS having issues here today. And, and I don't know. with a reverse psychology comment. <laughs> All right, the Sky Team 777 had taken off there on the south side. It's 
Flight 23 heading back to Paris. All right, the queen that should start her taxi here shortly. I don't know, it's 50 50. I'm getting nervous. Something tells me she's going back up to the uh, north side here today. A week ago Sunday, wasn't it a north side takeoff on a Sunday? The last time we were here at Imperial Hill. And and the next time I'm up at the H Hotel, she'll take off here on the south side. What I mean about the link is a link, a web address to a YouTube account so we can verify the, the, a YouTube account to your name and profile photo. And the reason why we do that is because, believe it or not, there are some people that say, I'm the one that won the prize. And I say, oh, really? Well, where's your link to your YouTube profile so we can make sure it is you? And they usually don't add a profile link. It's just an added way to make sure that we're giving out the prize to the correct winner. Well, you know, Ed was going to be our saving grace when it came to making our life much easier for on the flies. And I got news for you, Ed. Not looking good, Ed. <laughs> so we got to put Ed to the test this week. I'm going to come out probably not tomorrow, but Thursday. Today's kind of a longer day, so I need to a half a day to recover. <laughs> so we'll probably be out here on Thursday, probably around noon here at Imperial Hill. We'll do a little AV on the fly as we'll put Ed to the real test. At 2347, RNAV Docker, wind 240 at 16 from the 2 by rate. It seems like it's taken the Queen a little bit longer to start the taxi here. I don't know if something's going on. Is she moving? Looks like she's moving. All right, well, that's the first step for potentially heading to the south side, possibly. Now, she needs to make a left-hand turn onto Lima, not the right-hand turn. Looking to me like it's a full left-hand turn. I think we're good for a south side yeah, takeoff. All right, guaranteed south side takeoff. Making that left hand turn. Speedster D. Remember, for 22 months, it's a silver Mercedes. This is Jane, Ed, Dave, I'm sorry, Jane, Dave, Ed, Woohoo, and Wee Wee. <laughs> All 
Yes, awesome support. Except from Ed. Sorry, Ed. Oh, you're in the black again, Ed. Come on now, Ed. Sorry, guys. All right, it sounds like they're going to cross the queen. There's nothing lined up on either side. are back. Did you get your luggage? Which one? Oh, you think it's here? Okay. Here, I thought you were going to tell me you had to wait for 269. <laughs> What's that? Oh. All right. All right, the Queen now crossing over the two south runways. Late. <laughs> like, almost three hours late, yeah. I think there was, sounds like there was a storm or something in Dubai. All right, the Queen now crossing over 25 right, should be crossing over 25 left. Number 543 Golf Green, that's going to be a moment of decision. We're waiting on the uh, uh, crossing downfield. 25 right, a box shot, line up and wait. Okay, line up and wait. What's that? 25 right, box shot, three American A321 touching down on 25 left. That is what's holding the Queen from crossing over 25 left. Lots of cargo jet airways heading to Hamilton, a 767 300ER converted passenger plane, now cargo plane. Should be taking off on 25 left coming up. Ready 2152, turn right here to Hotel 6, hold short of 25 right at Juliet. Hotel 6, hold short of 25 right at Juliet. 53 Golf, Lima, wind 240 at 15, Barnab Docker, we're going to 25 right at intersection, Fox Shot, supposed to take off. We're going to take off on 25 right. Three golf Lima, what's your destination? Uh, Modesto, three golf Lima. Five four three golf Lima, squawk two zero two three, please two zero two three. We're squawking two zero two three, sir. Three golf Lima. Five seven zero, we're still on now. Doctor, one two four zero one six, we're keep our right of contact with the pickup. Doctor, two five seven. Twelve, twenty one, twenty five. That's twelve twenty one, always down. Two five left, third land, cross turn to city by any triple seven, we're two four zero one six. At 
2152, cross 25 right, ground point 75. Go to cross 25 right and ground point 75, American Airlines. 70 with no contact. Department. All right, continuing down at Alpha, we'll head to 25 left. 70 Hotel, or 70 November. 70 November, uh, departure. Medic 23 Heavy, right turn, hotel number 7. Okay, uh, looks like uh, Hotel 7, American Airlines, 223 Heavy. Just said the American Airlines, 223, coming in from Miami, Florida, 777 at 200ER. This flight was really late as well. Originally scheduled for 1152 arrival, landing at 349. It's the day of delays. Los Angeles Tower, good afternoon. It's the Alaska 1354, second at 25 left. Alaska 1354, late tower, intro of the hip, 1757, wind 24014, runway 25 left, clear to land. Okay, cross my turbulence and clear to land 25 left, Alaska 1354. Uh, Queen continues down Alpha, heading to 25 left. The ship seeing that cargo jet 767 also taken off here shortly. Hawaiian Airlines Flight 10 coming up from Honolulu, A33200. This is the flight that Rudy and I will be coming back on on a Tuesday. Will AVL be out here to capture our arrival? <laughs> no. Oh, Ed. What's going on, Ed? Wait, Ed really just gave up, didn't he? Ed is very buggy. Buggy, okay, so Ed. Tower, you get there. 815 is 2,900. Speed 180. So Emirates, flight 215, coming up from Dubai, the A380 Super, still an hour and one minute out. Originally scheduled for a 2.15 p.m. arrival, now estimated now at 4.53. Asiana A380 Super, also delayed here today by an hour. Asiana Flight 204, now estimated time of arrival is 5 p.m., originally scheduled for 4 p.m. Our Super Tuesday. Delay Tuesday. That is United Airlines flight 1221 and coming from Honolulu at that 757 at 300. Cargo jet 938 heavy like that. LA Towers, uh, today cargo jet 938 heavy. Rotate all the points, uh, quite fast. Rotate 938 heavy, how long to get the numbers for 25 rain? Not even 5 minutes for cargo jet 938. Okay, well, if you want 25 left, it's going to be a while. Just hold for the Foxtrot. All right, so that is the Queen. Jet, believe Cargo Jet is going to take off before the Queen. Have the to verify wind 24015, runway 25 left, clear to land. 25 left, clear to land, Hawaii. Cole, a member for one month, is a gold member. Thank you so much, Cole. This is I'm glad to be spending my afternoon watching AVL one month and many more to go. Thank you, Cole. 
Eta, the A330, now pushing back. Now, if it was the A350, I would say go for the expand the runway. 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 But with the A330neo, I'm going to tell you, expect that as a south side takeoff on 25 right. I could be wrong. I don't know. That's what my gut is saying. Three thousand likes. Thanks, you guys. Uh, look down to four five seven. Okay, look down to four five seven. Heavy, be ready to go. I got uh, two more rounds. Oh, is Ed still uh, not behaving? Ahead. Boy, Ed. Sorry, you guys. Latest information: Yankee current LA altimeter three zero. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe we won't have AVL on the fly this week. <laughs> White Airlines Flight 10, A330, number two for arrival here on the south side. Ben! Ben! Do you want any more cards? Do you want any more of these? Has Noah destroyed them? <laughs> What's that? I still don't have the third one because the printer keeps on destroying it. <laughs> well, a plenty. Plenty, plenty. How's it going? Alpha 7 in left on Alpha. Expect a 8 to 10. Charlie, tried to pull the position. Heavy bone 747. I think it's too heavy. Yeah. I think the A3, I don't, I'm yet to see an A330 take off from the north side. It's too heavy. Left on Alpha, stay with you to the ramp. Is that the A3? Yesterday, yeah. I don't know, I'm, I don't know how I feel about it. It looks dumpy. Let's dump it compared to, to that. Yeah, but that livery makes it look even more dumpy. <laughs> I hate to say that because I love that livery, but it doesn't look as good. And here's our flights. Ten coming back from Honolulu. So the point of one of the points of going to Honolulu was to basically take you guys along on the new Dreamliner with Hawaiian. And of course, Rudy and I have never been on an A330 before, so I wanted to make sure we could have taken the Dreamliner back, but I said, you know what, Rudy, let's let's take the A330 back because I've never been on an A330 before, and of course, never with Hawaiian, so we're taking the Dreamliner there and the A330 coming back. Okay, we got the Lufthansa Queen lining up on 25 left. Down to four five seven heavy, RNAV two hyper, wind two three zero one five, runway two five left, clear for takeoff. Down to four five seven, RNAV two hyper, runway two five left. All right, the Queen that lined up, ready to go. Flight four five seven heading back to Frankfurt there in Deutschland. All right, she is now starting rolling it down to five left. Delta twenty eight ten, can you accept runway two five right for arrival? Uh, we can do that. Delta twenty eight ten. Twenty ten, change to runway two five right. Wind two four zero one five. Runway two five right. Clear to land. Clear to land two five right. Delta twenty eight ten. 2810 heavy, 
767 will depart the parallel contra for turbulence. Heavy 767 holding position. Caution, my turbulence. Wind 24015, runway 25 left, clear to land. All right, what do you think ETA's going to do? What's up, Jordan? Did you see how far out Emirates is? Five. Like three hours late. Need the two fives? Yeah. Two five right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Jordan over here thinks Ita A330 Neo definitely head the two five right. Yes. You know, it's interesting. Sometimes we see that Delta A330 Neo that heads to Tokyo Haneda oh, sometimes say, uses two five left, left, left traffic, versus two five left. right. I don't expect that here today with the ETA. But I do expect a U-turn and heading it for a south side takeoff. What you also see if there's SAS, the A330-300, that should also head here to the south side. Like I mentioned to Ben, our friend over here, I have yet to see an A330-300 300 or NEO take off on 24 right. I have seen the A330 200s. We have seen the Hawaiian take off there on the north side, but I have yet to see a NEO or a 300 take off on 24 right. Those have all pretty much come to the south side. Obviously, once 24 left reopens, they'll start heading back up to the north side. Cargo Jet Airways Flight 938 heading to Hamilton. Converted 767-300ER, 28 years of age. This is the all kind of like more white, plain Jane-ish livery. It's lined up here on the south side. We'll be taking off on 25 left. Let's see what Ita does here. Should be a U-turn and making a left-hand turn onto Lima. I think this is what has brought a lot of the local plane spotters out here today. Hopes to... Uh, 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 everyone's upset. They're all upset at me. See, even Jordan called it. He thought it was south side. They could have made the wrong turn. Could have been a left on Lima instead of making it a right. They could go up here to Delta and make a left-hand turn. There's still hope. It's not over yet. Right? Oh, Jordan Sandy bets left on the Delta. You think? Really? Well, Jordan's over here. He's wishful thinking. I don't know. Let's see. Why would it that have made a right-hand turn onto Lima instead of a left-hand turn? That doesn't make any sense. There's nothing out there. Five five at a tower, Roger from Fox Shop. Proceed onto runway two. Actually, come back. I'm Joe Five from Fox Shop. Proceed onto runway two five right for run section. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Jordan, I can't say that. Now, you're from over there. I can't. <laughs> I don't know. Do they? No? <laughs> Jordan's over here cracking jokes. I can't repeat on the show. I don't know. I think that's going to be a right hand turn on to Echo up there as SAS starting taxi. That should be a left on the Lima. All right. Well, what's going on here? Really? SAS? See, okay, hold on a second here. Hold the phone. You got two A330s that both made a right-hand turn. Oh, Ita making a right-hand turn. Well, well, well. By like 54, traffic on a seven-mile final runway. Two five left runway. Well, I was wrong on that one. Both A330s, looks like they're both heading up to the north side. Judy, a member for two months, is a gold member, so it's great to be a member here. Love to stream, Kevin. Good to have it, Judy. Thank you. Though now I'm starting to really feel that I'm not a good plane jockey, because I just told you guys that, that both those planes were going to come to the south side, and looks like they're both heading to the north side. Pull my plane and jockey card away. <laughs> just, rip. just take your plane and jockey trading card. Just like this one. And just zip. Uh-oh. Now I landed on the ground. Now I'm in trouble, Jordan. <laughs> ah, it deserves to be in the trash, right? All right. Take my plane and jockey card away. I can't even get it right. All right, so both heading to the north side. Well, we'll be back on the north side on Friday, high atop the H Hotel. Emirates now just 43 minutes away. Estimate time of arrival 451. All right, I'm going to turn the ATC to the north side. Sorry, Ed is still goofing up. Oh, there's where Tater Todd went. He went to the north side. There's a long line for takeoffs there on the north side. You see, there's nothing going on here on the south side. Sorry, you guys made the wrong call. Made the wrong call. Should have came here to the south side. Plenty of open space here on the two fives. I 
if I should move my car. I think I'm going to move my car. Frontier 4594, <laughs> Alpha Alpha, crossing my 24 left, exit straight ahead, bridge route, ground point 75. There's space the right behind me. I think I'm going to move my car. Rita, I'm going to move my car. Rise Still on the north side, waiting that long line. Bad call, I'm telling you. So earlier today, uh, Might as well fill the time with something. Right, Earlier today, we had Dan Fabra, with Infinite right, Flight. Delta, That's an awesome app Delta, you can have no, in your Delta, iPhone, 49, your Android 46, phone, and your right, iPad right, as well. It's a flight miles. sim yeah, app. Right, 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 Some amazing right, 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 graphics, amazing right, planes right, on that app as well. You, we had Delta, Dan, he was here with me. Uh, we talked about the app, his love for aviation. Didn't sound like he was much of a plane spotter, though. Not much of a plane spotter, but he loves be love to be a pilot and loves aviation just as much so he was here with me this morning we gave out i think 10 10 30 month free of the pro version of infinite flight in the description of this video here on youtube go down all the way toward the bottom you will find a link you gotta make sure you do it on your iphone or iPad or Android phone, you click on that link that will take you to the App Store, will automatically sign you up for three days, a test trial of the pro version of Infinite Flight. After the three days, it does renew at $10, so make sure, if you want to just test it out, make sure if it's not your cup of tea, uh, make sure to cancel it before the three days, but uh, give it a try. I... <laughs> I was on it last night, and I don't have too much time to, to play with it, but I, I tried it again last night, and it automatically took me to the Westgates over here. It was in a Delta A321, and I did the whole pushback and all that jazz. But there's so many different camera angles, it's kind of fun just to kind of look around LAX. So anyway, there's a special code for you if you want to go check it out for three days for the Pro version. Uh, we gave about 10, 30, 1, 30 days of test of the pro version as well. So if you're into that type of thing, check it out. I'm sure you guys probably already know about it. It's a pretty popular app with many aviation. Yeah, I know. I know BTS is all glitchy. I'll probably just turn it off.
Frontier. Plate 45 hit 94 coming from SFO on that A320 Neo in the Blanco, the Polar Bear livery. Ita, Flight 621, A330 Neo rolling down at 24 right there on the north side. There she goes, back to Rome. Tower Sky 4874, RNAP Zulu 24A. SAS number, number two, two for takeoff right, there on the north side. We do have British Airways flight 282. That's the 777 at 300 that you see right there on the corner of Tom Bradley lighting up. We're heading to London Heathrow. Will that be a south side takeoff? Also, Virgin Atlantic flight eight heading back to London Heathrow in A350-1000. She is up there on the north side of Tom Bradley. I believe that she is usually a south side at takeoff. China Cargo Airlines, like 230, heading back to Shenzhen, a 777 freighter heading to the two fives here on the south side. Current time is just after 4 p.m. Did I not do the top of the hour again? I don't think I did. <laughs> Let me do the official top of the hour. Just after 4 p.m. here in beautiful, sunny Los Angeles, California. You are watching continuous live coverage of LAX plane spotting right here on your home for LAX live streams. That is Airline Videos Live. Today is our Super Tuesday show here on April 16th, 2024. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. I'm telling you, Ita and SAS, you had the whole south side if you wanted it. Ah, forget about it. 
We'll catch him next time. All right, as we continue on here, we still have a couple of A380 arrivals. I don't think that we're going to see any more A380 takeoffs here on the south side, but let me double check on the Lufthansa King. That departure time, I think, is pretty close to the Emirates arrival. It's SAS heading back to Copenhagen on that A33300. Navy 932, heavy contact departure. The big Q. Second A350-1000 now pushing it back. It's flight 740 heading to Doha. Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. He gave them all goodie bags and everything. No, did he? I thought he brought them with him. Got some cards? Did I give you cards? No, I didn't give you cards. My friend Steve, older Steve, one of the plane spotters here, was in Miami last week. And I gave him a bunch of goodie bags to take with him, and apparently he was talking to a bunch of people, AVL fans, down there in Miami, handing out the goodie bags. a flight heading to Shenzhen. All right, we have a, a lot of heavies all of a sudden pushing back. The big Q, Speedbird, and it looks like Virgin, the A350-1000, heading here to the south side. So if I'm doing the count, if Speedbird does indeed continue, which more than likely sh uh, it will, to 2.5 at right, we should have three Heavy takeoffs here on the south side, including two A350-1000s. Up next for takeoff, Spirit Airlines, flight 2111 heading to Houston, Texas, and the A320neo. What time are we finishing? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, the Lufthansa King taking off at six. Yeah, that's a little too too late for me today. Probably around five-ish. So I acted like today was a Sunday show. I got up at three o'clock. Usually get up at three thirty, but I, for whatever reason, I got up at three o'clock today. Had my coffee. Left the house a little after 6 a.m. With that being said, 
By the time the Lufthansa A380 takes off here today, it's delayed. I would have already been here at Imperial Hill, standing in the same spot for 12 hours. <laughs> All right, so we got the Virgin A350-1000 heading to the south side. Ed, how you doing? Wait, so now Qantas Flight 11 coming in from Sydney, the A380, is now scheduled at 5.20. I, why, Qantas continues, continues to change their whole schedule. Just last week, Qantas Flight 11 was a 2 p.m. arrival. Now it's 5.20. Can't keep up. Should be seeing the taxi beginning for Speedbird and the A350-1000 with the big Q. Air 77, we'll go for the tower, hold short, we're two, five left. All right, I think Ed finally gave up. I'm going to I'm going to stop the BTS stream. Sorry guys. Costa Rica 5192 exit at hotel 7 and then at uh, Lima cross from the 25 right exit to the head for the kilo one. Hey, hotel 7 uh, Lima cross from the 25 uh, right straight ahead Costa Rica. Uh, 5192. Challenge 488. LA charge traffic in position. 230 at 13 run 25 left. Good one. All right, good one. 25 left. Southwest 488. All right, sorry, I had to end the BTS feed. Ed was just acting up, and it didn't look like he was getting any better. Next takeoff is Delta Airlines Flight 1340 heading to Minneapolis in a 737-900ER.
I just don't think Ed is that reliable overall. Back to the drawing board on AVL on the fly, I think. <laughs> Down two encoders in just a year. Hey, what's up, Jeb? Jeb in the chat. Jeb Brooks. Good to see you guys. Doing excellent work on the YouTube. All right, so speed burn making that left hand turn. Should be the same for the big Q. We also have a Norse heading back to London Gatwick. The Dreamliner now pushing back to the gates of the West Gates. Also, have Air China Cargo, Flight 3126, heading to Shenzhen, a 777 freighter, also lighting up. Flight to Minneapolis, now taking off on 25 right. Oh, yeah. Jeb and Suzanne, I loved your video of the eclipse on the southwest. That was that was excellent. It was a quick turn, and I like that. It was good. Southwest Airlines flight 5356 heading to Dallas Love Field at 737. Max 8, now take it off. All right, so we have a parade of heavies heading down to 25 right. That includes version A350-1000, this big Q, Qatar Airways A350-1000, Speedbird 777-300ER. United Airlines flight 21 to 46 and it did Denver that A320. Right up next, Virgin A350-1000. Okay, if you guys are new to the stream, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're liking today's broadcast, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're all of the above, make sure your notifications are all set. Because we might. <laughs> I felt more confident about an AVL on the fly stream earlier in the morning. We might have an AVL on the fly Thursday. I was announcing Wednesday, Thursday. I think I'm going to have a little, a little, I need a little extra time to get Ed in shape for a Thursday AVL on the fly. So I'm going to need an extra day. So we'll count on Thursday for the AVL on the fly as we will <laughs> hope and pray that Ed works. I'm not feeling too good about it yet.
Bravo 40, and Quebec starting to see fire right ground, point 75, Bravo 40. Okay, and Quebec, we're going to be right, point 75, that's where it's at, 40. So we're going to be right, point 75, that's where it's at, 40. Flight 8 heading back to London Heathrow. Next takeoff is JetBlue Airways Fleet 1124. It's an A321 Neo heading to JFK. You can only imagine. I love these A321 Neos with JetBlue. <laughs> The mint suite, some of the best first class seats I have ever been on. And I can't say I've been on too many, so it's not saying much. But for transcontinental travel between L.A. and New York, I highly suggest it. It's usually about half, if not more than half the cost of a Delta One first class ticket. Andrew Clark with the $10 Super Chat. Thank you so much, Andrew. Hey, Kev, tuning in to the sounds of AVL Super Tuesday on my drive home from a round of golf. Looking forward to seeing all the places you're heading to this spring and this summer. Does that mean you're listening to K E V N F M DJ Jetsy Kev spinning all the hits at LAX? <laughs> you guys are listening in your car. I feel like I'm a radio station. Yeah, we got a big schedule coming up. We sure do. A lot of planning involved. First big trip of the spring. We'll be uh, Hawaii by plane. Now we should be going to Phoenix in the next couple of weeks. Neo heading to JFK. Is UK still in the cards? Um, not for kind of what we're talking about here. It's anything can happen. Now, I think in order to go to the UK, this summer or fall or spring, I think it would have to be in a BTS opportunity. We're obviously too busy with regular travel, spring and, and summer. Yeah, oh, Rudy's in the chat. Yeah, we did some rough planning. <laughs> that was pretty rough. All right, so we have the big Q, Qatar Airways Flight 740 heading to Doha. The A350-1000 should be the next heavy takeoff on 25 right. Air China Cargo Flight 3126 heading to Shenzhen. A triple seven freighter sounds like it's heading to 25 left. And British Airways Flight 282 heading back to London Heathrow at a triple seven at 300 ER. Number two for takeoff. On that two five right. Oh no, I didn't do the global entry. Oh, oh, that is something I got to finish up tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> right, It looks like Norse heading to the north, of course. 
Center Freight 3126 Heavy, Arnav Piper with 23203, we'll make 25 Got that 777 freighter up next for takeoff. Oh, look at this. Virgin Atlantic Fleet 141. They brought back the third flight of the day. A350 1009 minutes out. Emirates Flight 215 coming up from Dubai. The A380 Super now to 16 minutes away. Air China, cargo, triple seven freighter now rolling down the two five left. Right up next, two five right, Speedbird, British Airways. I'm sorry, the big Q up first, heading to Doha, flight seven at four zero, and the day three fifty one thousand. Also have Eva Air, flight 12, a 777 at 300ER, about to arrive on the north side. The big Q now rolling down at 25 right. It's United 1403 is outside of Honda, 25 left. United 2403, we're going to 25 left, right? Clear to land, 25 left, 2403. We're going to go to the heavy, we're not talking. We're going to go to the heavy, we're not talking. We're going to go to the heavy, we're not talking. Speedbird up next for a south side takeoff on 25 right. Eva, triple seven, arriving on the north side on 24 right. out of here all right good luck nice to see you guys good luck <laughs> see you guys right, jordan's off to go grab the bags off that early british airways flight the plane just leaving 
Buckeye Traveler 56, a member for 13 months. This is Silver Member. This is Kevin. Thank you for another great AVL today. Well, my pleasure. Like I said, we'll be back on a Friday. If not sooner, we'll see how things work out with Ed. Emirates just off the coast. We'll be arriving nine minutes on the north side. All right, 2834 on that docker, 24 13 There it is, the Emirates. Flight coming up from Dubai, flight 215, running really late here today. Just 40 and 90 meter right turn on the hotel and then go down the Gulf. Right turn to the hotel, down the Gulf. 40 and 90, Golf cross, running 25 right, then ground point 75. Golf cross 25 right, then contact ground for Taylor. So again, Emirates, Flight 215, coming up from Dubai, the A380 Super, originally supposed to arrive at 2.15 this afternoon. Now estimated time of arrival is 4.53. Okay. I think that will be our last flight of the stream here today. Virgin Atlantic, flight 141, coming from London Heathrow and an A350-1000, just a minute out from touching down on the north side, 24 right. Second Virgin, A350 flight of the day. Yeah, 2403 at Juliet Cross, missy 5 right, contact ground point 75. Okay, cross 25 right at Juliet, ground point 75, there's side at 2403. 
Go cap. United Airlines flight 2403 coming up from Newark now crossing over at 25 and right. It's a 29 year old 757 and 200. American uh, 1504 inside GG. Rob H. with a $7.87 super chat. Thanks so much, Rob. Okay. Rob says, great show as always, American Kevin. Tell you, all this airplane viewing isn't helping my bank account with my ever increasing model plane collection. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, they keep on coming out with even better models every month. It's like coming out with new, greater, better cameras, right? What you end up buying now, Rob? Purple This is Eva Air Flight 12 in the older livery. Looks like she is heading to the southeast side of Tom Bradley. Have a Delta 767 on the taxiway Kilo heading here to the south side. Delta Airlines flight 763 heading to JFK and the 767 at 300 ER, 33 years of age. Hi. Nice to see you. Oh, what's your name? Where, what part of Germany? Oh, okay. You just get here. On your vacation. All right. Did you race over here thinking you're going to miss me? <laughs> oh, no. Well, usually it would be, right? Oh, you too. Oh boy, was this yesterday? Oh, today. Yeah, we, uh, we had some other friends that had the same issue. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, geez. Would you like some stickers? And there's your, your trading cards as well. It's nice to meet you. How long are you here for? How long are you going to be in town for? Okay. Oh, wow. You got a big trip coming up then. Boy, oh, boy. All right, nice to meet you. Friends from Germany. <laughs> racing over here. He said, I thought you were at the H. He was racing over here for his trading cards. That's the Emirates. Play 215 coming up from Dubai. Next arrival there on the north side.
South is 858 Tower to shoot by right, my boy. Way to the right, South is At the 426, hold short of runway 25. Move down to Hotel 9, exit Hotel 9, and hold short of runway 25, right after the red. Hold short of 25, right after the red. Hotel 9, over 426. Southern JPD, don't have to hop here with 24013, runway 25, right, sir, to take off. Doctor, sir, to take off, right, right. Snow cap mountains there in the background. Kilo 18 LA Tower, wind 2413, wind 25 left, there's left. 25 left, there's left, long 18. Double watch, 15, we reduced the fire, now you're fine, I challenge your half-mile fire, 18, 1,000, we're next. Tower, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, Got the A and A Dreamliner now pushing them back. We'll be heading back to Tokyo Haneda. Listen, you guys, you know, I, I feel like I gotta say something here because what you all know if you've been part of this channel for a very long time, you know we used to do 14 hour live streams. We did that one time and I pretty much almost killed myself that day. It's not smart to do that. We've done upwards of 12, we've done 11 hours, we've done 10. This today, we're going on nine hours. Now, that is a lot. Nine hours of constant movement, constant standing. It takes a toll on your plane jockey. It takes a toll on anybody. It doesn't matter who you are. So I guess my, my point of this is there are other live streamers currently who are going beyond, and I mean beyond. It's not smart. And I personally have to be smarter about how much time I stand out here doing this. I <laughs> told myself a long time ago, Kevin, you got to start pull, pulling back a little bit. You cannot be out here for 10 hours on a Tuesday or on a Friday. Sunday, the big Sunday show, that's a little bit different. You got Rudy out here. Um, yeah, we got the 24-hour live stream coming up in mid-June. That's a whole different story. I prepare for that. Um, but you got to be smart about this because you certainly, you don't want me to burn out and you don't want me physically to burn out and so um, that's all I, I just I know I think there's some expectations now that we're gonna be out here for 12 hours a day and that's just not gonna happen um, on this channel so I just needed to say that <laughs>
Yeah, the Emirates A380 now heading here to the south side. We'll head and join the Lufthansa A380 and the Korean Air A380 sitting there on the southwest corner of Tom Bradley. Oh, Brandon, I went to Trader Joe's yesterday. <laughs> American 407 LA Tarkon, 407 Air France, flight 24, coming up from Paris. 777 at 300 ER. Next arrival here on the south side. And an Air Tahiti Nui Dreamliner heading for his south side takeoff. It looks like A&A, &A, unless it's going to be making a U-turn, heading to the north side. And that's going to be a U-turn. All right, we also have another A380. Okay, no need to stop there. Continue the end, please. All right, all the way it's the the Asiana A380 Super now in the downwind leg. This flight also running about an hour late here today. I wait another one for a down two point uniform. Airbus two point uniform heavy contact round one two one point seven five. Airbus two uh this is great by the That's not my traffic, you need the contact round. United 564 LA Tower, wind 24013, runway 25 left to land. And the Emirates will be making that left hand turn on American to Taxiway Lima. That's a 763 heavy, full length runway 25 right, line up and wait. Line up and wait, 25 right, uh, full length, so Matty Riv, a member for. 12 months as a platinum member says congratulations you managed to keep me here for 12 months question i still don't have a face for tater tot has departure ever done an interview with avl in one of the streams no he has not and i tried to get him to do a podcast actually later tater reached out to tater tot Follow me here. The two taters talk to each other and later Tater asked Tater Todd, Kevin wants to do a podcast with you. Would you like to do that? And th later Tater told me that Tater Todd said he'll think about it. So then that one day high atop the H Hotel, Tater Todd got on ATC and gave me a shout out. And it was kind of weird because at the same time, I, it was around the same time I had asked about the podcast and he 
without even hearing me say anything about it, because I said, well, what about the podcast? And he responded as if he was actually listening to me, and he wasn't listening to me. It was just Second coincidence idea, like that he answered my question, and he said something like, I'll think about it, but I'm really not interested. I, it was a roundabout question or an answer to the question. But I never heard anything back, so I would assume he's pretty much said no to the podcast, unfortunately. It doesn't mean that it will never happen. But no, there is no face to the tater tot. Maybe he'll go back and watch this live stream later, tater. And he'll see that I'm asking the question again, and maybe he'll reach out to later Tater. And the two Taters will talk once again, and they'll finally make a decision and grant me the podcast, which we all want so desperately. Elias Neo, a member for 12 months. It's a silver member. This is just like that. It's been a year. Goes by fast, I'm telling you. All right, that officially takes us at the top of the hour once again. Just after 5 p.m. here in beautiful Los Angeles, California, you are watching continuous live coverage of LAX plane spotting right here in your home for LAX live streams. That is Airline Videos Live. Today is our Super Tuesday show here on April 16th, 2024. And I am your plane jockey, Kevin, here at Imperial Hill. All right, we have a few more takeoffs. I can't leave until we get those two takeoffs. Dreamliners here on the south side. So stick around. We got a few more. Oh, I also have an A380 arrival on the north side. But stick around. We're not done just yet. Indy Plane Spotter 127 with the $2 Super Chat. Thank you so much. This is Kevin. I'm coming to Los Angeles on June 14th on flight 1899. I believe that's United, isn't it? June 14th. Hey, that's the 24-hour live stream weekend. I guess we'll see you there. Brian Henry, back with the $5 Super Chat. Thanks so much, Brian. Get some rest, Kevin. Nine hours of plenty and also no DFW this year. I think it's okay if not because Honolulu sounds fantastic. Yeah, I don't think, unfortunately, I don't think. Well, actually, I take that back. I take it back. Brian, I think there was a thought may, maybe a possibly of me alone coming out there in the fall. Definitely not going to happen during the summer. And I think we're a little too, there's too much going on between now and summer. So fall, possibly, I will get back out there. You guys, there's too many of you guys out there in Texas that want me and Rudy. But it'd be much easier for me to come out. I promise I'll get back out there. Hello, Branson, if you're watching. All right, Air Tahiti Nui, Flight 7, heading to Papete, 787-9 Dreamliner, now rolling down at 25 right. On the pond airways, Flight 125, heading back to Tokyo Haneda, 787 8 Dreamliner. Next stop for takeoff. Any Paul 125 Heavy LA Tower, traffic will cross down field, runway 25 right, line of wait. Dollar two five right, nine up on a race, but it's all one twenty five heavy. Nine five sixty four cross on the two five right ground point seven five. Not the fourteen fifty nine feet of tight line, that is crossing the two five right to the Right, ground up there, 
Asiana Flight 204, number two for arrival on the north side. The UPS Flight 2900 coming in from Louisville, Kentucky. It's the next arrival here on the south side on 25 left. Ready for 125 heavy on that doctor, wind 24012, runway 25 right, full length, lifting up. Runway 25 right, travel take off, arm up to doctor, order for 125 heavy. Camera 6261, LA tower at the full length, runway 25 right, line up and wait, doctor, wait, careful. Runway 25, line up and wait, full length, it was 6261. 6261, 25 right, runway 25 right, line up and wait. Runway 25 right, line up and wait. Sky west, 6261. I should exit at Alpha 7. Very rare for it to come all the way down to Alpha 8, let alone to Lima. At the ANA Dreamliner now rolling down at 25 right, heading back to Tokyo Haneda. UPS 2900 heavy, turn left at Alpha 8, turn left on Alpha, contact ground point 75. Left on Alpha 8, left on Alpha, ground point 75, UPS 2900 heavy. UPS went all the way to Alpha 8. Asian Alpha Flight 204, the, the delayed A380 flight coming in from Seoul. Next arrival there on the north side. Skyway 6261, RNF Docker, wind 23012, runway 25 right, quick pickup. RNAV Docker, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff, Skyway 261. Yeah, at 1831, LA Tower, runway 25 right, line up and wait. 25 right, line up and wait, at Triple seven now taking off. A 
Achilles 603 Heavy RNF Docker Wind 24012 rolling to five right. That's the triple seven heading to Honolulu. Back sec off La uh, La Lawn Airlines, flight 603. Heading to Santiago, 787-9 and Dreamliner. I believe that's Latam. Right, ground one two one point seven five. At Golf uh, Cross for uh, runway two five right and ground seven five. Scott forty eight seventy eight. United nine thirty five heavy at Juliet Cross one two five right ground one seven five. Cross seven five right. Juliet heavy contact us departure good flight. Departure good day thank you. All right, guys, I think that is going to do it. Indy Plane Spotter 127 back with the $2 Super Chats is American Flight 1899. All right. We're coming up for the 24 hour live stream. All right, I think that is going to do it for us here today, you guys, before we take off here. I'd like to give a shout out to our Emerald and Diamond members here on the channel. Flight for stopping by here today. It was a lot of fun catching up with him and handing out a bunch of prizes to a bunch of you guys throughout the course of the day. It was very fun. So again, thanks to Infinite Flights, Dan. Hope you have a great flight back to London a bit later on that A380. Thanks you guys for tuning in. Thanks you guys for your awesome support as always. Oh, Rita's just driving away. Bye, Rita. <laughs> Really, she's just, bye. Rita's leaving. All right, bye Rita. Good to see you. All right. <laughs>
they're all leaving. You guys are all leaving me. All right. Thanks, you guys, for your awesome support. All of you, tremendous support as always. Couldn't have do it. We cannot do it without your help. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for great mods. Always doing a great job as well. All right. So here is the plan for the rest of the week. And I don't know. He looked a little... Uh, not doing too well here today. So I've got to work with Ed tomorrow and see if, even if it's worth coming out to do a stream on Tuesday, uh, th sorry, Thursday as an AVL on the fly. So I'm going to work with Ed tomorrow, see if he's a little bit more stable with some different cameras. If that is the case, then we'll be back out here on Thursday midday for some AVL on the fly. If not, if Ed is just not going to work, then we'll be back high atop the itch until on Friday at noon Pacific for our normal Friday show. And of course, we'll be back here next Sunday, this coming Sunday. This coming Sunday for the big Sunday show. Rudy will be standing here with me. Always a pleasure to be here at Imperial Hill on a Tuesday. A lot of people in and out. Thanks, you guys, for stopping by, grabbing your, your trading cards. They're going like hot, hot cakes. Aren't they? Rita. <laughs> All right. Everyone's leaving me. So I guess it's time to leave. I guess that would be a good time to uh, say goodbye, right? Say goodbye until we meet again. Don't forget to hit the like button on the way out, absolutely. See you, Rudy. Hey, Branson. Thank you, Brian. Live, good night. Good night, Rita. <laughs> good night, y'all. We'll see you soon.